fabrics oh, are going to be easy. Yeah, again, being cotton poplin, it, it, it's such a soft, easy fabric to work with. It, it'll be perfect. Absolutely. Absolutely perfect and I that. also think that because the fact that it's, it's nice and bold print as well, so pattern matching would be easier to do. It's, 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 it's not one directional. The, the best thing about it, if, we, if you if you pan in and looked at the chicks, they're, they're all over the place. Some are going forward, some are going backwards, some are going up, some are going down. So you don't have to worry about matching the pattern up and things like that. And also, it, it's a crisp design. It's, it's a nice quality print. So if you really wanted to go crazy, you could cut out the little chicks if you've got the time and the effort. You could quilt the little chicks as well and Absol things like that. Oh so. yes, that would be so cute, like little yeah, quilt little bumps of the chicks sort of standing up a little bit, little bumps. That'd be amazing. And you can then do, of course, you can do little feathers, tiny feathers there. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting carried okay. away. She's 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 going carried away again. <laughs> He's going to be one of our favorites, isn't he? I know. Oh. Uh, now, of course, a one meter fabric you are going to get here. Now, 9.99 is is the price, and you're saving five pounds in there as well. Uh, now, uh, 182298 is your item number. Now, we are going into. Oh, I like that. Is this is this a trip, the dark or I also kind of well. You're going to hate me now, I know. Okay, uh, what are you going to I was to saying, uh, I, I th uh, what, is it a dark in a skateboard or is it a toucan in a it's skateboard? It's actually, when we first, when I saw this print, I fell in love with the duck. And then I only noticed afterwards, the duck's on a skateboard. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> it is. It's just so cute. And, and also, I love this little leg. Yeah, sticking you know, out like, a little yeah, bit, yeah. It's kind of going it's in. trying to get away. Yeah. <laughs> He's going fast. I'm mean, not sure where, but she's going fast somewhere. Uh, now, of course, again, I love that it goes into different directions. Yeah, again, it's not one directional. So again, you don't have to worry too much about lay when you lay a pattern on there, etc. You'll be able to lay the pattern on and not worry about cutting it all one way. Absolutely. Now, of course, you have got the option of the yellow. Then you have got the blue option, and then finally the pink. I think the blue is my favorite in this option. I don't know. Have a look at the pink. If you hold the pink out, because Ooh, that's a yes. meter, and then you'll be able to to see because I actually am partial to the pink. Now again 62 inches in width. Can we do pyjamas as well for Perfect. This? Absolutely perfect for pyjamas. But look how much you get for a meter. I oh. mean that's covering you completely. Absolutely. We can't see her anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I disappear? Yeah we're gonna do a trick now. <laughs> Oh, well, welcome to the world of Hotanda. Uh, now of course a 62 inches in width. Imagine like my, oh, can I, I have got another idea, sorry. Oh no, here we go. If you have got a little family, like, you know, dad or mummy uh, in blue, the other one, the mummy or mummy too, a, in a pink, and then the little one in yellow. Do you know what, that, that's quite good. I actually yes. got very worried when you said, I've got an idea, and I thought you were going to say, let's sequin the little duck's face <laughs> or something, you know. I thought that's what she's going to say, it's going no. to come out. No, no, no. I just thought it would be nice to have the pyjamas in the, yes, the whole family yeah. because that would be nine ninety nine for. Uh, so you are getting a meter, and then maybe if you add all three in your baskets, so that would be, uh, of course, uh, would be twenty nine ninety nine. I think or nine ninety seven to twenty nine ninety seven. That's my. That's yes, right, I yeah. got it right. Uh, 8337492 uh, is the item number for the ducks in a skateboard. Uh, right, so uh, now the cuddle fleece. Now I'm really excited to see this because I have seen a lot of, well, a few of our guests doing quilts and patchworks in a, and then instead of doing a traditional wadding and then a backing, they just do the piecing over the top of this because this is really soft and now, nice on the other now side. Now this, this is a special item that we've we brought in it's a sweatshirt in but then rather being backed with a little bit of fleece we've actually got it backed with a proper cuddle fleece which makes it makes it ultra warm ultra soft and fully washable but it saves doing all the extra work that you would do to make something warm you could just make a hoodie out of that and it'll just be so so nice or like you know the cuddle tops that everyone's wearing or the cuddle blankets it'll be absolutely perfect for that again fully washable and the colours are superb and it's a nice quality stripe that we're doing. But it's just so nice on the back as well. It's just it so is, kind of, tactile. Uh, this would be a lovely dressing gown. Yeah. So yeah, you have got a place. We could, if there are some patterns that they are double sided, so you could have the warmer side for winter and there's, you know, kind of, that would work as well. Now also kind of a coat again as well. Or a onesie. 
a onesie. Yeah, that too. You know, that would be amazing. Uh, now, we have got six different options, and they are stripes. So I do apologize if it drops a little bit on your cameras. Uh, now, we need to go through the different ones. The red stripe is, of course, that one. Uh, perfect for Christmas. I think that would make a lovely Christmas onesie. Yes. Yeah, or a Christmas stocking as well. It would, yes. Um, yes. Uh, well, I, this would be one of my favorites. Then we are going for the green. Oh, we, very good uh, suggestion from our Sharna, our floor manager. Uh, you know those um, slippers slash socks that you can have uh, like a really kind of warm so you can wear at the oh, home? Oh yeah, they'd be perfect for that. That would be real. Now, uh, then we have got the green stripes. Then we have got the gray. This is the gray. I just love the fact. I just think even just a throw as well. The gray is just gorgeous, isn't Ooh. it? Then we have got the navy. And again, very elegant with the navy as well. But it's the coziness of this. And remember, you could have it and then, and then do something on the top. Maybe a jumper, maybe a hoodie, maybe just a jacket, maybe a kind of a coaty gown. I think a dressing, a dressing gown, oh, of course, would be brilliant and of course we have got then is this a coral or orange i don't know it's a um pink stripe it's more of a coral i would say than a pink a true pink and then we have got the pink polka dot which uh that is just any little girl would like can you imagine uh, a little girl with a little dressing gown with this it's just gonna be so lovely 9.99 is your price you are getting a meter of that 60 cent uh, 60 inches wide or 150 centimeters in width uh, 535 a uh, 308 is your item and number. actually when you think about it um with the winter nights coming in if you just made a throw over to put Absolutely. over the sofa and then cuddle inside it a oh. two meter throw over that's what you two meters make you a throw over absolutely it is actually we've we've just been confirmed that the width is actually slightly wider than 60 it's about a 62 inches wide so it's oh, slightly perfect. wider but a two meters to sort of cuddle under while you're watching your movie oh. and then of course when you spill your wine on it you can wash it because it's fully washable oh, and of course i was thinking as well um you know as a pet bed as well that yes, would be perfect really for a pet bed. yeah yep. that's a good that idea work as well so all those ideas of course and it's a really i haven't seen this sort of fabric as well i mean obviously if you, your pet is a fish then that probably is not a good idea it's just that my director is just like what if your pet is a fish <laughs> Right. Anyway, moving well, on you to... Could, you could put it around the fish bowl, couldn't you? Yeah, you, know, exactly. you could just put it on the table, just display yeah, the table. Exactly. You know. And then it won't wobble, the, the fish bowl. That's it, yeah. And it you could still put a little bit of sequin around the stripe if you really wanted to. <laughs> It's all about the sequence this hour, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, we, then we are going into Italian biscuits. Now you are getting two meters and you have got four different options here. The sky, you can see here, the pink, and then we are going into the navy, which has got that kind of beautiful sort of tones in there. And then the black has got the reds as well there here. Now you're getting two meters by 150 centimeters or 60 inches wide. Now 100% viscous, wood this is for a dress if you look at the mannequins behind you it's absolutely perfect for a dress the way it drapes and it displays it, it it's perfect it just i just threw it over the mannequins just to show you just the way it just drops it does um super soft absolutely so, um, is is this a, a good weight as well? I was thinking it would look really like a kimono or a kind perfect of for a kimono, things like that. Uh, you know, like the um, sort of uh, like clot type pants, Absolutely. trousers. Absolutely, palettes or pants, something perfect like for that. that. Yeah. And it, it, because it's viscose, it tends not to crease very much. Fully machine washable, extra wide as well, 150 centimetres, 60 inches wide, so you've got the width on there as well. And two metres gives you a lot of scope. Yeah, it does. It but does. if you, for example, you decide you want to make a two piece like um, a, a top and skirt or yeah. top and palazzo pants, you can buy more than two metres. You can buy, say, four metres, and again, it will come in one whole piece, which is. Perfect That's brilliant, for yeah. And again, uh, I want to remind you that uh, Ada Curry from Dovetail is, I think, at one o'clock, and she has got a Palazzo pants pattern. So stay tuned out because that could be a perfect match for this fabric. It could be give you the pattern for that as well as dresses. Uh, remember, you have got an option of colors: pink, blue, and navy, and black. Two meters of that for nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. You are saving ten pounds. One three four nine five five is your item number.
right? And of course, uh, we have got as well, uh, you know, this bundle, which is the craft bundle. In here, we are getting a half meter pieces of Hessian, the clear PVC, as well as the calico for $9.99. You get, you get all three pieces. You get half a meter of each. The, um, the Hessian, the PVC are actually a 137, 54 inches wide, so they're a decent width. The calico is slightly wider, that's about a 63 inch, which is about 160 centimetres. You get half a metre of each. We're doing a bundle, put all three together for $9.99, a special offer. It is a really special price. It is a beautiful calico. If you are a mixed media artist, this is a phenomenal bundle because it will give you the textures and the different finishes. But also, I think calico is it's a brilliant fabric as well. And this one has got a nice heavyweight uh, for maybe. Yeah. Um, canvas bag or something, something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's ideal for that, it's ideal for twirling, it's ideal for curtains as well because this is not the very thin calico, it's got a decent weight to it. So it's multitude of uses. Absolutely. You know, and ideal for craft, obviously. Indeed. Uh, now, of course, uh, the PVC could be to uh, protect your table. Now, this bundle comes in with half meter pieces. So if you want to go for them, it's 9.99. However, you might have a big table and you want to have a meter and a half of the clear PVC. We do have got that in stock. Of course, it's a different item number and that will give you just a meter and a half. But well, not just, I mean, it is a phenomenal amount. Uh, and for 9.99 of just uh, the uh, PVC 748830 is the item number for the PVC now you might want to go for the hessian uh, the, we have got also the uh, meter and a half of the hessian here now of course it's 9.99 as well remember 677095 is the item number for just the hessian but of course it's a meter and a half and finally we have got the option of for the calico now in this bundle you will get two meters of the calico and remember it's a nice heavyweight calico you are getting two meters by 160 centimeters 63 inches wide 9.99 is the price 095876 is your item number now, not only we have got that, but we have got more that we haven't seen. We have got the plain poplin. Now, it is by Anil. So, can we have a look at the beautiful rainbow of colors in poplins that we have got there? And we have got colors like yellows, we have got blues and greens and gorgeous colors in the oranges. So, of course, it is a lilac as well. So, it is, a, I think you choose whichever or color you want for a meter. So, let's let, look at this white, cream, beige, terracotta, orange, red, wine, yellow, ochre, lilac, purple sky. We are going to have a look at them in a second. But really, kind of head back to the website if, or if you want to see in more detail every single item item in there as well now re check out your baskets as well and not only we have got what we have shown you but also we have got seven day savers from material magic now the of course you can find that on the website uh, the seven day savers is from uh, material magic and you can see it here now this one's a beautiful fabric Christmas fabrics you can see it here uh, now you are getting I uh, believe uh, you can see there you choose whichever one of these patterns so this is our great Christmas. You can see the Christmas is it's beautiful uh, cookies. I'm kind of hungry. Oh no, it's making me hungry again. My stomach is gonna rumble. I'm just gonna say it. Uh, then we have got the Nordic beautiful kind of cross stitch pattern. Obviously, it's printed onto with a beautiful stack there as well. Then we have got the nordic stripes this is my favorite i adore this pattern again maybe you are doing a little bit of cross stitch or embroidery this could be a perfect pattern to follow up and then we have got the bubbles oh, Chris, oh, i call them christmas ornaments because i cannot pronounce bubbles uh then we have got here the, the, the oh look at the pines as well and then we have got the uh, oh look at the gloves and socks at christmas as well in sequence on that uh, yes. Just the, just a little sequin on each top of the glove yeah, or on the top absolutely. of the sock. Oh, You'd love a that. Bit of tinsel. Oh, I'm okay. going. <laughs> I'm going all on board. I forgot tinsel. about the tinsel. Yeah, oh, of course. So a little bit of tinsel, and then we have got the winter wonderland. Definitely. Now, definitely tinsel and sequins here. Okay. <laughs> definitely, and you know. I'm actually not that fancy person, but you know, like I just don't know why today the sequins are out. And I first look at the. 
And you could put bells in here as well because there are bells. You see, you you missed a the trick there. Yes, you could put on the on the actual sock and glove. Imagine throwing a little bell on each sock oh. and glove, and then you could just sort of shake it, and it'll make a noise. Oh, that know. would be so cool! Imagine making a stocking out of socks and gloves. Yeah, exactly. And then of course, with, that would be so cute. I mean, I think the socks and gloves one is is very nice. It's, it is. They are all very nice and coordinated. Remember, it's your choice of you are getting a meter for nine ninety nine. Uh, remember to check out your baskets, even though it's a seven day saver. There is no warranty that is going to last until Sunday. So the item number for the seven day savers is a choice of the Christmas ones, 678966. And of course, 999 is a price, but of course it's 395 for P&P. &P. But there is a way to avoid having to pay £3.95 pounds every time that you purchase. Here's Leonie to tell you more about it. Have you heard of Achanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Hachanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. And of course, that way you don't have to pay PMP every time. Now, of course, uh, we have got beautiful poplin fabrics and we have got a beautiful rainbow of plain uh, poplins. And of course, that poplin will work uh, with a lot of the fabrics, well, with all of them. Then you just pick and choose whichever tone will work perfectly. Now, we have got the rainbow over there from Material Magic, of course, uh, right beside Anil. Uh, look at that gorgeous, I yeah. love I love a beautiful rainbow and you have displayed it perfectly. Oh, thank you. Do, can I get a job? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to? You can see there, of course, uh, look at them. Uh, look at the red, the blues, the blacks and uh, look at the, yeah. I no. mean, they're all 100% cotton poplin. It's at least 150 centimetres wide, 60 inches. Um, it's sold by the metre, but of course you can buy continuous metres. And of course, with some of the fabrics that we've we've been showing today, you know, you can coordinate nicely with those. I mean, that one there, for example, with the green, just as a combination. Yeah. You when see? you pull it just, up, and I didn't yeah. real, I didn't sort of think it will think, work. Yeah, but that's just it. You see, I mean, sometimes it's nice to just pick out one of the smaller colours rather than picking out. The, the main colour because it just gives you a little bit more. So I mean, actually, the the skateboard on there is green, so green with green yeah. skateboard. Absolutely. Or uh, maybe if you wanted to go to accentuate the bake, you can go for orange. Today. Yeah, we could pull out the orange and have a play with the orange. There you go. Oh, perfect. Absolutely. And of course, having um, you know the poplin in the plants as well is the same quality, isn't it? It's exactly the same quality. Um, well, it, it's it's slightly it's slightly softer because obviously the, the the poplin planes are a generic. Yeah. So they're slightly softer, but they will coordinate nicely. They'll work really well. We like I said, we did a on the patchwork uh, with the vintage. Um, Paisleys, etc. We actually used the navy blue, and we—I was supposed to be putting the white border on, which I obviously I wasn't going to do. But um, and Maggie put the, um, the the navy blue with it, and even though it's not the exact colour match, she she put the blue in there, so it just pops a little it bit. It does, and I, I love the. I mean, I think uh, this is a stock. Uh, you know, it's a stash builder. I would go for your favourite colours. Maybe you have gone for an, uh, another uh, poplin, and you kind of complement it. But I would definitely go for uh, the basis. So, for instance, I I uh, love black and red, so I would put black and red in my basket because that's my favourite colours. I would never have guessed that. No, you never. <laughs> look at that. She never had guessed. Uh, now, of course. That is uh, the rainbow of beautiful poplin, plain plop. Oh, plain poplin. So that's, <laughs> that's not as easy as it sounds to say. It. Uh, 9.99 is uh, your price. Uh, now they wanted me to say plain poplin in the plain. 
you know, that's difficult to say even. Uh, 262707 is your item number. But let's get back to the vintage paisley. It's a pick and mix. You choose any two and you have got six different options. We are very busy, so there are queues on the phone. So please make sure if you have got access to hotanda.com and the internet or uh, the mobile app, that will be the fastest and easiest way to order. Otherwise, we will try to be with you on the phones as soon as possible. Now, vintage paisley gorgeous little ditzy print well, look is, at that this is it it just shows it off i mean that, that's the width of the fabric and as you can see i brought a roll in just to show and then we just cut it off the roll and it's just so it's such a nice soft design it's just it so is. And the paisley, it's so subtle, the, the little paisley design. It's, it's a proper vintage design. It is, and it's, what I love about it is that it has got flowers, it has got paisleys, but it's not, it's one of those ones that is there, but it's more of a kind of almost background pattern, adding exactly. interest. I mean, even though it's a, it's, it's a flower and a paisley, a, a man's shirt in that would look stunning. Oh, absolutely. You know, I would definitely wear a shirt in that. Yeah, um, I think our Adam, presenter Adam, or presenter Yanis here, they would definitely where with pride is when I adore the different options uh, we have also because it is a pick a mix of two so you the, we have got for instance the navy the white on navy and then we have got the navy on white so it's a perfect match as well so you could see there's two going really well or maybe you can go to uh, of their black for instance so we have got the options of black navy navy on uh, white we have got the gray we have got the white on blue and then the gray on white Eleven ninety nine is your price. You are saving three pounds. Eight zero four and five zero zero. Now, if you want some interfacing, uh, we do have that as well in stock. So you can have got there. We have got three different options. Uh, it's the woven interfacing. You are getting a meter by ninety centimeters wide. Nine ninety nine is the price. You have got white, the black, or the natural. Would we use this for maybe a color of a shirt? Oh, you get you obviously can buy different interfacings. Um, what we then tend not to do is the um, a lot of people buy the paper interfacing, yes. which um, our professional dressmakers yes. have said that it's it's okay, but it's not as good as the one that we sell, which is a cotton. Ah, so I it's see. it's 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 more substantial, and um, it's one of these things where we could, we we sell it by the meter, but obviously you can buy as much as you like. We get we get a lot of our regulars who buy ten meters at a time for stash. They buy the black, the white, the natural. They put it into their stash, and then they just take yeah. it out and use it as and when they need it. Um, uh, yeah, that's, that's brilliant. And it's only 9.99 for a meter. 652.338 is your item number. Of course, it, it doesn't look that good on, on picture because it's kind of plain, but it is one of the essential the foundations to dressmaking. Then we have got the stars in here, again, uh, poplin, and you have got different options with the black, of course, the gray and the blues options and navies. Uh, you have got a pick and mix option. You're choosing whichever two and you're getting half meter pieces again. You know, if you go for the same one, it will be a continuous piece. Eleven ninety nine is the price. You're saving three pounds. Two one five zero one two is your item number. And again, it makes a perfect match as well with that vintage paisley. Then we are going to one of your favorites, oh, isn't yeah. it? Oh yeah, I love it. I love, of course, it's the polyester. Uh, now, this one has got a sparkle. It's a very, very subtle sparkle, but definitely in real life, it's a little bit more than you can see in camera. And you are getting a big piece here. Yes. Now, 60 centimeters wide, uh, and of course, 11 pounds and 99 pence is your price for a meter. A meter, would we be able to make a jumper out of it? Uh, a meter would make you a stole. Um, you'd really need a meter and a half to make a jumper. Okay. Or two meters would make a long sort of coat overcoat, then. like the overcoat jacket. Yeah. But it's got like a mohair fi finish to it. It does. It does. So imagine that, well, uh, you can make your own ca uh, cardigan or cardigan for if you put two of them. So that would be 23 pounds and 98 pence. Uh, 275106 uh, is your item number. Moving on to the feathers next. Now, the, the feathers are extremely uh, busy. We have got two options, the, the beige or the natural uh, or the blue here. Half the stock of the blue has gone beautifully elegant as well this one and very classic there now you go. you have matched it with a perfect plain poplin as well there <laughs> <laughs> you can see that if you hold it there we can see it how gorgeous does it look 
And of course, that means that it's good to have a look at those plain poplins there. Uh, blue and beige, of course, beige is the one that Anil is, is holding there. Now, you are getting a meter of whichever option you want. 9.99 is the price. Beautiful, 100% pure cotton poplin with that beautiful drip. You can see it on the mannequin. 077047 is your item number. Now, of course, the very basic for both options. Do check out your baskets if you wanted to go for them. And then we are going to the animals here because well, I didn't make a mess, but I'm going to put them here. The, we have got three different options for you. We have got the foxes here. You can see with the pink undertone then we have got the dinosaurs which is some of uh, you know I think a lot of people's favorite because something but then my favorite has to be the llamas I mean I adore this one I just think it's, it's, it's quirky it's fun it's kind of you know it's just so lovely and again it's it's okay to use it for children's it's ideal well. for children yeah it's yeah. ideal for that yeah so I just think a full family of pyjamas with this one would be amazing. Uh, 9.99 is the price. Remember, you are getting a meter of those ones. Uh, so 602Z501 is your item number. Let's move on to the switch. Uh, let's let's concentrate, Paula. Uh, <laughs> let's concentrate. Uh, sweat of uh, well, this is cattle fleece back sweat shirting. Uh, you are getting a meter by 150 centimeters, 62 inches wide. This is kind of a fun fabric. It immediately wants to be like you want to be wrapped around, don't you? It is. It's so. It's just so cuddly, and and of course it doesn't fray. Yeah. As you can oh, see, there's, there's no fray on that. That's. That's a really good point. Now, we are very busy for this option. Uh, which options are, uh, so 60% of the grey option. I'm not surprised. I probably will go for the grey in this one because it's just, it just so classy. It's really nice. I mean, you could just, just buy two metres, yeah. throw it over the sofa, and that's, and that's it. it. Yeah. Oh, and also, I just think is I just would love, want to do a dressing gown or um, you know a onesie the onesie well, if you, I, could, I could see you making a onesie in that and then sequining <laughs> and putting <laughs> tinsel and a few bells so people could hear you come I mean yeah, that'd be and a little bit of tinsel as well <laughs> you'd be, it'd be perfect you know absolutely and you'd have to go for the red one because Abs obviously the red one is this and then uh, yeah, use black the... tinsel so there's your red and black I, in... Absolutely. You, you, you know, we only met, uh, you know, a couple of hours ago, and he already knows me so well. I mean, that's amazing. You know, it's I impressive. think that's what she should wear to the Christmas party. Is that uh, yeah, if perfect? there was a Christmas party, that's exactly what I would wear this year. Actually, we should do a kind of a remote Christmas party, like a Zoom party. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, if you want to go for this amazing uh, fleece uh, with a sweatshirt, uh, the backing, uh, you have got six different options. 9.99 is the price. You can multi buy, and of course, it will be a continuous piece. So if you want to make a onesie for yourself or for others, well, you can. And of course, you multi buy. The 535Z308 is your item number. Now, the craft of the bundle, a quarter of the stock of the, it has already gone. And of course, you are getting half meter pieces of the Hessian, the uh, clear PVC, and the calico. Now, the calico is a lovely weight. It feels like this is the perfect way for a canvas bag, a shopping bag. It's, it's ideal for that. What, um, what one of the students who, who uses this regularly, she, what she did, she made a canvas. Uh, canvas bag out of the calico and then she used the plastic to put over the front Daddy. so it became um, she only did one side because she was showing it off yeah. in part of a as part of a project so it made it a waterproof calico so bag which was because because the, the the clear PVC it sews quite well you I guess what I was going to ask you because yeah. maybe you wanted to do like maybe a raincoat sort of a style as well now if you want to go for this bundle remember that you are going to get half meter pieces of each of them you can get a meter and a half of the PVC or the Hessian as well for 9.19 and however many of you are going for the two meter piece of calico remember that is heavy wait now it is big uh, so so now imagine to make it maybe you want to do the backing of a cushion maybe that's kind of this is a nice sturdiness oh yes ideal for a back of a cushion with two meters you you get in a lot of fabric Absolutely. It's, it's not a small amount so it's a decent size that was the first thing that we introduced to you guys oh, really? it was um 
Yes, um, the first thing we introduced was the Calico, and uh, we, we, we had it on the end of a show, and you guys sold yeah. quite a bit of it. Well, yeah. it, is, it is lovely to have a, you know, affordable fabric. You are getting two meters for nine ninety nine, and it is that weight that if you want to make shops for life, if you want to make canvases as well, as an art, a mixed media artist, this would be a lovely canvas fabric. It's, it, make a lightweight canvas, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So so it's kind of not, not it, you can gesso it, you can paint, you can stamp on it. Think about it, maybe you have seen Tracy Evans doing her beautiful work with, uh, with, can, with you can uh, put this sequins. Calico on it as well. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of pencil in there. 999 is the price for two meters of calico. 0.95876 is your item number. Now, it's been a fabulous, it's been fa absolutely fabulous to have you here. Just, I want to remind everybody to check out their baskets uh, because we have got beautiful bundles of fabric, different options. Remember, don't forget to, the I'll adore that fleece in the back in with the sweat, I was just 13 as well. And of course, Anil, when, I, I hope to see you back soon here. I hope to be back. I hope to be back with some lovely new fabrics. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. well, it's been a pleasure to have you here. I'm sure everybody has welcomed you as well because uh, your knowledge and the way that you put things together and sourcing those fabrics from all around the world and delivering at such affordable prices, we welcome that with open arms. Cool. So thank you for coming. My pleasure. Uh, did you enjoy it? Oh, it's been fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the sequence and the tinsel, and I know it's here for that. Now, of course, stay tuned, uh, and of course, check out your baskets after the, ba the break. Uh, Hayley Weiss and Jane is he are here with prickly pear stamps and dies as well. Indeed it is, prickly pear stamps. Then after that, oh, another look at the one day special with Barbara Gray herself, crafting with clarity. And then dovetail London fabrics with beautiful and freaking prints. Hello, my name's Stuart, and I'm the managing director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chandler is fantastic for us, it gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chandler. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftoscope. Hi, my name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We brought them to a chander and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. So join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Hi, 
I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Hi, I'm Pat. I'm Mark. From Totally Patched. We're a family based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre cut meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope we've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on the channel. Hello there and welcome. Welcome to a fabulous hour. I'm really looking forward to this hour because we are talking about a really family company with regards to the products that we're bringing you. Coming from overseas as well, prickly pear. Um, a lovely Sandra, not Sandra, Sharon should I say. Sharon and John, it's a good idea to get the name right to start with, isn't it? So yes, um, Sharon and John based in Kentucky and it's six o'clock in the morning apparently, Jane. Yeah, five hours behind here. Yep. Right in there. Yeah, yeah, Got Jane with us. Jane, you're going to be demonstrating <laughs> for this hour. I am, yes. And you've been working with prickly pear for about 12 months now. Yes, coming up for a year in November. Oh, yes. wow. And yes. they've been with a lovely range of products, and they a mixture of stamps and dyes. It is lovely matching dyes and stamps, and a real range of some sort of more cute elements, some sort of like more steampunky. Yeah. It's a really nice Hello. range, yes. Really nice range. So do urge you to jump ahead and have a little look on the website because there are some beautiful designs. The cutest little koala bears that you have ever <laughs> seen. I mean, you, you can't be forgiven for thinking they were Australian based because <laughs> yes. of the koalas, but they are real cute little characters. Some very practical dyes as well. Check out the peekaboo dye. You're going to like that one because there's loads of different segments you can kind of cross over. But let's get kick started with this first set. And the first set that we're looking at is a series of stamps and dies that are going to work well together and they are a really nice combination um, and you can see on your screen there they are priced at 35 pounds and 97 pence for all three elements just going to mention with regards to these as i said american company so we have got a little bit of extended delivery it's a nice easy one to remember the 5th of november um, remember remember as the tail little tune goes this is nice. I love the sentiments and the kind of the heart connection going on with this one. It's yeah, kind of everything are, in there. They're so versatile, aren't they, hearts? Yes, you can yeah. go for so many different occasions, Valentine's, anniversaries, weddings, just because, just to say exactly, you love someone. Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. And I love it because you have got, with the hearts, you'll notice it's the same shape heart, which is going to work with the die that we've got, but different variations. And this is the thing that you can see with the finished samples, that exactly the same stamps loads and loads of different stamps loads of different variants but you only need one die and i think this is why it's such a clever clever bundle because yeah. you're going to have so many different looks with this this little combo that you've got lovely little tartan detail that you've got with these hearts very pretty. Well. they're very good at doing so many different patterns and that's something that comes through for all their bundles you just get the one set of dies and then you get lots of different stamps that you can match in with very them. clever it kind of means that you're maximizing um, at a very affordable price as well this is a pretty one though love the teal tones here that have been picked out and of course the sentiments you've got those gorgeous sentiments featuring within here as well of course you get to use those you get 42 stamps in this bundle a huge array of stamps and of course that fabulous die which is going to work with so many of them in fact pretty much all of them the only ones they're not going to work with are things like the sentiments and the lovely little characters and here you can see using that heart die over and over again 
with the little elements and this is nice because they sit within those hearts beautifully yes everything's sort of thought through so well and also uh, even though they're quite small sometimes the, the dies and stamps you can build them up to create bigger projects with them as well as little oh, small gorgeous. ones as well love that two hearts one love congratulations Lovely. There you go. So if you fancy that little set there from Prickly Pear, details are on your screen at 820367. They are all available individually if you prefer, but don't forget you will potentially, well I certainly would be, if I was going for any of those stamp sets, I would want the die as well. So do consider um, going for the bundle before you check out your order, because I think you're probably fine for not too much more. You can actually get all of them together and take advantage of that £5 saving. So it's just worth thinking about. Fancy a cuppa? Okay, tea or coffee? Which would you prefer, Tea Jane? for me, please. Tea. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Well, with this one, you've got the ability to pretty make, much make either because you can see it's your tea and coffee collection. Lovely little set. Again, we've got a trio, two stamp sets and a, a die again. Yeah, and again, you've got so many different sort of stamps that just match in with those dies. It's a really clever sort of concept. I love that. Now, obviously, you can see you've got your, your kind of your takeaway cup that you've got there. You've got your mug. You've got your tea cup there. You've got these additional little dies in the centre. What are they for, then, Jane? To be honest, I haven't had this die, oh, so, so I'm not oh, sure. I see. But, oh, okay. Um, Let's have a little... On oh, lots I of their see. die sets, they always include, like, the little bits that I should imagine it's for I anything else that are on the stamp set. I'm sorry, I put you on the spot there. <laughs> um, I can see. So you can see here, you've got the little tiny stamp that's going to be the equivalent of kind of your little, your tea, um, obviously from the, the plant there, you can see there. So it's going to cut those out. Your coffee beans, you can be able to cut those out as well. So those little dies enable you to do those elements. Love these with the tumbly tea cups. They're so clever. cute, yeah. Very, very cute. The takeaway cup, of course, if you do like your coffee or your tea on the go, there you go, that's a perfect way. It's a nicer, I like the colours from that one as well, those like, fresh greens, maybe green tea. There you go. Love that, the little tea bag in there. That's a nice use as well, where you're spreading out the centre of the letters there. <laughs> coffee. Love it. There you go. Good for Enjoy. a voucher as well, if you have a voucher for a coffee oh, shop. Oh, that's a good <laughs> idea, like, isn't yeah. it? Yes. Good idea. I like that one. Gift in a card. Very clever. There you go. £44.97. This time you're going to be getting all of those. Again, 24 stamps. And you've got your die set, which is going to give you the nine um, dies, because obviously you've got your outer parameter cup that's going to cut. And this is the beauty. You can see there you've got your takeaway cup with all of these, with an area that you can actually chop and change those sentiments. Then you've got your additional elements, like your cups, as you can see there. And, of course, the dies that can allow you to cut those out. And then, of course, all those additional detail, really building up that design. like that idea a lot. Just £22.49. Flexi buy on that one, which means any of the other bundles we've been sharing with you, you can spread the cost of those ones as well. So I'll show you the next one. This is cute. There's a talking koala. Oh, yes. These are adorable. Now we've got quite a series of little koalas that are going to pop up, but this particular one is your um, little doctor koala. Love this one. So you can see there. Oh, look at you! Wouldn't mind seeing a doctor with a big happy smiley face <laughs> like that, would you? No, he's lovely. Um, Sharon said these have been incredibly popular over in America, so um, that's why they've been brought today. And. They're so, just so cute. They are. <laughs> and so many sentiments as well. They are. I have to say, he has got the perfect patient. The little teddy bear <laughs> sat there on the stool there, being as patient as patient can be, if you excuse the pun. Um, and then, of course, you've got, obviously, your little Dr. Koala there with all the elements and his little notepad there and his stethoscope. Love that. And like that. Sorry to fe hear you're not feeling so well. And look, oh, again. Okay. Perfect opportunity for colouring in these ones. They are. I've done some samples on the next one with alcohol markers, but I'm going to be doing some demoing where I'm using watercolour markers. But, you know, anything you've got, really, is That's, ideal. It's just about adding the colour, isn't it? Mm. Nice and easy for you to work with as well. And, again, they come with the dies. So you've got 17 stamps, so you can really build up your cards um, or your projects, your home um, your home decor, things like your scrapbooking, things like that. So you're going to get one die, and you can see that's kind of got that outside parameter. So you can see that's going to cut out your Dr. Koala and your little patient there, your little teddy bear. Um, and then, of course, you've got choices. You've got your main character and lots and lots of different sentiments that are going to work alongside. Not only this particular combo, but you'll be using them in lots and lots of other pro um, kind of projects and combinations that you've got, perhaps with other stamps and dies as well. Um, the little koala story continues with the next one that we've got, because we've got the doctor, we've got the nurse as well. This time we've got a different type of patient. With much bigger yeah. in the ears and a much longer nose. Um, a little elephant. A little elephant. And although it says um, it is a koala nurse, I think because of the sort of outfit that she's wearing, she could be 
a surgeon, she could be she a doctor is, yeah, herself, she could yeah. be a healthcare assistant, so many different things. Quite easily, yeah. And I mean, a lovely little one there, as you can see there. Um, thank you for all you do. Isn't that lovely? Just a, a carer in general, isn't it, really? Just taking care of one person can go a long, long way. And I love that. She's ready there with a little <laughs> sweet treat and a little... Uh, a little, um, little bandage plaster. there or plaster <laughs> there, just in case you need it. But of course, you could adapt this so it could be holding anything, really, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah just you chop to. off the lollipop if you yeah. can have something else. Uh -huh. something else. Um, nice ones for decoupage as well. I mean, you can see here a lot of depth has been added to this card. Multi stamping it, very effective. Thank you for care, taking such good care of me. That's a nice sentiment, isn't it? And again, there, a little thank you on this one. And again, building up your scene, which you can do quite easy with these, and incorporating other characters, I suppose, if you've got other stamps from the set as well. Yeah, and if you've got the Doctor, you can put them both together as you well. could, yeah. Definitely. Nice little team. And this is a nice little one here with a little notepad. Isn't that good? If you're giving that as a gift to somebody, perhaps, who has taken care of you, then you've got a little kind of notepad on there where they can keep um, kind of records of whatever they need to keep. Um, £32.98, nice little combination again with that one, so 014116, and again, add that one into any of those orders, and you can spread the cost if you so choose to. Um, now, koalas for, uh, for Christmas. <laughs> this is it, Santa koala. So cute. These are adorable, and these are perfect. If you're looking at doing your Christmas cards, then you can't go far wrong with these. Little duo, so £42.98. You can see that you've got Mr. and Mrs. Christmas featuring there. A huge sack of gifts, a very long wish list, as you can see there. And, of course, some of those traditional sentiments that we know and love for Christmas time. Again, a lovely little combination. Yeah, and you get all the, sort of the dies to cut all the other bits out as well, which is really nice. So you get your, your list die and your candy cane die. <laughs> Saves a lot of time yeah. doesn't it with regards to this. And you can see there obviously adding your embellishment, adding your glaze drops where you want that three dimensional aspect to come into play. Oh this is cute. Oh let me pop these down and have a little look. We've got little tags in here. Oh look. Oh that's a wish list isn't it? <laughs> All your crafty goodies on that wish list you could imagine. Oh, that would be longer. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be like volume one, two and three with yeah. me, I must admit. Um, yes, we've had some fabulous shows coming up. We've been making lots of lists. Oh, this is a cute one as well. There, traditional colours there. Absolutely adorable throughout. And, of course, because you've got all the additional elements in there, you can really build up that design to be as little or as much as you're wanting it to do. And, of course, the die is going to allow you to cut out those stamped um, embellishments as well. So there you go. If you fancy that one, £42.98. Comes with all your sentiments as well. So very, very useful set to have. And, of course, there's gorgeous little gifts there, candy canes. You've got your holly as well. You'll use those on loads of projects. So if you fancy that one, pop that one into your basket. Now, the next one that we've got for you, kind of going from one extreme to the next, we've gone from, well, say that, I mean, it could be Christmas in, um, well, a very warm place, on a beach, because it happens, doesn't it, it's December, it can be the hottest day out in Australia, I'm guessing, I suppose. Yeah, Australian Christmas. Well. Yeah. yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, so the details on your screen are for our next set. Now, this time you've got ten stamps, you've also got your dies to work alongside them, and again, I love the characters. When we're looking at the stamps here, these are adorable. The artwork that they use, it's so, a, so sweet. I have to admit, I loved working with these ones. They're just so lovely to use <laughs> the characters <laughs> that come through on their little faces, and especially those little turtles. I just I think they're adorable. Aren't they sweet? I mean, I love those big eyes. <laughs> those big eyes with huge personalities. This is a nice project as well. Yeah, like that's that just the like um, the popsicle type craft sticks you get just all oh, stuck together yes, and yeah. then just some different texture paste. Clever. Like it. Like it a lot. And it's nice because the little characters will hold their own. I mean this is a lovely one where you use just a little piece yeah, of a bark wood. sort mm. of thing there. Just to say hello. And there you go. Just keep swimming. Stopping <laughs> by to say hope you have a great day. And again all the other, other lovely little characters as you can see. I love this one. He's doing the backstroke. Yeah. <laughs> Adorable. Uh, these are going to be lovely ones to use for things like your scrapbooking as well, aren't they, as well? Because if you've got holiday snaps, then they are going to be absolutely adorable. So there you go. Two flexi buys again, £25.99. Opening up that flexi order. So, of course, any of the goodies we've been chatting about, you can pop in alongside these. 306587. Now, Christmas trees. This is a nice set. Uh, this is a lovely set. Have a look at these. Elegant, tall Christmas trees in a whole host of different designs. So you can see that you've got your trio um, elements again. So you've got your, your trio. Did you see what I did then? Yeah, it's a trio. It's a trio. It's a tree. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, 
then you've got your two stamp sets, as you can see there. Very contemporary style tree. And then, of course, you've got your die that's going to cut them out. So this is a similar sort of scenario to the heart that we saw earlier. Oh, yes. Loads of different possibilities. Yes. And the, the patterns and in them are, are really nice as well. There's some really sort of, like, a, there's the one with the circles that's quite retro. Yes. There's other more traditional. There's ones that's quite Scandinavian looking. So they're a real range. And the sentiments as well, they cover from winter to also a quite to more religious sort of sentiments and then more sort of like Merry Christmas sentiments. Yes, so I it's like real that. range. Nice shape as well. Now this this die, this beautiful peekaboo die is coming up in a few moments. This is nice, isn't it? All the little penguins all lined up and there. You can see the deer as well. Absolutely beautiful. Coming back round to the middle. Um, little gift bags as well. What a clever idea on the craft card. They look fabulous, don't they? Sometimes. Yes, yeah. And even home decor pieces. I mean, this is a fabulous gift to come out every year for somebody. Um, and I love the shape of these because you could quite easily cut, multi-cut these and kind of put them all pointing into the centre, maybe to oh, go yes, on top of little wedge boxes or something yeah. like that, you know, like as a centre table setting or something like that. And even the die just cut out of different sorts of cards looks nice it? on yeah. its own. Yeah, Beautiful, there you go. If you fancy this particular set, you're getting 21 stamps. That is good value when you're only paying £34.97. And don't forget, we are talking about a brand that's based in America. So if you are shipping from Hachanda, the price on your screen is the price you pay, obviously with your post and packing, or if you're a Freedom member. No kind of additional extra, so no import duty, no additional elements as if you might be buying from overseas. We're taking care of all of that for you so you know uh, ahead of you receiving them that you're not going to be paying a single penny more than you see on your screen so 532 668 if you fancy getting hold of those trees now the next one is the peekaboo die this is a lovely die very intricate this beautiful lattice work really gives an amazing effect it's a good size die with this one as well 25 pounds and 99 pence nice effect this one gives as well I like it this does one. it's it like it's a really lovely sort of doily style effect yes. um, and it's so sort of intricate but and it goes with everything Doesn't I've it used just? it with the Christmas trees I've used it with the nurse you could use it with the beach um, sort of scenes it's more like a shell yes it's yeah. um, really really versatile it's a nice one to just slightly offset as well so you can see that kind of color just coming through the front or behind but it's a nice one for paper piecing as well mm -hmm. if i show you this card here you can see where it's multi-cut in a variety of different cards and then kind of those elements crossed over um that's a nice one isn't that i love I that like one that. it's beautiful that gorgeous must have a lot of patience <laughs> well, yeah, but there's loads of techniques, isn't there, where people will use things to pick up and, and cross those over. And the That's little flamingos cute. on the front as well, very, very cute. So make a nice shaker card, this one as well, yes, wouldn't it? Yes, it would, yeah. yeah. You could take all those little bits and use those as exactly. well, Exactly, yes. and then, I mean, they're, they're, they're almost like little diamonds that you've got there, teardrops, mm. even with those. Could be little raindrops and things like that. Absolutely adorable. Love that one. Um, and again, it's one of those go-to ones. It's quick and easy cards with that one, I think. Quite a dramatic one. Nice open area as well for your sentiment as well. So 642531 if you're wanting to get hold of those. Now, we've got a demo um, coming up with Jane. And she's going to be using one of these two sets that we're looking at. And it's called Builder Flower. Now, tell me about these, Jane. Um, these are a bit different to the other um, stamps and dies on the show in that it's just stamp sets. Okay. But it's... Um, where you, you're using your different coloured inks to build up the layers of the flowers. Okay. Um, and they're, they're just so sweet. And they've both got some beautiful um, sentiments on them. So you can make some really nice just because type cards just okay. to send to somebody who might be feeling a bit down or you just want to give them, say, a little hello. Um, they're really lovely. These are very affordable. 16 99 I mean... Really nice designs. I mean, flowers, we give flowers for so many different occasions, don't we? And to be able to actually multi-stamp them and, and make them exactly what you want them to be, in whatever colours you want, I think yeah. that's a, a really nice idea. Isn't that gorgeous, those teals in there? Again, you can have quite contrasting colours, as you can see, so there you go. If you fancy this particular one, this one is your flowers for beautiful, um, beautiful you. £16.99, pence. but the one that Jane is going to be working with is the next one, which is your cone flower. And again, similar sort of idea, you've got your multiple layers there with all your different kind of build-up of detail from the back to the front there. And of course, you can see all the sentiments there. And again, just some really nice effects when you're actually putting them together. That depth of character with each of one of these, I think is absolutely beautiful. And one that you'll be using over and over again. And I love this idea. Look at that. Isn't that nice going across the centre there? And again, just using it as a centrepiece on the card. 
beautiful. 805390, £16.99. Lovely set there. Nice one to go up with. Nice easy one, I think, um, to build up. So looking forward to that. Jump onto the website. You can add this one alongside any of those others into your basket. And if you are going for any of those items that are on Flexi Order, then of course you can spread the cost of these ones as well. It's going to work out about, um, about two, eight pounds or so, isn't it? Eight, no, not quite eight pounds. Eight pounds fifty. There you go. Um, of course, lots and lots there for you to choose from. You can go for the individuals as well. So if you've seen something that you don't want to go for the full set, then do have a little look. But as I said, you have got discounts with those full sets. So before you check out your basket, do the math just to make sure that you've got your decision right before you check out your basket. And then just bear in mind, you've got um, a little bit of extended delivery, 5th of November, with regards to dispatch, because they're coming all the way from Kentucky and hopefully bringing a bit of sunshine with them as well. <laughs> so, Jane, we're going to hand over to you um, for the demo. And yep. this is a beautiful project. Okay, so I thought I'd start by something reasonably simple, um, but I just think it's such a lovely little card just to be able to send to somebody just for the sake of it. So it's sending you, oh God, I can't read it, sending you a sweet flower hug to brighten your day. Aww. I should wear my glasses. So I'm using a stamping press, but okay. you don't, by no means have to use a stamping press. You could do it on a block. And within your stamps, you will get, oh, no, I'll leave it like that. You Thank will you. get a... Um, a guide to okay, how you layer right. up your your different stamps but you could probably look at it and work it out really it's quite fairly simple so when I use my stamping press I tend to put my card right into the corner even though I've got the magnets just because I know that if it pops up mm -hmm. with the stamps because sometimes when your stamps are new they can be a little bit sticky and they might pull your card mm -hmm. up um, so I know if it's right in the corner I just put it back in the corner so what you would start with is your most solid layers so you've got a really solid um, flower head and a okay. really solid stalk so I'm going to start with the stalk just because it's easier for placement and I'm going to place it down onto my piece of card I'm not okay. going to place it that way I'm going to place it that way do you know what I've help. done that so many times I know <laughs> oh. thankfully um, I usually notice before I actually put any ink on something <laughs> and as you can see that I have used these stamps, but they're still a little bit new, so they'll okay. still be a little bit sticky. So just pop that so I know it goes back there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use my lightest colour for my, um, my base layer. So I'm going to start, and I'm using Memento inks, but be it really any ink that you want to use. And I'm just going to stamp it down. And a good reason for using the... Um, stamping presses obviously if you don't get a perfect impression the first time you can just keep on layering that up but I'm not too worried if that's not perfect because it's going to have another layer on the top of it nice go that one as well I like it is that's it pe pear tart oh. <laughs> so I would normally clean this off but I'm not going to for just for time okay. I'm going to take that off as well uh, the next layer does look it's it's a little bit tricky to sort of really see how it goes to start with so I just used my um, what do you call that plan <laughs> to have a look so I can see that that's got to go so it's making my lines across my leaf and then it's going behind the stalk okay so then just so once you put the ink on it doesn't tend to move that but so I'm going to use my darker green this time okay. and helps if you move that out of the way and there we go oh look at that straight away that depth yep this is clever I'm guessing this is kind of how well when you see prints screen prints and things like that it's kind yes, of done in this sort of the same way, sort of way, so, way yeah, isn't it professional way of getting oh that is effective and even Very. if you don't get it exactly on I think yeah. that doesn't really take away from the effect it still looks really nice even doesn't if you don't just? get it directly on so now I'm going to take my biggest block of flower and you can see that where the stalk goes you can line up where the flower head goes Never. and it's going to lift it again but because it's in the corner I know that I can just pop it back in and I'm going to go with my lightest pink to start with so do you always start off with the lightest tone when you're working with the different segments? Um, I presume you could do whatever, whatever you like, but if you want it yeah. to build up with your, um, to be able to see the colours, then 
It's kind it's, of the logical yeah, way to it's do the logical it, way to do it. Yeah. it I, I mean, there's nothing to stop you, like you said earlier, using different colours. I just mm -hmm. automatically sort of went for using the same colours in different tones. So that's the, that part of the flower head. Then I go for the next most solid stamp. And this one is going, so I'm lining it up. If I look, check on here, I can see that it is sort of going here. But again, if you don't get it exactly on, it doesn't matter. It's still going to look quite nice. And this is, I've actually got a little card just while you, you've put that next layer on there. I've just found one here where it shows the difference that you get. I mean, obviously you're creating the same style that, um, that Jane's doing, but by using your different colours, it really does change up the look that you've got from that flower. Isn't that pretty? The way that you've got that. Can you imagine doing this in kind of like a sepia tone as well, maybe? Um, pulling those colours out. You can see you've also got like a watercolour effect. And keeping those tones quite close together, you can see you get a very, very subtle look. This one um, is the, the cone flower, obviously, that um, Jane's working with. At the bottom of your screen, we have got one that's proven to be very popular, featuring this gorgeous little flower as well. And again, it's a similar sort of concept, similar sort of idea. So you're building up those layers. So I would be tempted to add both of them into my basket because they would look really really nice long, alongside each other i'm guessing jane with these you could do multi layers like this one i'm thinking would be amazing if you had like maybe a black ink and then mm. maybe use a gold embossing powder oh, on one yes. of the top layers yes that would look lovely very luxurious look so there you go so that is the other one details of which we've just kind of swatched, swapped around on the screen so 16.99 for the stamp set for this particular card but the one that we're going to go back to is the one that jane is working with which is the cone flower so I haven't lined this up perfectly, but it still works even if you don't manage to. Because if you haven't got a stamping press and you just want to use your um, acrylic block, then that's, you know, something you can also do. So now I'm just going to take the sentiment and I'm going to go with the same one, I think. So sending, sending you a sweet flower hug to brighten your day because I just think that is just such a nice a lovely generic sentiment that you could send to anybody. I'm just going to place it there. And like you say, it covers all occasions, doesn't it? It does, yeah. yeah. And let's just use, I'm going to use some archival black for this time. Okay. And when you first get your stamps, it does give you instructions, I'm pretty sure, on the back of the um, stamp sets about giving them maybe a clean before you start stamping with them. Okay. But to be totally honest, <laughs> I'm really rubbish at doing that. Oh, and you. I generally um, find they stamp pretty well quite quickly if you give them a, maybe sometimes a coat of archival and mm -hmm. stamp them out a few times you usually find that primes them pretty well so let's move that aside let's move that out of the way lovely it's really is a pretty little flower this and i'm just going to just want to ground my flower a little bit just with a little bit of black good tip i'm not sure if the water will work because this is more of a stamping card than a oh, mm -hmm. little bit and a watercolour card and then all it needs is a black just check it's the right way up <laughs> not an Australian card although the koalas go quite well in Australia they do, yeah and I just put a little bit of glue on a black mat and oh, that's it's not lovely oh. Lovely one to make like a little set of notelets with or something like that as well. Yeah, really quick and you easy. You have a series of sentiments that you stamp up with a little bit of double-sided tape that they put the actual, whoever's buying you a little set of notelets puts whatever sentiment they like on there. Jane, thank you. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Wasn't that pretty? Um, and there you go. You can see again that little card that we were just talking about using all those different colours together. Um, and what I have done is I've sneaked one of our seven-day savers behind it just to give you a little idea of some of the seven-day savers that we've got. And it's nice because... It, when you're working with your smaller stamps, you don't necessarily need huge pieces of cardstock, do you? And obviously, you can see this is a, um, one of the cards that's been made up to show off the stamp that we've just been working with. But your A6 card that's going to work alongside it might be an idea to go for because you are getting loads of these absolutely gorgeous rainbow effects, as you can see. Now, I'm not going to go through them individually, and you will understand why when I show you the huge wodge that you're getting of these. You're getting 200 sheets. It's um, 280 GSM. 
them. So really good weight. Again, good size. So if you did want to turn it into smaller notebooks, you could score and fold it, even chop into it, cut your tags out, things like that. But let me just show you. If I can, I don't think I can even manage to get it into my one hand. I'm going to need two hands to pick this up. You are getting all of that for just nine pounds and 99 pence so it's all of that gorgeous rainbow color coming through from pink frogs um you can see there obviously this is only seven day saver so you have up until sunday to take advantage of that one 9.99 you've got a 20 pound saving but as i say you need to be quick it's going to go up in price on sunday but equally so if we sell out before then you might not be able to get hold of it then as well so i'm going to have a little bit of a recap before we go back and see jay she's going to be working one of those lovely little koala stamps in a few moments so let me show you what we've got. Well, of course, what we see from Prickly Pear is kind of the ability to, for you to take elements and use them in loads and loads of different ways. And the way that that comes together is because you've got a die that's going to help with obviously all that finer detail, all that cutting out done with a simple die. But then you've got the stamps that are going to help you build up that design. So in the centre there, you've got the beautiful die that's going to cut out not just that gorgeous kind of lacy edged heart, but also additional little elements like the key to your heart, as you can see there. There and a little crown as well. Then you've got your multi-layer stamps here and I say multi-layer because you could multi-layer them up. For instance the one that we're looking at there with the tartan weave, it could be that you're doing a solid colour and then going back in with your tartan weave over the top um, and uh, yeah it's just building up that design because they're the exact same size over and over again. Gives you lots of possibilities with these. We've also got additional elements, little tiny filler stamps as you can see there, you've got sentiments in these as well, all sorts of different occasions and some really nice heartfelt um, kind of sentiments within these as well. Little rings there, so maybe you've got an engagement that's gone on or uh, maybe a wedding coming up, or you never know. Um, I know somebody that could do with one of those themselves, but so there we go. Very happy news. Um, details on your screen there, 820367 if you're wanting to get hold of this little set here. Let me show you the stamps alongside the dies, perhaps the way that you might use them, maybe keeping those colours quite simplistic. So you can see you've got your gorgeous chocolate brown there with your craft card and that little tartan kind of weave effect. But um, of course, it could be one of the florals that you use within that one. I like the idea of the tartan being used throughout. Love those little kind of gems that have gone there, almost like little tiny buttons. Make cute. Um, another one that you could be doing with the, um, the same stamp set is this one. Maybe you've got an inky mop-up that you've got. You know how we all have that stash of backgrounds and you can pick out just one or two of the colours. Um, you may already have the little hearts all die cut because you could have a, a die cut session where you're cutting out all those elements. And then when you need the hearts, just take any of those stamps and work alongside them. So it's a nice one to have as a just-in-case kind of stamp set, I think, um, to build up. And of course, it could get your crafty mojo going as well if you're having one of those days when you don't know where to get started then there you go you can start off with a few of those fabulous little um, elements there and all of these have been created using the stamps that are within the set so you can imagine the possibilities that you've got 35 pounds and 97 pence 820367 if you like the idea of getting hold of that one then please do how about a cup of tea or a cup of coffee well i would gladly oblige now this one is lovely and maybe you get a hot chocolate a few marshmallows on the top maybe only trouble is i'd need to snuggle down and have a bit of a snooze so maybe not the best idea while I'm here but here you go you can see you've got your coffee on the go cup or your tea on the go or your your mocha latte or whatever it might be um, and then you've got your your big round um, um, tea cup there and of course you've got a good hug in a mug sometimes that's all you need isn't it and you've got the multi-layer stamps here so you are building up the design but you don't have to worry about cutting them out because the die will do that for you and this is something um, that Sharon mentioned when she was emailing me the fact that sometimes she just likes to cut out the die um, it might not be that you, you're a kind of prolific stamper and you're wanting to just use the dies by themselves. Well, you can do. And of course, those dies are available by themselves. But teeing them up with the stamps, you've got all the detail that you need there and to get some really, really clever effects with them. Whether you're simply cutting out the, the coffee cups or the, uh, the takeaway cups there and adding those details to them, or whether you are kind of getting creative with other elements that you've got. Could be a little personalization. Isn't it? You could be putting your, somebody's name on one of these cups quite easily. Um, using the die, um, using the stamp, 
and then uh, obviously having a whole host of fun. I love this one that's been done. Very clever one, this one, where lots of those cups have been put together and then just multi-layered. So each one is individual. It looks like it's a complete stamp there, but they're not. And then, of course, there's no rules. It can be a coffee mug with a cup of tea in there. It doesn't matter. That's a nice little idea, because you could perhaps put some of those um, kind of tea bags in there, maybe a little biscuit or a flapjack or something like that. Um, £44.97. If you fancy getting hold of that set, then please do so. Details are there. 725512. Something else that I want to show you is that these actual um, stamps and dies individual. These have been popular by themselves. I mean, you could build up a nice background with these, couldn't you? £15.99. There you go. 924663. Loads of examples there showing you how to work with those ones. But of course, if you don't want to cut them out by hand, then do go for the set because you are going to get the die in there as well. The other one that we've got within this set, again, is another very, very popular one. So, yeah, if you're wanting to get 15 99 12 stamps in this particular one. Um, and you can see there, lots and lots of scope. But if, if you like both of them, then don't go for them individually go for them as the set because you're going to get the die as well five 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 zero one four lots and lots to consider in the show jump onto the website and have a little look but we're going to be turning our, our attention to the little koalas i think with the next one aren't we yes, these koalas are just so adorable and i think sort of quite timely in um they're sort of in what they're saying thank, thank you for yes, yeah. um and just I wanted to do a bag because I think sometimes we forget that stamps are a tool and dies yes. are a tool and they can be used for lots of different things, not just cards. So you could, if you want to make gift bags, home decor, all sorts of things. So I'm just going to make this really simple little gift bag. So if you wanted to give a thank you gift to somebody then who perhaps is a, a nurse or a <laughs> HCA or whatever, then you can do that. So Did you use these stamps and dies as fundraisers and if you wanted to make them so, are they okay Yes, with you can because the, um, the stamps are all designed in-house and okay. so um, they are, you, as long as you're making projects to yes. sell, then that's fine. Um, if you share anything on social media, it's really nice if, you could, if they could like just acknowledge that it was properly pair. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So I've picked out the koala nurse. Well, I just think of her as a koala medical person. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, and I'm going to be using water-based pens. So I've got some watercolour card and I'm using archival ink because that's what I can use my water-based pens with. And with these dies, the, if, when you look at the die sets that are on the show, some are a solid die and some are an open die. Okay. Um, and how I always look at this, with, with the solid dies, I tend to cut the die first and okay. then I would stamp on top. Mm -hmm. So like the Christmas trees, for example, oh, right, they yes. are one of the solid dies. But if you have an open die, then that mm -hmm. means you can stamp your image and then very easily lay your die over the top. And if we look on the die, it's actually the, the cutting edge is right on the inside of oh, the die. Okay, so right. you know that that is where it's going to cut. So you want to sort of try and get a sort of evenish sort of distance around the edge okay. and I do stick a little bit of low tack tape on because I just I don't want it to move because it's that means I've got to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> now, can I just ask I've got the dies here and the die comes in a set of two and there's yep. like a little connective bit in between. Yes. So do we separate the dies up? Um, if you're going to do them so that you're stamping and then cutting them out yes I would. All I did was I I used proper um, jewellery cutters I like that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah because I didn't want to ruin my scissors but if you've got some old scissors you could probably do it with that as well um, yeah so I just cut them all apart and then Wonderful. they're ready um, to go why are you just popping that through the die cutting machine you may well have noticed we have got them coming together as a duo but we've also got the details um, for the stamps by themselves because they are proven to be popular this way and of course that might be something that you're wanting to do you might want to go for the stamps by themselves well you can do £16.99 very affordable way for you to get hold of them and I love these all these lovely little sentiments that are around you're using them lots of different ways i love that because of you we live in a happier healthier world what a lovely phrase that is as well um thank you for taking such good care of me there um you are my what does that say shiro she shiro my shiro yeah, instead of a hero so shiro so oh, yeah that's cute isn't it um, so yeah, there you go, if you fancy getting hold of those. And of course you can see there, obviously you've got your nurse or your medical um, person, because I'm not, I don't know what that uniform means. It can be a multitude of different occasions, isn't it, there? And then you can see, uh, and you very patient little patient, as you can see there. And I suppose, oh yeah, hero, because she's a she, yeah. hero. I get it, I get it, pennies dropped. 
Sometimes it takes a bit of time, but there you go. Um, so there you go, if you fancy getting hold of that set, the details at the bottom of your screen for the set, but of course the stamp by itself is inside there. Okay. So there she is, oh, there she is, all cut out. <laughs> there is a, one little section, actually it's just dropped out on its own, that you just have to poke out there, um, and that's just so that then oh, yes. that bit there is sort of clear as well. And I'm just going to do a little bit of colouring. I have got one I prepared earlier, so okay. I don't have to wait for it to dry. Or, And I'm just going to just use a little bit of, and I'm using Ecoline, Ecoline. I can never say it. Oh, yes. I know that Lou Sims was on recently with them. And they're just, it just shows that because you've got sort of a nice amount of area that you can colour, but mm. they're not, it's not massive, so you don't have to be worrying about doing loads and loads of shading. Um, you can, you know, just colour in quite simply. It's not going to um, matter. And I did notice on one of the other samples, somebody had done the, this part in grey as though it was the legs. I just presumed it was trousers, but it could just be her legs as well yeah, that's down a good there. Point, actually. It could be, couldn't it? Yeah, just like with the little top, so yeah. Nice, and can yeah. I just say thank you to the American design team. So there's Fran, Leslie, Melody and Gail who oh. created the samples. Oh well, they make our job so much oh, easier having these fabulous samples. coloured faces. So literally just put a little bit of ink down, pull it out and it doesn't take long at all to get her coloured in. So I'll just do her trousers and then I'll switch to the one I've already done. Okay. And I like using the watercolour ones as well because you get that automatic shading. That's almost. a good point, yeah. You, um, you just have to pull it out and you don't have to worry about layering up. But if you do like your alcohol markers, then, you know, also they give you enough of a space for you to be able mm -hmm. to do that as well. So I'll just switch to the one I made. Yeah, so I've gave a slightly different green there. So I think that's more... Healthcare assistant, that's more probably surgeon. Oh, okay. <laughs> because my husband's a healthcare assistant, so oh, I know I these things. <laughs> um, standard by your knowledge. <laughs> yeah. And um, I've just added some little white highlights in just to pick out some of the areas. And then I've cut one of the... Oh, the peekaboo circle. Peekaboo circles. Yeah. And a lot of the time I was thinking of cutting it in white, but so I thought, in black it it's actually makes it quite mm. dramatic and because you've got all that lovely space if you put it onto anything else so you don't have to go around and, and paper piece all the bits mm. if, if you don't want to if you put it onto a colored background you immediately i've got that gradiated effect that's just graduated point, yes, radiated yeah. just because of the paper that's there and it makes just a nice little background for my koala so i'm just going yeah, to yeah. stick that on with a bit of glue gel and again this is one of the ones that um, Sharon was saying that sometimes if she doesn't want to have the stamping day she just wants to craft with dyes mm. then this is a nice um, kind of backdrop a uh, nice one as well some multi stamp uh, obviously paper piece but also put one on top of the other and just kind of slightly offset one to the other so you kind of get yeah. that depth with those as well and the nice things I found with the prickly pear dyes as well is that the bits tend to stay in the die they don't oh, all stay okay. in in the die cuts, I should say, not in the die. So you don't have to spend ages poking them out of the die itself. It stays That's in, good. so you can like multiple multiple cuts, yes. and then go through and well, pop know, all the bits um, out. The Barbara and the, the clarity team, they have that. Is it, um, trap the scrap. Have to make sure you take <laughs> the right way around because it can come out wrong if you're not careful. Uh, and, and that means that you're capturing all those little elements that you can quite easily kind of cross um, pollinate across to the other base that you created. Okay, so I'm just going to, on my original bag, I used thank you for all you do. So I thought I'd use the you are my Shiro for this one. And I'm just going to stamp it onto my bit of paper. So you can really quickly just put together a project. It's a, and the, I just love the sentiments. So they're just a little bit different. They are, aren't they? Yeah. And it's nice, I mean, that we rely on so many people that during this time, but all all times, to all, be honest. Yes, all they? the year yeah, round. So, I mean, obviously on the doctor's set, you get more of the sort of the get well soon type yes. um, sentiments. So if you, but you could, if you've got a set of sentiments that will get, have get well on, instead of using the ones that are on here, you could use the, the koala nurse with some of those instead and have it as a get yes. well project 
Oops, put a bit of glue on that. There you are, my Shiro. So I do like a wet glue every now and again because you can move things. And then just pop that. Oops, in there. And there we go. That is fabulous. Do I want to leave it that way? I'll put it, pick it up. That's it, we're with you. That is gorgeous. <laughs> oh, so sweet. And there she is. Oh, thank you, Jane. Enjoyed that. Good that. And they are perfect for adding a little bit of colour to, aren't they, those ones? Lots of nice open areas, so good ones for you to practice your colouring skills. Of course, the beauty is it comes with a dye, so it's easy for you to cut out and you can concentrate on your colouring. Now, another one that's been popular during this hour has been the Christmas trees, and I love these. A very contemporary look to your Christmas trees. And again, it's one of those ones where you've got a combination of your stamps alongside your dye. Now, your dye, as you can see, a very contemporary shaped tree, um, long and slender, but look at all of these different stamps that are going to work alongside it. Really gives you a whole host of opportunities to work with this one so whether you want to keep things quite minimalistic and here you go you can see that wonderful die that Jane just worked with the peekaboo um, die again creating almost like a stained glass window and there's a backdrop with this particular one you can see the Christmas trees featuring on the top there and look at the detail this is the key thing this is the quality that you're getting within the prickly pear stamps the detail the finish and all the tiny tiny details there with those snowflakes coming right the way through but what about if you don't want to go with the drama of black and white and you want to make it into more of a pastel tone well you can do and again that peekaboo die making an appearance again within here and again lots and lots of detail as you can see within this particular piece here and of course do play around with those shapes I mean they're triangles but turn them around see if I was to cover that up they almost look like posh perfume bottles or something like that don't they with that kind of little shape to them so and again that the beauty of a, a triangle is that they can create a segment or a wedge so you could use those in loads and loads of different ways nice little shaker card here with a little bit of faux snow going on it on that one as well and you can see all the detail with the little penguins you've got um, the fabulous little um, deer at the bottom there as well and um, absolutely gorgeous detail and little gift bags I mean what a lovely way if you've got a little gift that you're wanting to give to somebody maybe a lipstick a lipstick a little bit of nail varnish maybe they're going to sit in there beautifully or even a gift card and that's a lovely little way of presenting them and here you go look at that for a home decor piece absolutely amazing these could almost be your gift tags as well when you look at them I mean you've got enough room when you're die cutting those to turn them into gift tags or potentially you could use them on something like an advent calendar and built up a whole forest of trees. £34.97. pence. Two flexi buys potentially on this one if you wanted to. I think, have you got flexi buy? Not on this one, I do apologise. But if you add it in alongside some of those other sets, you will be able to spread the cost. So there you go. If you're wanting this one, 532-668 is your item number. Now, of course, we've been referencing that peekaboo die. I'd better show you the details, hadn't I? Here you can see you've got your nice circle. Now, of course, if you've got your layering dies, I bet this is going to sit alongside those layering dies beautifully. But you've got a lot of detail in there, a lot of little tiny elements. But when you actually die cut with this one, they are going to fall away. So that means that you could quite easily pop that card or that uh, disc back into the main piece of card that you cut it from and then use it as a backdrop showing off a lovely little background as you can see there in the process or maybe you'll multi-cut it multi-cutting um, and kind of capturing all those elements means that you can turn it into a lovely little design and it's nice because when you actually look at those elements you've got kind of four different elements so even if you're capturing those pieces and not necessarily keeping them organized you could pop them all into a box and quite easily any of those little elements you pull out you know exactly where it's going to sit within that jigsaw puzzle look at that one as well that's nice isn't it nice soft peaceful colors with this one but then of course you have got the beauty of actually working with those elements just as they are so you could cut them out just as they are multi-layer them if you wanting to put one on top of the other slightly offset them to give them a very three-dimensional look but of course they are going to create some fabulous backdrops for you to use in a whole host of ways we've seen these loads of times haven't we with the finished sample so there you go 25 pounds and 99 pence if you want in those ones last couple of dye sets to share with you sorry stamp sets to share with you the ones that we've been chatting about with our de um, demonstrations with jane so um, two different styles this particular one um, a really pretty one a beautiful for you a beautiful you set and again the idea behind these is you've got your multiple stamps in there so if you have just joined us what you're going to do is multi-stamp these jane shows you in the 
the demonstration so you can go back and watch on rewind but what it means is that you can build up that design and this is where you really get that kind of printed effect simply by doing it using your stamps and as I say I think you can get some wonderful results if you're using things like your embossing powders with these as well really pretty stamps there and as I say all coming together for just 16.99 similar sort of concept with the next one this is the one that we did see in the demonstration the cone flower again 16.99 a very affordable option and again lots of wonderful sentiments featuring within this one so things like wishing you a day filled with beauty that's what flowers give us isn't it? I'm sending you a sweet flower hug to brighten your day really nice little sentiments and again they'll show you that I love that you can imagine you're almost doing that with your watercolour pens and then dragging the colour out and giving it that kind of a watercolour look. This is a nice one because you've got the little three-dimensional drops done with your glazes, perhaps. And there you go. Lots of different ways. And there you go. That's a similar sort of idea to what I was thinking about. Pulling those colours out gives the illusion of a watercolour painting. $16.99. What a fabulous array of stamps and um, dyes Prickly Pear have brought to us. Um, and I think that's the thing. You see loads of different styles, loads of different versatility elements. I think that's something that um, you might want to have a closer look can't check this out. Amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. Love those cards. So, Jane, we're going to be working with those Christmas trees. We are. This is a um, demo based on the frame that um, is one of the samples. Oh, yes, yeah. Um, using the Christmas trees. And just to show you how beautiful they look if you do some gold embossing. So, this is what I, I meant when I said that some of the, the dyes are, are like a green solid. Oh, yes. Um, and so, obviously, you can't, if you stamped and then you tried to. Um, cut that out mm -hmm. it will be a bit more tricky but this is where having the clear stamps is really really useful so I won't actually cut that out for you but you can see there are two little um, holes at the top and bottom and oh, that's just yes. so that you can very easily pop them out and they are really simple to use so I've cut out oh, in sort of like a pearly green card one of the trees and I've got one of the trees from I think it set two I'm not sure okay, so I'm going to do both of them so it's okay yes so, yeah <laughs> that's true so I'm just going to put, do a little bit of um, anti-static bag on there and then I'm going to use my um, embossing ink I, I use the wow one because I find it nice and sticky and I find if whatever color card you're stamping onto if you put something contrasting in the background it just makes it easier to see where you're stamping oh, right. when you're stamping okay, onto the tip. tree so if it's a piece of white card, I tend to put it on a bit of black. Okay, and I notice so, you're rotating it as well. So, yeah, yeah, just it's Good easier tip, for me to yeah. <laughs> stamp sideways. So I just sort of hover and I look at mostly the base and the tip to see where I'm going to press down. And then I just give it a press all over, keeping one hand on it, keeping it nice and still. And then it usually sticks and then I take it off. Or oh, you can see that almost that watermark that you thought. Yeah. I might, might not have pressed it quite enough there, but I've got some I prepared earlier. Okay, so just in case. Yeah. And I like this because you're almost using your scraps of card, really, because it's you a very can, slender yes. tree, isn't it? So and you don't need a lot. Because you, you're cutting the shapes out first, you can sort of put them at all angles so that you, oh, like you can sort of put yeah, like yes. that, so that you can um, fit as many as you I can. Actually, that has gone I'm just looking at, I mean, okay. I've just uh, got the A6 cards close to hand. I'm just thinking one, two, Three, potentially four, but you might even get seven out of one of those little yeah. A6 pieces. So yeah, um, obviously topping and tailing it if you're doing it along the edge there, and then obviously your gaps in there. So yeah, lovely. And because it's obviously it's quite a, a tricky <laughs> to rip off, so I tend to take my pokey tool or a kebab stick or something just to hold it down, okay. so that I um, oh, don't, don't have it suddenly fly away. flying around everywhere. <laughs> so let me heat up slightly. Mm -hmm. Very classy look, isn't it, using that gold embossing powder? Yeah, it's 
So I did just slightly miss it there, but I have some that I already prepared with okay. some of the other um, sort of patterns as well, so that you can see what some of the other ones are like. But then I also cut out just out of a, a sort of a sparkly, glittery oh, green, okay, yes. and I think it just looks really nice. Yeah. So that if you can just you can pop them as a bit of a shadow nice, behind yeah. each other. And then I'm just going to create my base for my trees. Lovely. Now, just to give you a little bit of a time check, Jane, we've got about three minutes. <gasps> I might just skip onto oh, okay. this bit then. Okay, I, can, I have one I prepared. I didn't realise the time, to be honest. I can, I can sort of talk you through what okay. I would have done. So I've, I do like using my recycled materials. So I've just got a piece of packaging. I've got some corrugated card. And the idea was I was just going to tear to make some sort of snowy hills. Okay. And then use the my paint. So I've got a dark blue and a white just to paint my background, okay. paint my snow. And then on this one, which I've already prepared, I've just sort of splattered some um, paint, white paint or it might have been gloss spray actually. <laughs> or paint pen, it could have been anything. <laughs> and I've also added a little bit of sparkly glitter on there Lovely. as well, just to make Very my effective. snowy hills. Recycled as well, brilliant. Yeah, I do like a bit of recycling. And then I'm going to use actually I'm going to use a bit of my glue gel. It's just a case of picking where you want your trees to be. So I might have one there. And then that one on top like that. Lovely. And let's have one sort of. Actually, I'm going to do that down the bottom, actually. And then we'll have a different pattern on that one. You've cut out loads of these and have them all in a little box and then just have yep. a good good old sticking session and put them all in place. That's the thing with a lot of them, I'm like with the little beach creatures as well. Yeah. I just um, had a sort of a session of cutting, stamping and cutting them out and then they're just ready to go. Nice. And it saves you so much time, doesn't it? Having a die there ready for you to cut these out or um, you cut them out and then have a stamping session because of course there's a couple of different ways you can do that. Just as Jane is sticking those in place, I've got um, a piece here that is kind of the inspiration behind mm -hmm. the piece that she's working with. And this is a lovely idea because you could be making this as a gift and making your Christmas card to work alongside it and give the two of those together. Isn't that affecting a lovely um, idea? Um, and does, I don't know who's... Oh, it's Jane. Oh, there you go, Jane. <laughs> like, yeah. your name on the back there. Um, <laughs> this is kind of, oh, you've done it already. Well, yep. that was quick. I just, I'd already stamped out one of the um, sentiments. I'll turn it around for you. And lovely. it's just using some packaging. Love it. <laughs> Dropping it. Beautiful. Ah. Oh, it's back on. So a little bit worse. Absolutely fabulous. Jane, thank you so much. And it is a very versatile stamp. That's the key thing with that one. Yeah. Fancy enough. No, we've not got another show with you today, have we? No, this is the only one. And prickly pear. So, yeah. But don't forget, you can go back and watch and rewind as well. Yeah. Jane, thank you. Thank you very much. Fabulous project. <laughs> Loads of fun. Don't forget, if you've got anything in your basket, now is the time to be checking those baskets out. Don't forget, you can go back and watch on rewind. And check out prickly pear. I think you'll like what they bring us. See you later. So, my goodness, that's come round quick. It's 12 o'clock. Let's have, have another look at the one-day special. Before I bring you a lovely hour with the London Fabrics, Dovetail Fabrics, looking forward to that one. And then we've got FMM Funcraft. I think Anthony's in for that. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Echanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Echanda. Hello, I'm Barbara. And I'm Julie. And together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. 
We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product, uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on Achandra. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Kathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Kathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Kathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hochanda we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, get inspired on Hochanda. Good afternoon. Well, of course, we are having another look at the one day special. But before anything else, I need to tell you to jump ahead and check out our baskets. Why? Because it is a limited stock. And this is not the limited stock of the original stock that should, was supposed to last 24 hours. Oh no, it did sell out last night. We bought it back on, back on a standard delivery with dispatch date from the 28th of October. And already that restock is now limited to stock. So please, if you want it, if you have been thinking about it and you really want it, check out those baskets straight away. Now before we go into more detail of what the one day special it is, we are going to say hello to our man of Air Clarity, Paul, joining us through Skype or via Skype. Hello Paul. Good afternoon, Paula. How are you? I'm very well. And of course, you are an amazing crafter. And you know, I know you're very humble, but the reality is that you're an amazing crafter. You have got years of experience, but parchment, what, I remember you telling me that it was something that it was a little bit of almost like an impossibility until it came the, into the groovy format. That's right, Paula. I mean, I've been crafting for many years. I mean, my nan taught me how to knit when I was six, seven years old. So I've always liked to sort of make things. 
Um, and with the parchment system, I tried it the traditional method, um, where you have a paper pattern and you trace it out of a pen, and the skill to get that beautiful crisp embossing line. I think because I was impatient and I wanted some instant artwork, like you do when you stamp out um, an image, it's instant, isn't it? Um, so I, I sort of I gave up on it and I was making holes in it and everything else. Um, and then with the groovy system, what that does is it just replaces one element of parchment craft. Um, and it gives you that confidence to be able to want to be able to progress further. Um, uh, it's like if you stamp out an image and you think, right, I can do this, and then you buy more stamps. Um, and, and it's the same with the groovy system. It's replacing one tiny, tiny bit, but very important part of parchment craft. I, uh, you know, I completely agree. And now, of course, uh, this is the one that is special. It's a collection of mandalas by Tina Cox, an amazing portrait as well. Now, here, uh, one of the things I love about, of course, the mandalas have got that circular element and a kind of that layering element, which allows you to do not just beautiful mandalas, but also different frames, as you were showing us uh, early on at uh, 8 a.m., Paul. That's right. So again, these designs created by the lovely Tina Cox, super talented, were first launched as stamps back at the end of August by Barbara and they flew out the door. Um, so we decided to turn them into groovy plates. So we could have brought you just four A5 square groovy plates of the beautiful mandalas. But Barbara being Barbara, she said, you know what, should these be great if you could do a square frame with it? So Lucy and Lisa in the office got together and they extracted elements from each of the mandalas to turn them into a corner. Um, so it means that you can create a beautiful coordinating square frame to work alongside the beautiful round mandalas as well. It is uh, really beautiful. As we are showing samples from the design team, you can see exactly what you were talking about, taking the elements from the mandalas into those corners. Of course, different techniques, adding color, taking the center out and putting it on the side, not doing the full mandala. Also, I love, Paul, the words that they are included in those groovy plates. Yeah, so you've got the original four titles for the mandalas, which is the same as the stamps. Um, and then those names are repeated in the borders so that you know exactly which one goes with it. And then the girls added an extra word, um, a spiritual or inspirational word to go with it as well. And of course, uh, the borders that you are mentioning, we are getting, is it eight uh, designs for, per plate? So in 32 in total borders, corners. That's right, yeah. So you've got eight on each plate, as you say, but that's just the minimum because with the same principle as the mandalas, you can break those down even further. Um, I mean, the girls had great fun sort of drawing it out and, and pulling it out and saying, right, well, this won't work. And that's the bonus thing that Barbara really wanted was to have a corner because it's fine having a straight line, but when you want to go around the corner, that's when it becomes a little bit more tricky. It is absolutely stunning as well. I love the frame. It, these cards are done by Linda Page. And you can see, you know, parchment is creating lace out of paper. And I adore the, the word meditation in the center. That could be like, you know, Paul, these, these things, that, these quotes, uplifting kind of words that we kind of wake up to every morning and we we'll look at them. Absolutely, and it's also the mindful aspect of it. And for me, the groove, that's what Groovy does for me. It allows me to chill out, relax, get in the groove. Um, if you follow the designs on these plates or other plates in the collection um, from Groovy, you, sometimes you don't need to think about what you're doing. If you're just going to trace it out completely, there is no thinking required whatsoever because all the work's been done by the engraving. And this is the first time we've brought you such detailed engraving on an acrylic plate. I mean, you it's can crazy. see that the sample I'm holding is one of those ones that has got, you know, all that detail. It really is that kind of perfect elements. Look how tiny those dots are. Now, of course, the one day special is limited to stock, and that's the restock extended delivery. That means dispatch day from the 28th of October. You also have got a flexi buy option to spread the cost into interest-free payments of 24 pounds and 96 pence, and that saving of 
14 pounds basically means that you are only paying one pound 98 pence for one of these pairs now if you want to go for the one day special one for one zero nine five is the item number but before we are going to get to demo we want to see more inspiration don't we so here it is what the design team have created glorious beautiful artwork that the design team have made with using the one day special and you can do that too at home by checking out those baskets and then you will receive these beautiful plates now we are going to join back uh, Paul through Skype or via Skype uh, for uh, to show us exactly what we get and of course the demonstrations so take it away Paul Thanks, Paola. So I thought what we'd do is just have a little bit of a recap. And if it's the first time you've tuned in, I just thought we'd sort of break it down a little bit and just go through the designs in a little bit more detail. So as we explained, you're going to get these fantastic corner borders uh, with each of them. And as you said, you've got eight different designs on there, but that's a minimum. So we look at the, the border plate there and you've got that. So that on its own, I mean, for me, is fantastic. Then in addition, you've then got the beautiful mandala. Um, and again, you break it down. And what we've done is we've broken it down just to show how they create fantastic frames. So using the outer edge on this one will give you this beautiful, it's like a beautiful sunburst. Again, we've got this one here, which is the next level in. We can see it's been taken from here. And then what happens is it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So you can use these not only um, to create the beautiful mandalas, but also to create little sort of, these are great for um, the faux gems that, um, that people create. So that's the meditation one. Then we go on to the, the strength. And again, you've got the same concept of the, the eight beautiful corners and frames. Then we've got the stunning um, mandala plate as well. And instantly, by looking at this one, you can see easily where those different layers are. So again, I've broken it down. I mean, I love this one. This is sort of, it's very sort of regal looking. Um, and again, you come down to the next layer and you come down smaller and smaller. I mean, this one is just so, and they're quick and easy to do. If you just break it down into sections like this, they just, they're, so, they're fantastic to do. Next, we move on to Luck, which is the third one in the collection. And again, you've got that beautiful frames. Then we've got the stunning mandala. And again, just from the overhead, you can see how much detail is on these plates. I mean, it's crazy. We wasn't sure when we did the test plates, we wasn't sure whether we'd be able to get so much detail, but we really can. And it's amazing. It is, yeah, it just blew me away. And then we've got the outer frame here, and then we start to come inwards. And again, just that, that is just so elegant and beautiful. But it's sort of like, for me, it, it's the, the um, what words am I looking for? There's so much you can do with what's on these plates. Versatility? Um, versatility or that's versatile? the word. Yeah, versatility, that's the word. Thank you, Paola. Um, and again, finally, onto devotion, you've got those beautiful, and you can sort of see the different areas. And what I love about this is that these are perfect for, um, for creating the frames, but also by working with the various different colors of parchment. So where we was looking at some of the samples in that VT and on the counter, a lot of the design team have taken different colorways to build up um, and they're perfect for that. So on the show, we've got a pack of the um, 26 sheets of it. It's like a sampler pack. 
Um, and in there, you've got beautiful periwinkle blues, you've got a wisteria, petrol blue, dusky pink, and it really is gorgeous. I mean, it's got a fantastic price on it as well. You've got a six pound saving, but you can see that these are perfect just to try them out. Yeah. And then you can say, oh, I really like that. I mean, look at that rich, <gasps> beautiful purple there. They are gorgeous and the colors. They are, and these are just well, when you sort of mat and layer them with um, like just a clear parchment, it really does bring it to life. So if you're, you're thinking about it, and you, this is a real nice sort of sampler just to get you going. Um, and it lists all the colors on the front as well. Um, so that's worth sort of adding to your stash. And you will use it, believe me. I mean, if we bring this one in that we did in the um, eight o'clock show last night, let me come to this camera, you can see how we've used a different color parchment with the white, and it just looks so gorgeous. That's beautiful. One of the other things, Pat, thank you, Pat. One of the other things um, to, to mention about these is that when we're looking at like the finished artwork I've got here um, and the samples on screen, a lot of our design team, what they've done is they've pico cut because they've got the confidence with the Groovy system. Um, I mean, a number of our design team members have never done parchment until Groovy come along. Um, and because it gives you that confidence, it allows you to grow and want to learn more. Um, but there's no rules to say, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. You do whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, but what I love about some of these designs is that if you're not at the Pico stage, cutting stage yet, you've got two options. You can just either trace it out and cut it out with a, just a craft knife and a ruler just to create the beautiful frame. Or you can go with um, the Pico circles that we've got on the show. So these are the Pico circles. And what you'll see is that these work fantastically um, with the, um, the mandalas. So I've got some here, and you can see what I've done. I've cut out just on a piece of parchment, just to show that, for example, this design here would work perfectly with that mandala. So if you love this design, but you don't want to do all the cutting out, then you just die cut a circle and trace it out onto there. Absolutely. It really is. It's gorgeous and very it's simple and very easy to do. Absolutely, because it's all about making things achievable. And for me, that's what the Groovy system does. Whether you're looking for a new craft or whether you've been doing it for years, the Groovy system is that one step to creating beautiful artwork. Um, some people just love the fact of just tracing out the plates, um, especially if you've gone for the colored parchment, you don't need to know how to color in. Um, so yeah. I thought during this one, because I know we're, we're really running out on stock on this, yeah. we're we going are to do something actually, slightly different. <laughs> uh, Paul, sorry to interrupt you, because we are now officially technically sold out of the one day special, which means that all the stock is allocated at people's baskets. If you check out your baskets right now, you might get it still. Uh, but we are, that's it. Now, however, we do have got two of the, thing, the pairs left. Uh, of course, we do have got those ones, which is meditation uh, and, of course, the mandala board that, that comes with it, which is meditation and reflection. Um, 15 pounds and 98 pence for that bundle uh, of two and then of course we do have got also another one is we have got a strength uh, that is the ruby plates uh, duo with of course a strength comes with courage as well 15 pounds and 98 pence is the price 755-563 is your item number now we are coming back to the stance because this is as Paul mentioned before it was the set that started the mandalas by Tina is this gorgeous you know, clarity stamps, they have got amazing quality and you have got so much intricate detail. Two thirds of the stock has gone, but look at that saving. Now, they were launched in October, in August, so not that long ago, and you are saving 30 pounds, better than half price you can get them today. Basically, you are getting four of them for the price, for less than the price of two of them. Paul, do you do love the intricacy of these stamps, don't you? I do. I mean, I think it just shows the quality of clarity and the, and the stamps and the, the manufacture of them. I mean, Jason in our stamp room does a fantastic job. Um, and again, when you look at the detail on these, and I think you can tell the quality of a really good stamp is that when the design team send in so many samples, 
But when you look at the detail on these, um, for me, the key thing is the embossing powders. Um, when you stamp out and you use embossing powders, if you're using a really detailed stamp, you can sometimes lose the design. Um, I mean, that sample there, that, that beautiful black and red, and you can see none of the detail has been lost. And for me, that shows off the real quality of a stamp, I mean, that you don't lose look at the tiny tiny lines in here i mean you are right you don't lose any detail even on the tiniest elements that's right and because they're sort of um they're um oh i'm lost for words at this lunchtime <laughs> because they're sort of the the thickness of them are fantastic the so depth. you can use them for your other mediums as well, so that you triple embossing, um, your film and fiber as well, they will take the heat. Um, but for me, I mean, this is sort of like partial art. Barbara came up with, with the idea of sort of partial art and just using parts of it. And later on in the hour, I'm gonna sort of replicate that on some of our stamp board shapes, just oh, to show you. I mean, yeah, there we go. Look at that one, the silver on that. It's extraordinary. And of course, parts of it, you can see it here, how I love that idea of stamping and then die cutting or vice versa. Uh, and of course, you still get that detail. I also love a stamped and embossed glaze over the shades. Look at it. It's right, it's like a spotlight, isn't it, into, into the design. It Very is absolutely, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Of course, it is stunning. If you want yours, uh, you write in number 263394, uh, but 70% of the stock has gone. That means that, please, if you want it and you do not want to miss out, do check out your baskets for it. £29.96 is the price. Now, uh, let's head back to Paul uh, to see them in action. Okay, so I know that the, the one day special is sold out, but we're going to use other little bits and pieces. And for people at home that have already purchased it, I just want to give you a few more sort of tips and tricks really, just some different things you can do with it. So as we said in the um, show last night, this was what I did in the eight o'clock show. And what Barbara did, if you go on to um, rewind for the six o'clock show, Barbara incorporated the beautiful mandalas with the parchment poppets that we launched um, at, uh, for our birthday weekend. And for me, these just work fantastically with those because it creates a beautiful frame. So for example, if I bring in my folder that's got them in there, and we've got these on the show, and I know they've been popular over the last 24 hours as well for people that sort of missed out. So you've got the Whimsy collection, you've got the um, Flower collection, and what you'll notice is that you get three different sizes on a sheet. Um, you're going to get them in colour and you're also going to get them in black as well. You get three of each one. So in total you're going to get 12 designs um, and you're going to get 36 sheets. So you multiply that by three because you've also got Christmas in here as well and you get the storage folder to keep it all. Has that got a freedom saving on it as well, Paula? Yeah, it does have a, got a freedom saving. A uh, £19 saving is what you're saving if you're a freedom member. And of course, you are not paying P and P. So it's a why not deal. Also, it means that if you're not a freedom member and you want to go for this, this beautiful uh, bundle, uh, it makes sense to become a freedom member and then you will save more money that you will spend by becoming a freedom member. You can see, of course, it comes with a storage folder as well to keep all that parts perfectly safe there and you have got of course flexi freedom if you want to split the payments in interest free payments of 26 pounds and 98 pence that's all you would be paying today and then of course you will pay the remainder at the end of November next month right back to Baal via Skype thanks Paola so again just to show just the frames if you if you invested in the one day special then you can see how these beautiful little characters um, just fit perfectly in there and say so Barbara showcased this in the six o'clock launch show last night so if you think right I'm going to go for these treat yourself for Christmas um, then go back and watch on rewind because it is absolutely gorgeous um, and they just work perfectly with that so we're going to pop that to one side, but it was just to sort of show you. So this was how you would think, right, let's go with the mandalas, we've built up our design. But the lovely um, Jane Telford, she created this one. Um, and there's no sign of a mandala whatsoever. Um, and it's just so clever. We've got the little bumblebee. Well, there's no bumblebee on the plates, 
But what Jane's done, if I bring the plates into play just to show you, so this is from the devotion. So the little wings on the butterfly, on um, the bumblebee, have been created using this element. And the body has been used from this element. So I thought what we'll do is sort of break it down and then we'll just show some different options that you can do. Um, but I mean, this I think this would be great for a kid's card because when you look at the designs, you think, oh, they're quite adult, but it's not. It's what you do with them that can really change how they look. So I've taken a piece of the, the beautiful blue parchment um, that comes in that mix pack, um, and I've used um, our dies, the Pico squares, which unfortunately are out of stock, but you can use the nested squares as well to give you that alternative. So it will give you a lovely square frame, or you can just trim it down to size as well. And then what I need, I need my plates, and I need my plate mate. So the plate mate comes in the starter kit. And for me, this in parchment world, the plate mate is my number one best friend. Okay, because this is where it all starts. And it becomes, it's, it's a plate mate, as, we, as it said. And what it is, it's a mate to the individual plates. So for example, if I take the plate here, you'll see that that fits in perfectly. And it gives you the larger area to work on. So for example, if you're working with a larger piece of parchment, if I was just to, to work on my plate here, one, if I wanted to get it central, it's a little bit difficult to stick down with my groovy tabs. And I do need it to be stuck down so that um, it doesn't move. Okay. If I lean on the edges, then I could potentially going to crease it. So for me, the plate mate is key. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a look at the design and say, right, well, where's that little bumblebee? So what we can do, we can take our coloured parchment and we can tape it down using a couple of our groovy tabs. Oops. And we'll just hold that in place there. And those tabs, Tumble are drops. they included in the starter kit or are they with the groovy the accessories. The groovy tabs, the groovy tabs come um, in, in the accessories pack where you get the groovy guard, which is great, and the tabs, and you also get some parchment as well. So it's a great sort of top up. But once you've got this, I mean, I was using this in the eight o'clock show, and it really allows you, if you want to, to concentrate on an area. It creates that little window um, to be able for you to focus. So if you just wanted to concentrate on that, for me it takes away all the sort of the, the, the loudness of, of the plate um, and it allows my eyes to sort of concentrate and not get carried away in the groove. Of course. So we're going to wipe this with the tumble dry sheet and then in the starter kit you also get the two tools. So we've numbered them to make it nice and easy because we often refer to them. So in the starter kit you're going to get the number one, the number two, the number three and the number four. So the one and the two have been designed to specifically work within the grooves on the plate. And what that will do, the number one gives you that beautiful crisp white line and the number two can give you that softer white line for when you're doing white work. Then in addition to that, the number three and the number four um, are used more for when we want to sort of take that step further and um, add a little bit of white work to it as well. Perfect. So, so for tracing out, I'm going to use my, um, where are we going? Let's have a look. There we go. So I've got my number one tool because I want a nice crisp line. And because I'm using the coloured parchment, I'm working on the reverse, which is the shinier side. And I'm just going to press into the groove. And instantly, you can see the design starting to take place. Okay. Now, if I jump out of the groove, this for me is key. If I jump out of the groove, because I'm going too fast, or um, for whatever reason, I sort of you just you do it and you do it slowly to start off with, and then you build up that design. So now, when I turn this over, even though it's coloured parchment, you still get that beautiful crisp white line. It's the magic of the coloured it parchment. Magic. It really is. Yeah. So then what we're going to do, we can start to add in his little wings. So again, just position that where you want the first wing to go. 
see. And one of the great things with the groove is because I can see through, whoops, let's bring that down that way. There we go. So because I can see through the parchment and I'm working with the, the black mat underneath, I can clearly see where the, the line art is. So again, what I need to do is if this was a stamp, I'd have to mask off the body and then stamp over it. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop at those lines. OK, and then you're just going to follow the design. And again, you don't have to put anything in the wings. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump to one that I've already completely sort of traced out. And then you can see, there we go, there's our little um, bumblebee. Oh, it's so adorable. From a mandala, <laughs> you wouldn't have thought it, would you? From a plate. <laughs> I mean, it's, and that's just using those two elements Absolutely. on the plate. Now, of course, you are using also the deluxe Sarte kit from the Groovy plate. Now, uh, we have got it here, and you can see the plates that come with. Of course, that uh, the plate made here, you can see the, uh, the larger one with, of course, the alphabet in here. This is one is the deluxe one. That one is the one that comes as well with the boxes and there. So it means that you can uh, spell words within those squares. Squares. You can build, of course, you have got even accentuation on there with the alphabet and, of course, the ampersand as well as the at signs as well as clamation. Then you also are getting the trees in here, the landscape. You are getting the nesting squares and, of course, you are getting the very essential, I think it's phenomenal, that you are getting this tiny plate made that fits inside the, the deluxe one but allows you to for the square A6 place to fit inside it. That's important because it doesn't fold the parchment. You are not going to get crease lines, but also you are getting the numbers in here. You are getting all the numbers as well as the uh, ordinals, as well as the pound sign, the euro sign, and of course the, the uh, beautiful uh, dollar sign there. I kind of really think the dollar sign is really cool. And of course you are getting the tags and the oval, so you can put the letters or the numbers within. You also are getting the parchment, the clear parchment, the starter one. You you are getting the starter kit ideas as well in there and those two tools that I'm going to grab them and you can show you with that double endedness so you have got actually in what it is four different uh, ball ends in there and of course it comes in already with that tumbler and drying sheet so you don't have to like me I don't never have got those sheets at home so you have in the, already with the starter kit it means that you can gonna lubricate that gorgeous parchment so the tool will kind of glide through perfectly now for this starter kit you have got a flexi buy option to spread the cost into interest free payments of 27 pounds and 50 pence 946 594 or if you is the item number or if you prefer one of payment of 54 pounds and 99 pence and we're going to head back to Paul through uh, via Skype because I think he has got more to show us thanks I have indeed I thought right so we've traced out all of our design and now we're going to introduce some color to it. So we've got options. You've got the Perga liner pencils, um, which we've got on the show. But for this one, I'm going to go with the Perga color pens. Um, and there are, uh, these are fantastic pens because what you've got is you've got a double ended nib. So you've got a, a bullet nib on one end and then you've got a super fine on the other end. So for really getting into detailed areas, um, these are brilliant. And not, they're not only just for parchment, you can use them for your everyday crafting as well. Okay. So what we've done, we've taken the, the frame and we've used the other plates just to put an outer edge around the outside. And then on the coloring, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go on the back. So we're just gonna take the pen. Parchment doesn't like moisture. And um, so these pens are, are great because they're not too wet and they're not too dry. And you can get a really nice sort of blend of color on there. So again, I can go with just different colorways and you can see how quick and easy it is to add in. Okay, so you would go around and you could complete, you could do that in whatever colors you want to. But because I'm going to use the Antarctica papers that we've got on the show, um, then I thought these colours would work great. Now, with the coloured parchment that we've got on, that pack of 26 sheets, you can actually take the colour out to reintroduce it. So, for example, if I take an eraser pencil and I rub on the back of the parchment where we did the tracing out, 
you can see how it removes the color and then it is what it it takes it back to being see-through okay so you can see there there we go that's the better one so you can see how i've taken it out and then all you would do you would use the same pens or the pencils um, to finish coloring off and then you mat and layer and what i did i went with the antarctica papers we've got on the show and um, we've got a bundle where you get the papers and you get the petite toppers or you get this mega bundle where you've got amazonia and antarctica um, with a, a, a silly saving of 22 pounds oh wow it's amazing <laughs> but again you can take your parchment and you can see how it's going to look um, so you could see right okay go on those colorways but you've got a beautiful you've got 12 different designs all created by barbara all double-sided you're going to get four sheets of each in the papers you're also going to get single-sided petite toppers um, which are a five by seven card um, and again you've got all those beautiful colorways um, so that's the antarctica and then for if you want to go really warm and tropical then you've got the beautiful amazonia collection as well so it's the same concept you've got 12 different designs eight by eight double-sided and the color palette on this is absolutely gorgeous um, and you also get the five by seven petite toppers as well and in addition to that 22 pound saving you're also going to get barb's antarctica and amazonia favorites as well so that's like a, an extra i mean look this is gorgeous and let me just show you this was taken from there and this was the card that we concentrated on in the 8 a.m show this morning and you can see how it just works it is absolutely stunning parchment. That black run is incredible. Vibrant, the vibrancy of that printing is amazing. It is, and it, it's not lost in sort of like the when we go through and we look at like the petite toppers. It, it's in the card as well. I mean, look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Love that. So again, it's these are we launched these as part of our birthday weekend in August, September. I don't know. All the months are disappearing, Paula. Um, so really then to finish off all I've done is I've taken some brads um, and then um, just attached it with the brads that we've got on the show as well to complete that card. Uh, they are absolutely stunning those papers uh, I have got them in front of here and I was flicking through them I have to say admit it because they are mesmerizing you are getting the Antarctica and the Amazonia collection the 5 by 7 card and as well the designer paper in each of them 48 sheets in each of them of course you are getting 12 designs of course four of each in there so it's perfect because you have got multiples of each and let's have a look at the Amazonia because I adore the fact that is five by seven in the petites you can see in here the sizes of it i'm just flicking through quickly because of course we want to get head back to paul to see more demos but you can see in there the beautiful beautifulness of these amazing beautiful prints and here look at that isn't that amazing and of course it is card for the petites and papers of the eight by eight then the antarctica are you doing now I know what I would do. Of course, I would use even the packaging because look at that. It has got that kind of thermographic printing in there. I love that they have, you have got an index of all 12 designs. Remember, four of each design and even the packaging. I mean, look, how stunning is that? I mean, definitely I would be using that. So there is more than the 48 sheets that you're getting. Isn't that amazing to stamp in the center, to die, put in a die cut? Maybe you like the fairies. Maybe you like to have that kind of maybe wintry scenes maybe you were inspired by Matthew Palmer yesterday but you want to have something that you really can you know ready to send and then just do some simple stamping I'm a massive a fan of stamping onto pattern paper like this that has got a white space remember these ones are of course uh, with Barbara's favorites in there as well now if you want to go for this you have got a 22 pound saving and the beautiful a by eight are the same patterns but of course that largest size in there five eight nine six 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 four four is your item number 39 pounds and 92 pence but remember 22 pounds saving it's, it's a fabulous saving isn't it reason to check out those baskets as well 
Now, beautiful stamps by Tina Cox. These ones are the spiritual mandalas and they are A5 square stamp sets. Now you are getting 16 stamps in total and you know what, it's very busy. Over 70% of the stock has gone. Look at that saving, 30 pounds saving. You are only paying not 29 pounds and 96 pence, which makes it better than half price. And the, the detail in these stamps is extraordinary. It's extraordinary because you get the fineness lines. You are getting the depth of clarity stamps. You are getting timeless designs. Mandalas is something that you know they are they were popular 10 years ago and they are popular right now why because of that mindfulness that timeless detail that they uh, achieve i adore the idea like my grandparents had a beautiful mandala from the uh, tibet and and now it's just passed down to generations this is something that you can achieve something that allows you to create simple cards or very elaborate by maybe uh, stamping into different color cardstock and layering think about maybe the beautiful amazonian and antarctica papers and you stamp and emboss it every single time or just a classic look of black and white. You don't need to do much to them because the detail is absolutely extraordinary. I adore that as well, off-centered to kind of hint of almost, I'm almost like a, a, a wheel. Yeah, it's got a movement to it. 29 pounds and 96 pence is the price. 263394 is the item number and basically you are paying for two of them and getting the other two for free. Uh, right, uh, let's head back to Paul via Skype uh, to see them in action. Thanks Paula. As you say, when you look at these designs in stamp form, there's so many different mediums that you can use with them. Um, so you can use just black ink pads or different colored ink pads. The heat embossing with embossing powder for me is key when you look at the, the quality of the stamp. Um, and you've also got, in a lot of the samples that the design team did, you've got that beautiful decoupage where you can stamp it out on different color cards or different paper and then cut them out because they can be, they are quite easy. When I first started crafting back in the day, one of the crafts I loved was decoupage. I used to love their sitting of an evening, cutting all the bits out, and then the following evening, assembling it all. Um, and my dear friend, the lovely Jane Nesterenko, um, that was the first time I saw her on TV and she was working with mandala style stamps. And she used to create these exquisite layers um, with heat embossing and glitters. And for me, when I, we talk about mandalas, it always brings back that lovely memory um, of Jane and when I first met her. Um, and to have that in these stamps as well, it just, it triggers it and it just thinks, you know what, I remember being able to stamp out and then cut them out and build up all those different layers. Um, there was a beautiful sample you held up there. It was a black and white one powder. I don't know if you can find it, um, but what I noticed was um, that they had some flowers in the corner yeah. and the flowers had been created using one of the little elemental stamps on there as well. Very, very clever. Yeah, look at that. So those little flowers um, in the corner have been created. It, can you see the bumblebee that we yes, just did in the course. groovy version? Yeah. So that is, that is a bumblebee but turned into a flower. That's amazing. And of course, we have got another sample here with the corners as well. So it means that not just the mandalas, oh, I, I, there is so many ways of using it. I adore this one as well. That's brilliant, isn't it? Sort of meditation or sort of strength. Um, absolutely gorgeous. And this is where the, Barbara came up with the idea of sort, of sort of the partial art, that you don't have to use the image in its entirety. And of course, more of those borders as well, uh, creating a full background or the partial art here, you can see there, are uh, stamped onto the heart. It is so many possibilities. It's not like you very well say, it's not just the stamps and the mandalas in their entirety. I adore the sample that I'm gonna show you as well, because again, partial art in here with the embossing powder, gold over black. How classic and beautiful stunningly is this sample. Absolutely gorgeous, and it is. I mean, the design team on both the Groovy and the Stamps have done a fantastic job to showcase Tina's beautiful designs. Um, so a big thanks to all of those that are, have sort of done the samples. It really makes our job a lot easier 
um, when we come to showcase it on TV. It, it is. I want to show you one of the, the, the stamps. I don't know if we can come closely, uh, but also because when we talk about the quality of clarity stamps, uh, one of the things that always has to strike me is the depth of that photopolymer. Absolutely, and that's what gives them the durability um, of and to be able to hold that design. If you was to make them any thinner, you would lose um, so much detail because they'd just be all wobbly, um, and then you wouldn't be able to use. I mean, these would work fantastic. Barbara on Saturday was using film and fibres, um, and this would work perfect on those as well. The, of course, uh, that's a very good point because traditionally clear stamps, we didn't want to use them on, on, on with fusible fibers because they were too thin. But of course, clarity, having that dextra depth has always been able to deliver. Uh, quality is, is, is something paramount to Barbara and yourself, isn't it, when you can develop products like this? Absolutely. I mean, 27 years ago, Barbara invented the see-through stamp um, and the, the process hasn't changed much over the years um, and then sort of about a year and a half we, we sort of we managed to manufacture more in sort of a, with new um, systems but it still retained that beautiful quality and the depth of it um, and when you we recently looked like fine line stamps so Barbara had towards the night on at the weekend and the fine line again if it was on, made any thinner then you would lose it because it would just be all wobbly when you it would squidge um, so to have that depth is key and it's very important to Barbara to keep that quality that she's built up over the past 27 years. It is and of course the way that I was thinking is like you can cut into it, you can partial stamp, uh, you were saying uh, stamping on triple embossing um, powder. Uh, now I can want to urge you at home to check out your baskets. We are busy. Over 70% of this bundle has already gone. Uh, you are saving £30 and of course you are just paying £29.96. Uh, now, Paul, through, uh, joining us through, um, through Skype, uh, take it away. Thanks, Paula. So I thought what we'll do, we'll do a little bit of partial art. Um, and we recently introduced um, the Clarity Stamp Board shapes to um, the channel. So in the collection, you're going to get squares, you're going to get triangles or bunting, depending on what way you use it. You've got circles and then you've got the beautiful hearts. And you're gonna get these in three different sizes. So you're three different size hearts, three different size circles, etc., etc. And you're gonna get five of each of those sizes. But these are just fantastic to work on. It's a top quality stamp board. I mean, if I come in and just show you the, the thickness of them, um, they're fantastic for stamping onto, they take water, you can use your pens, your inks, all different mediums on them but they're really really good so when we look at some samples here so this one here was created by the lovely Sheila Metzler um, and again this is where the partial art comes into play um, where you can do it so again you could turn it and have it as bunting so you if you've got stamps that have got alphabets on you can then personalize I mean black and white for me has always been very dramatic <gasps> another one here from Sheila I mean, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? The little wobbly that, heart. And I love that. Love, love, love that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. But simple and elegant. Um, and then we've got some samples that Barb did. Now, again, when you look at these stamps, I'm going to bring this one in because I absolutely love this. Sometimes when you um, stamp an image out, because it's so big, sometimes you can miss areas. So with this, what Barbara's done is she stamped and she's applied the pressure to the middle of the stamp. And then what it does, it gives it that really sort of vintage and um, sort of distressed look. Um, so again, if you so stamp clever. out a, an image and you think, oh, I've made a mistake, don't throw it away, keep it, and you can use it. Very, very simple. Isn't that gorgeous? It, it is stunning. I adore that distressed look. And also how it has been highlighted, the color, kind of, kind of a spotting. Oh, that's beautiful as well. Isn't this gorgeous? So this was stamped out, um, and this Barbara, I think Barbara showcased this on a blog back in August, which is barbaragrayblog.com, and she's used mica powders over the top to give it that sort of beautiful shimmer to it as well. 
Oh, but again, it's that. just using part of it. So Barbara stamped it out onto a piece of the 8x8 designer paper and then chopped it up into four. So you're getting four for the price of one. That is then we've got this brilliant. <gasps> Look at this. Love that. This How is gorgeous. gorgeous. This is from the lovely Dee Paramore. And if I hold that up, you can see... Look, oh, it's how she sort of stamped it. It is. She's concertina'd it. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? And the different colourways. Um, but it's all one piece, apart from the piece in the middle to to go into the centre. But that is a pure piece of art. I adore this. And of course, you can do all that with the beautiful uh, stamps that we have. Oh, look at that. This is, this is gorgeous. This is this different. Carol P. Um, again, sort of over stamping, changing the colour of the, the ink by applying the ink direct onto um, the stamp. So you've got so many different ideas. And it doesn't matter that it's gone a little bit wonky there. It gives that illusion. Um, and then again, mandalas are not just for Christmas. Again, you've got this one here. So this one is, again, by Carol. Let me come over on this one. We can sort of really see it on the overhead. So again, the colour that you use, the papers you pop it onto, can all make a difference to the look of the actual design. Gorgeous. It's beautiful. And of course, we have got about, is it a six, seven minutes to the end of the show. So if you want to show us anything else, Paul, yeah, I'm right. Okay, so I'm going to take one of the stamp board shapes. So I'm going to go for the triangle. I'm going to try and sort of show you how you could easily replicate this. Or there was a couple. Look at this one that Bart did, the heart, where you just offset it. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. Okay, so what we're going to do, I've got my stamp. Now, in this, uh, the, when you get your stamp, it, there's also a peer, piece of clear acetate. So sometimes, if you want to, I've seen Barb do it and Leonie do it, where you just want to get a bit of an impression. So you, by having that flexibility, you can sort of just press in and get that real um, distressed look to it as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up the stamp. So let me pop a piece of white paper underneath so we can see what we're doing. There we go, that's better, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to ink up my stamp. So I'm going to go with all of it just to make it easier. So I'm just using sort of a permanent black ink pad. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my triangle and I'm going to press onto it. So rather than doing it in a traditional way where you, you lay this flat, because the stamp board has got depth to it, it's easier to do it this way. See, look. Look at that. Oh, it's turning. See, and then I can turn the stamp round, and then I can go, right, let's press into this bit here. You see? And then because you've got that flexibility of the stamp board, turn that over, and you just start to build up. And I can see where it's dry, where I've taken my impression, because there's a slight sheen to the ink. So, and then on this one, I'm going to go there. Okay, so nice and easy to do. And then <gasps> we've got. I love that. It's so that elegant. Effective, it's gorgeous. So you've got options. You can keep it in sort of the monochromatic um, style in the black and white. Pop that onto a card with a little sticker word. So we've got the um, the feel good factor stickers on the show. Um, so these came as a result of Barbara Shack Shack, um, and um, th th it's just very sort of safe and happy words. Safe, happy, and creative. Stay home and craft. Um, so you've got them in black and you've got them in white and you've got the various different, so you've got all will be well again, uh, keep calm and carry on crafting, um, you are my rock, be still and listen, um, we are here for you, really sort of uplifting which really ties in with the mandala feeling, um, so let's go, I know we're going to go with this one, follow your heart, so we're going to take that off and we're going to pop that just in the middle. Okay, so again, you can add colour to it as well. You could use the pens or you could use the pergoliner pencils to add some colour. 
Um, but what I thought we'd do, we'd add a little bit of bling. How are we doing for time, Paula? Uh, we have got about four minutes till the end of the show. Four minutes. Okie dokie. Right. Piece of paper. I'm going to bring in my gorgeous Perga glitters, um, which comes with a mapping pen um, and the sticky ink. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that to my side. I'm going to go to my sticky ink first. So I'm going to take the lid off. And just because it says Pergamano doesn't mean it's just for parchment. Okay, so I'm going to load up my nib, and it's like a, a, an old fashioned fountain pen. And then what I can do is just go in. And if I come over on this camera, so I can go in and just add some glue, the sticky ink. And because it's got that ultra fine nib, it means I can really get into detailed areas and just sort of highlight different parts. Okay, so and then you just go in and just load up. So I've done that bit there. So we'll get some more ink on the nib. And then it's just very, very subtle because you don't want to take away from the beautiful design. Okay. And then we've got this. So we've got the, is that a special price on the glitter as well? Wow, five pound saving. Saving in there, and of course that mapping pen is is the finest of lines, isn't it? It is. It's really, really sort of ultra fine. You can see there, uh, which you need really for parchment craft. But it works fantastically um, with your stamp board, um, with your cards as well, because it gives you that fine detail. So, clean your nib afterwards. Just run it under a warm tap um, and keep that clean and then I'm going to go to my glitter so I'm going to go with uh, a hint of we've got gold silver copper blue pink and green so we've got six different colorways in there I'm going to go with a hint of green and then we're going to sprinkle that all over ultra fine translucent anti-static made for us by wow so you know it's top quality. So we'll just tap off the excess. And then let's just give that a flip. And then what you'll see is, let me if I come in on this camera, maybe I'll get a better glare on there. If you Can we sort of know? Tilting there we go in. this way. There. Uh, yeah, that, I think there that would go. be better. Yeah, when you, yeah, it's a hint of green coming through, that iridescentness yeah. of gold. Exactly. So, and it's very, very subtle. I mean, and that's what um, Sheila's done on her sample just there. She's gone with the, the hint of gold, um, and you can really see that coming through, can't you? Oh, absolutely stunning. I adore these stamps. And now, of course, these stamps, uh, we have got an amazing deal on them. You are getting them better than half price. Now, uh, three quarters of the stock has already gone. If you want to grab uh, this amazing bundle, do check out your baskets. The item number 263394 is the item number. Now, Paul, uh, now, are you going to be back at four o'clock? I'm back at four o'clock with, um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'll be back at four. Uh, well, uh, well, we will see what, what is left. Uh, I will urge every, thank you so much, Paul. Uh, have a lovely uh, four o'clock show. And I'll see you when I get back to Earth uh, because I have got a nice break and now myself as well. Uh, right, of course, uh, do check out your baskets. It's a beautiful uh, spiritual mandalas from Tina Cox. The beautiful uh, stamps. The one day special now has sold out even the extended delivery. So this is the way to get that mindful, beautiful, artwork by Tina in the stamp form with that better than half price deal do check out those baskets of course after the break we have got more inspiration here at her chanda going from stamps to beautiful fabrics African fabrics actually I'll see you hopefully in a few weeks three weeks actually to be exact so I'm having a long break We have got Dovetail London Fabrics with Adaku and of course Hayley West. Then we have got a fun hour with FMM and then Love Lounge favourites at three. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. 
We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing and our favourite being our crafters carry on. We've really enjoyed being on Hochanda. It's um, made us famous really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom Members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Achanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Coming up in the future with Hochanda, The Mill Shop Online is going to bring lots more collections of beautiful fabrics, all inspired for your crafters, for your upholsterers, soft furnishings, everything for every project. All our designs for Hochanda, all our crafting elements, always very unique and very exclusive for Hochanda. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss the Meal Shop Online shows on Hochanda. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter, all work in the company, and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind. So they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects. And paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons. So tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hello there and welcome, my goodness, we are in for a treat this hour. Have you seen these amazing fabrics that we've got all around in the studio? And we've got loads of different ways you can get involved with these. And we've got Adaku with us again. Hello. How are you doing? Hi, Hayley. Thanks so much for having me back. Not at all. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't we? you want you back with these fabulous fabrics and these gorgeous kits that you've bought? And Paula's just gone off set, kind of doing yes, a little twirl. Yes, twirling. She's wearing some of yes, your she's wearing a gorgeous skirt made in some gorgeous fabric. Yeah, no, now, tell me lovely. a little bit about your fabric. 
fabrics? Because sure. I'm not going to lie, it's an area, um, wax print fabrics. I sure. don't know an awful lot about Tell me about sure. these. So wax print describes the printing technique. Okay. So you start with a sheet of white cotton or very, very large sheets mm -hmm. of white cotton. And then you will apply wax, okay. essentially. And um, after the wax has been applied, the fabric will be soaked into a dye. Right. Then the areas to which the wax hasn't been applied, the dye will penetrate. Okay. And when the wax is removed, once it's cooled, mm -hmm. those areas to where the wax hasn't been applied will still be white. Okay. And you begin to see the outlines of a pattern. See, the description that you've given me there makes me think a lot about batik, batik fabric. Exactly. So it's a similar sort of technique. It is. I mean, essentially, um, it's an imitation batik. Okay. So it's because it's done by machine and not by hand. Ah, oh, so that will explain the crispness yes. that you've got of the design. Yes. I understand. But aren't they beautiful? <laughs> I love these. Now, there's absolutely loads for you to choose from. I'm going to give you lots of different options. Have a look at those reviews as well. Um, there's some incredible reviews. Look at these five-star reviews. The quality. I wish you could put your hands through the screen and actually feel these fabrics. They are absolutely amazing. Look at that five-star review after five-star review. Aww. Time and time again. Fabulous quality. Beautifully wrapped. All these different comments that you, got, you guys are making, like-minded crafters. Thank now, you. Now, there's loads of ways you can get hold of your fabrics. With this first option, the details are already on your screen. This one is a pick and mix. Yep. So you're going to choose any two fabrics and you're going to get um, a meat. Is it a meter or a yard? That we're a yard. A yard. A okay, yard. So, so we're going with yards on these ones. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So it's, it's not approximately 91 centimeters. Yes, so yeah. on, on the width, slightly shorter than a meter. Okie dokie. But have a look at these. What sort of projects can we work with these fabrics? I mean, these, these yes. have got a fabulous bag, but I can see you've got a pair of trousers as well. Yeah, sure. So, I mean, the beauty of these fabrics is that you can make them um, into sort of so many different things. You've got dressmaking, you've got bag making. Um, I've seen people send me photos of chairs they've upholstered, wow. uh, pyjamas. There's so <laughs> many different things that you can it. do. Curtains. And these are really statement prints. I mean, these look amazing. And I know sometimes when you look at fabrics, you might think, of, oh my goodness, they're, they're quite bold. I don't know if I can cope with these. But think about when you're toning things down. Because sure. quite often with these, you might be wearing a single colour as a blouse or a shirt. Exactly. On the exactly. Top. And it's kind of the, the lower garments, the trousers or the skirt or the dress, whatever it is you created, that look amazing. Now, of course, let me tell you about the different styles that we've got and what they're being called. So this one absolutely beautiful you got that hair the, so it's her hair was adorbed with, with these beads, yeah. what a beautiful name yeah. <laughs> it's very popular this one <laughs> i love that and these names that you've given the fabrics well, i've given stars. the fabrics oh what a poetic way of thinking i'm beautiful <laughs> Love it, there you go. Now there you go, this is one that you could be making your bag, you could be making your trousers. Yep. With these. I could imagine these being beautiful with like a, a cobalt blue t-shirt. Oh yes. Look amazing. It would look amazing. It Gorgeous. would, yes. Love it. Now if you're wanting to go, whole, um, go for any of these fabrics, we're talking about um, a yard of each of these, but if you want two yards of the same fabric, then the bottom of the screen, it's the same price, it's just a different way of getting hold of it, sure. and of course you'll end up with a two yard piece, because of course it's going to be joined together. Next one, I can't wait to find out what this one's called. Oh, what a fabulous name, Drop a Pebble in the Water. Yeah. Oh, these are beautiful This names. is a very traditional print, in fact. Um, this print, you, you, you'll see it in so many colourways, and so, and Subra, is the um, traditional name for it. It has other names, but okay. Insubra is my favorite. And effectively, it means water well. Oh, I because see. if you picture a pebble being dropped into a water, the ripple it's, that it creates. It's, yeah, it comes out from it, that center, yeah. point, doesn't it? There. Yeah. Now, this is a beautiful fabric. Again, I'll show you other projects created, but what a fabulous dress again there. It's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Now, we have got patterns for both the trousers and the dress and the skirt. You can see there. And the top. And the top. Yeah, they're all on there. <laughs> um, and uh, you, I'll give you all the details in a few months, but I know lots of you will be jumping ahead and having a look at those. Now, the next one that we're We've got these fabrics. I'm <laughs> moving off. I need a weight on the back, and it's the quality of the fabric. It's just drawing them forward. Next one that we've got with these beautiful flowers, and this one is called "She Studied at St Martin's. Martin's." Yeah, that just sort of came to me as I as I saw it because fashion college, and so I thought yeah. that was quite fun, quite beautiful. quirky. And I like this one because it's some people, if they're afraid of colour or they're not sure yeah. of colour, you've kind of got um, the cream backdrop, yeah. which is kind yeah. of a safe zone for some yes, people. Yes, for sure. For sure, yeah. But again, you can gorgeous? mix and match it with so many different things. Yeah. 
And again, chocolate brown, you can imagine if you've got a blouse with this and a pair of chocolate brown trousers or a jacket. Oh my goodness, can you imagine creating? The bag, isn't that phenomenal as well? Absolutely beautiful. And again, the bag pattern we've got available for you. Next one that we've got, I love these. And I can see where the name came from <laughs> for this on Peacock Feathers. Beautiful shapes with these gorgeous colours. Love that backdrop, that teal. Gorgeous. I don't know if we can see this. But oh yes, the, you um, can, the trousers. The trousers... Um, I don't know how well we can see, but the design actually grades downwards. Yes, I mean, yeah. I've, I've, I've got them pointing downwards, but so the repeat becomes larger throughout it the pattern. Does, yeah, we can see it as we go down to the hemline So that, there. I mean, yeah. well, as soon as I saw that, I just had to have it. <laughs> I just well, had to have it. It's a very flattering way to use fabric as well, isn't it? Because it's drawing attention to the lower area rather yes. than the hip area, which yes. many of us want to keep away from, <laughs> to be frank. Um, the trousers, again, we've got the pattern for those trousers as well. And of course, you have also got, obviously, the fabric, whether you're going for your two um, yards or your one yard. Two yards is proven to be the most popular, so we have popped those details up on your screen there, as you can see there. And Absolutely just to, beautiful. Just to say quickly, yes. um, sometimes people have bought two lots of two yards. Oh, okay. So if you do, um, it will come as a continuous piece. So you're cutting to order. That's yeah. even better. Just Fabulous. Say. Thank you for that. Yeah. makes life easier, doesn't it? When you, especially if you're making a garment. Now, the last one. I love this one. Now, it's getting hot in here. Oh, yes. And that's what we've got. I love this. <laughs> Oh, look at you! Yes, yes modelling that. Yes, let me twirl, let me twirl. That looks beautiful. Love the top as well. Now, this is the pattern that we've got on the show yes, as well. Yes, this is the Priscilla top. It's really, I absolutely love this. I mean, as soon as I made it, I thought, oh, I'm wearing that. <laughs> I love that kind of shirt tail bottom that you've got, which again is very, very complimentary. That way it kind of comes up at the sides there. And I'm wearing it with a denim skirt to sort of, you know, if you want to sort of bring it down with something plain. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So those are the main focus fabrics that we've been looking at, aren't they? Amazing as well. Um, now, the most popular way for you to get hold of them is with this two-yard option. Um, and as you heard, if you're wanting to go for multiples, then they will come as a complete piece. Now, the website is probably the best place for you to go to see them up close and in personal. But before you check your baskets out, there's a lot of other things that we have on the website that I do, I'm do. i sure you are going to want to have a little look at. We've got the most amazing panels coming up here, and it's kind of a continual piece, a big four-yard piece. You'll see them in a few moments. Now, if you want a complete kit where you've got everything, in there including your reusable pattern and incidentally the patterns are, this is the thing that I love about these patterns they're going from a size 8 right the way through to a size 26 you all in one pattern you don't have to choose an option five star reviews I love those Claudette trousers they look incredible $14.99 incredible value for money and of course if you want to do a project like the trousers that we saw on the set there you have got all the elements there including your notions there being your thread um, and of course you've got your elastic working those as well so do have a little look now this. I just want to just stand here and just <laughs> absorb this design. It looks absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. Now this one, oh, this is so pretty. We have actually got this featuring in the little project to come up in a, a little while as well. Yeah. But look at this. Oh, what's not to love about this fabric? It's beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? And I love this. I mean, you've got that bold print, but then you've got that, that black backdrop there, which really does make it stand out. Now, I'm going to open it up. Obviously, I, I can't four yards. I mean, <laughs> it's not going to happen, is it? But I can give you an idea of what you're going to get when I open this up to show you the halfway point, so to speak. And you've got repeats of this piece Yes, here. it's just stunning. Isn't it's it gorgeous? Stunning. So you're going to get four of these kind of panels, these gorgeous floral panel, um, panels. And I love this because we've actually got a dress behind you that's yes. been used. Uh, this fabric's been used. Can we see it? <laughs> look at that. Can we see that? Yes. Doesn't that look good. It's over by the patio window. You can see. And I love this because the way you've positioned the pattern on the fabric, you've got that gorgeous detail around the neckline and the upper body. But then it goes, I don't know whether you'll catch it because it's right the way down on the hemline. A bit tricky to see because we've kind of got counters and things in the way. But you can see that it gives you an idea of how that is going to look around the hemline. And I love that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And of course, four yards, there's a lot you can do with four yards. Yes, yes. I mean, it's more than enough. Um, and if you have excess, then you can make a small bag or you can make some headwear mm -hmm. or 
this is a, this anything lots, that you lots like. Lots of choices. I think this is just fabulous. I know we're kind of getting out of sarong weather, well, in the UK anyway. <laughs> uh, but but um, if you're thinking ahead, if you maybe got a, a winter getaway potentially, then uh, yeah, I think this would be a fabulous one to wear on the beach. Twenty-nine pounds and ninety-eight pence for four yards of fabric that's incredible quality. Yeah. And the details are on your screen. They're all from Dovetailed London, as you can see there. So you know you're buying into quality, and you can see that from those five-star reviews that we saw just a few moments ago. One four five six two two. So I'm going to pop that away. As much as I love it, we need to move on and show you the other <laughs> goodies that we've got. Now, we've been a bit of time getting here. I do apologise, but I can't help. It's gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics that we've been chatting about. Now, this next step that we're talking about, let me show you this one. This one is one of your project kits. 20% of the stock has gone of this. So if you do like the look of this one, you need to be quick. Now, you're looking at a project bag. Now, we've got different fabrics that you can choose from, but this shows you um, the style of a bag that you're going to be creating. So what have yeah. we got within this kit? So um, within those kits, you can choose any of the six fabrics that we have for this show. Okay. Um, in your kit will come the zip. Lovely. The um, zip facings, the binding. Pre-cut pieces of the African wax print fabric Beautiful. and also um, pre-cut pieces of the interfacing as well as the vinyl front. Wonderful. So when it all comes together, it this all is comes what you're together. It's amazing. It's Beautiful. It's very nice. Doesn't that look amazing? There you go. You can see that gorgeous print there. So again, you're going to choose the same title that we've been talking about throughout the show. So choosing, it could be the florals. Uh, yep. It could be, she studied at um, St. Martin's. It could be any one of those. But you can see there, the details are on your screen. They're £24.99. Um, absolutely beautiful. And of course, you are going to get your pattern, your guide in there as well. Exactly. Which we'll go yeah. on and use again, can't you? Yeah. Exactly, yes. Use it over and over. 577863 if you're wanting to get hold of that particular one getting very very busy <laughs> jumping onto the website's the way to shop to be honest there's loads there now the shopping bag kit which is the one that we've kind of been looking yes. at behind here this is a really i'm going to bring one of oh, these please. forward actually yeah get huge. it out it's I think we can put Paola <laughs> in here you know she would certainly fit in there wouldn't she i got Paola bless well, her what i had in mind is that i often come across tote bags that are just so small and i think well what are you going to put in there so i thought why don't you just make a really 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 big one huge. so we can fit loads Loads in there. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Now, of course, you've got lots of different options with regards to these as well. And that fabric there, is it, when you do it on air, obviously you can see kind of a, a little bit of strobing going on because of the detail. It almost looked like there was a metallic on there though, that was moving it. But anyway, that is the bag that you are going to be able to create. Yes. Again, it's all about choice. It's all about those fabrics. And again, we can get everything that we need within yes. the kit. So in there will come uh, pre-cut handles, um, pre-cut pieces of Ankara fabric, your thread. I forgot to say that there's thread also with the um, with both projects there's all the notions that you need you also get the magnetic bag closure I don't know if you can see okay. that just in front of you yeah Lovely. Um, so that and then the pre-cut interfacing as well okie dokie there we go now I believe it's the fabric that we're seeing on the counter with this particular one so the details on your screen you're going to get those gorgeous florals that we just saw a few moments ago on that panel and of course on the, the dress as well I mean imagine making a dress with that fabulous bag alongside it um, 924256 if you're wanting to get hold of those now clothing well you have got some classic stars with these patterns and this is the first one it's showing off a beautiful beautiful gorgeous kind of um, easy i would say from the, 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 looking at the pattern here a nice yes. easy one to work with yes. here very easy simplistic lines that's yes. the phrase i want yes very flattering yes. yes and is this the style that um Aunt paula created her skirt with because i know she uses uh, some of your a, fabrics yes she did yes, a bit yes. similar yeah, I yes. think she did a slightly shorter version, yes. which of course you can do. Yes, of course, of course. Um, the pattern does come with lengthening and shortening lines. So okay. if, if, if you're confident in doing that, then you can Lovely. make it longer or shorter as you prefer. I love it. Now you can see here, obviously, you've got your size chart. You've got all your garment measurements. So you are going to be able to make something to measure that's going to fit you perfectly. So if you have struggled perhaps getting things to, to suit your body shape, your height, those, all those different factors that quite often when you go shopping on the high street, you just can't get, can you? Well, here, you have got the ability to do so now if you're going for a size eight then you are looking at um where am i uh, oh it's the same it's kind of the same length with everything isn't it yes so from eight through to 18 you're looking at two yards yes which is just shy of two meters yeah and then if you're going for um sizes um where am i 16 through to 22 you're looking at three three yards. i think from, from 20 
to 26. Oh, sorry, I'm, yeah. I'm looking at the US side. That's I do right. apologise. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, UK, 8 to 18, yep. um, 2 yards. And then if you're looking at 20 to 26, 3 yards. And okay. also, if you want to pattern match, if you're looking at pattern matching, then, again, just buy that little bit more. It's, it's always worth doing, isn't it? And, uh, of course, you are going to get your fabric within your kit. You're going to get your pattern, your reusable pattern. That price on your screen to make a garment and still have the pattern to reuse, phenomenal. The pattern is available by itself. Um, it's 14.99, so yes. that means that basically the fabric and the notions come into you for just £20, and you're getting two metres of fabric in with this one as two well. Two yards, yeah. Oh, two yards. Okay. <laughs> Condition to meet it, aren't we? I do apologise. Um, with these, you're going to get your thread, so your same colour thread. You don't have to go and find that. And of course, you have got your elastic as well. So there you go. Thirty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. If you fancy creating that one, five seven four three nine two. Now that fabulous uh, top that we saw being uh, modelled so beautifully just a few moments ago. If you fancy creating your own, then here you go. This is the one for you. And this is Priscilla top. Love the names that you come oh. up with these. So where did the Priscilla top originate from? The name. Just popped into your head. One well, day. not quite, not quite. Um, so I just, I sort of had a theme around women that I have heard about okay. or women I admire. Um, so I, I won't perhaps reveal the last names, okay. but <laughs> they are, they do have meaning. Oh, I love that. And that's <laughs> nice because it kind of gives it that feel, doesn't it? And here you go. You can see how beautifully that top comes together. twirl again. <laughs> Give us a twirl. There you go. Amazing. Love it. Um, and now, of course, if you're wanting to create yours, you have got everything you need again. So you've got your pattern, again, going from sizes 8 right the way through to 26. You can get two yards of your print fabric there. Four metres of your fabulous bias binding. I mean, that is an absolutely perfect match for that orange in there. Yep. And then you've also got your spool of thread there, your Gutterman's thread. Thirty-four ninety-nine again, to make a garment and still have the pattern to go on and create even more than, I think, brilliant value for money. Now, those gorgeous florals. This is where we're going to see them appearing, in that gorgeous dress. And we actually saw this on our mannequin earlier on. So if you fancy recreating that dress, then here you go. You've got this lovely... And I love the boat neck. It's very elegant. Oh, it is look, very elegant. Yeah. No, it yeah. is. Very yes. fashionable style. I love this. With patch pockets, do you have to put the pockets on? No, you don't. Personal you choice. Don't. Personal choice. And you, you can... Um, you can cut the pockets in a different type of fabric. That's a good point. Actually, um, you could, you could yeah. cut the pockets in denim. Yes. Or yeah. a plain cotton yes. or polka dot poplin yeah, or anything that you like. And the binding, you know, I just I'm obsessed with polka dot, as you might have guessed from my <laughs> kits. You could use polka dot on the binding. Could you, it's point, just. Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? Now, the one that Options. we're looking at here hasn't got the patch pockets on it, but because that's personal preference, if you want to add them in, you can do. Some people do like a good pocket, don't they? No, this, this does have patch what pockets. Is it? Sorry, I don't want to put my oh, back to that. Oh, you can see the... they're in the darker fabric, of course. Yes, yes. I've, I've put them in the... I've, I've just, I just cut the black. Oh, OK. So from the same piece? From oh, the same okay, piece. right. I couldn't see those. They've been put in beautiful. <laughs> there you go. Um, so there you go. If you want your patch pockets, they are there. If you put them in, you don't have to. It's entirely up to you. Yeah. Two flexi buy payments of twenty-five pounds will get you that pattern alongside your fabric there. And again, is it two meters of uh, sorry, two yards yes. of fabric we've got again? No, four. Uh, sorry, four on this one. Four I on that one. Love it. Four on the dress. Four on the trousers. Just Love because it. they do take that little bit more. And if you want to pattern match again, you'll need that little Good bit point. more. Good point. Again, very affordable there. So five nine one nine at three. To. Now, the final item to share with you is the Claudette trousers, and these are beautiful. 591 at 932. I think I just gave you that number, didn't I, for the last one? Do apologise. <laughs> but here you go. If you're wanting the Megan dress, then the details are at the bottom of the screen. These Claudette trousers are absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm looking at these. We've not mentioned yeah. the difficulty ratings with your patterns. Yeah, no. um, so very, very easy. I mean, for the we've most only part. just got to the yes. three stars. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Um, so I think the. Althea, the skirt is a one star. I believe that I can't see from here. That's okay. Don't <laughs> worry. The Priscilla is two stars. Two, yep. Um, and then Megan, two stars as well. But yep. even if you're very novice, I think the thing is, if you see a garment that you like the look of and you take your time, I think kind of the stars are irrelevant really, aren't they? Because your passion mm. will carry you through. Yes, it will. Yeah, it you, will. You know that you create something. And of course, full instructions with these, so step yes. by step. Yes, they are. Full instructions, um, colour patterns so there are different colors for the different sizes oh i see that's nice and so easy nice and easy to follow yeah.
There you go. Um, now, if you fancy creating your trousers, you can see here um, a couple of different styles with regards to them. Because, of course, you might go for the kit to create these fabulous trousers that we can see hanging up. But then you might choose one of the additional fabrics to add in alongside and get a second pair. Because, of course, you'll have the pattern that you can continue to use. There you go. Your wide leg trousers are very flattering style. They're just £49.99. Two flexi buys at £25.591.932. All I'd say about the top okay. is that if you're a bit hippie, mm -hmm. um, I'd trace the a size a size up okay so if you're a 10 trace a 12 if you're a 12 trace the 14 and then use the um pleats at the neckline okay. to bring it in and so and that way it will fit perfectly over the hips and you get the lovely neckline as well i love that and that's with the priscilla top that we were referencing there as well so uh, lovely so we're going to get into demonstration yes if that's okay what are we yes. going to be creating so um i'm really excited this is a project bag that I made with this red trim and the blue polka dots um, and I'm using it to keep together the project bag that I'm going to demo. Oh, okay. Oh, exciting. <laughs> so it really does. It is really useful. <laughs> and it's so, good because that, that clear window on the front of it, you yeah, know. You know exactly what what's in is, there. Yeah. It's wonderful. So I'm going to demo um, the attaching of the zip. Okay because it has a zip front closure. It does indeed, yes. Um, what I've done already is I've taken the front and back for the African wax print, um, sandwiched between the two is your vinyl, is okay. your um, interfacing. So you'll use the iron to fuse that together. And then I just ran a stitch along the very edge just to keep the whole thing in place. I just use an eighth of an inch seam allowance, nothing pretty or fancy, just to keep that all together. Lovely. And then I will take the zip facings. So there'll be two, two shorter pieces that are both the same width. And then there'll be a third piece for the facing that's slightly thicker. So leave that piece to one side, take your zip, make sure it will open and close in the way that is comfortable for you. Open it slightly, about halfway, move that out of the way. Take one piece of your zip facing and lay it with the um, design facing upwards. And then line up the raw edge here of the zip with the raw edge of the facing and also line up this silver tab with the end of the facing. Oh, kind of where the teeth end. Thank oh, you. Yes. Yeah. I mean, this, this is all in the instructions. And then you'll literally sandwich that zip between those two pieces. I like to use these sort of um, fabric clips. Oh, yes. I've got some of those from a quilting. Ah. <laughs> and then... Um, run a stitch using a quarter of an inch seam allowance all the way from the top here right down through to the end. Now when you get to the zip, a bit fiddly, you'll need to fiddle around and then bring the zip back up to close before continuing to sew that end shut. So I'll just do that now. Lovely, nice and easy to follow that. So, of course, then within your kit, you're going to get all the directions, all the pattern uh, layout and everything. Of course, you're going to get your fabric as well for your first bag. But do make sure that you do add in some additional fabrics as well, because this is the key thing. When you created one of these, I know that you'll be wanting to create more. We've got the perfect opportunity, the perfect way for you to get hold of these. Now, the gorgeous fabrics that we've got on the show, you've got a couple of different ways you can get hold of them. Now, if you do want to go for a larger piece, then you can go for a two-yard piece for $14.99. Details are on your screen you've got all your different options that we've covered during the hour but then you've also got the ability to kind of do a bit of a mix uh, mixing up matching them up maybe i don't know where you might only want a yard of it and two different fabrics well that is your second way of getting hold of them bottom of your screen you'll notice that you have got a pick and mix it's the same price just 14.99 but it does give you the ability for you to get hold of uh, those in kind of your yard pieces so you could choose two you could go for i don't know it might be that you're going for um i'm trying to think of the names now with regards 
fabulous because they're such fabulous names. They're just blown away. So it was, it's, the beads in a, a hair was adorned was with adorned beads. With beads. There you go. So her hair was adorned with beads. Maybe you're going to add this one into your basket, um, which is going to be one of your options. And um, then the next one that we've got to it, that gorgeous pebble. Drop a pebble in the water. I love that design. Mm -hmm. I almost could imagine these with almost like a button placed in the centre there or a buttonhole okay. if you, you can manage to, to, to do that with a, a project. I think that'd look amazing. The next one with those gorgeous cream and brown and chocolate tones that you've got in here is she studied at St. Mar um, St. Martin's. Beautiful. And then the next one with all that gorgeous teal detail in there is your peacock uh, feathers. So beautiful. And then the next one is getting hot in here. Uh, I don't know why I say it with that kind of <laughs> emphasis. I really don't know, but um, isn't it a beautiful fabric again? So those are your options with regards to your pick and mix. But of course, if you do like those as a longer piece, then you can use those details at the bottom. Sorry, at the side of your screen. The bottom is where you're choosing just one yard. Now, all of the different fabrics that we've been working with appear in a variety of different guises, whether it's a garment, whether it's as a bag. And of course, you can get them with those projects. Might be that you're going with for one of the projects that uh, we're working on at the moment so at the bottom of your screen you will see the pattern if you just wanted to go for your project as a, pot, um, a pattern then you can do so you can see um, obviously we're working at the moment on the project bag which is the one that um, we're working on but the clothing patterns gives you the ability to kind of create your own wardrobe really doesn't it um, it might be that you're creating a skirt which is the first pattern that we've got here and again your uh, fabulous um, skirt with the Althea um, a pattern as you can see here um, nice and easy a waistband with elastic and I do like el an elastic waistband, especially mm -hmm. if you've been out for a meal. Always like useful. <laughs> Very forgiving. Yes. Next one we've got is the fabulous top as well. So this is your Priscilla top. So again, you've got your fabric. You've got notions in there ready for you to work with this. And don't forget, these are patterns that go from size 8 right the way through to 26. Um, £34.99. pence. If you want the pattern by itself, again, the details are at the bottom of the screen for that particular one. Next one that we've got is your Megan dress. And this is one that we saw with those beautiful floral panels a few moments ago. And this this one, you've got your patch pockets if you want to include them. You don't have to, but you've got that very elegant boat neckline, very forgiving. And again, size 8 right the way through to 26 there. With this one, you are going to have more fabric in this one, which, of course, um, is why you've got that higher price. But £49.99 means you are going to be able to create an amazing dress and still have that pattern ready to go on and create even more. So uh, two flexi buys are £25. But if you fancy those trousers, those beautiful wide leg trousers, these are gorgeous. These ones are your Claudette trousers. Us. Beautiful design, as you can see there, all designed within the UK, and they look absolutely amazing. So if you fancy this one, the pattern of the, is at the bottom of the screen, because it might be that you want the pattern, but you want different fabrics. Well, of course, you can make up your own little bundle with these if you want into 591-932. We've had some emails through as well. So, Roberta, you've been in touch. It's good to have your company. And Roberta, Roberta saying hello to us all here. Oh, hello. Hello. Um, Hi. And uh, she's just saying, oh, that's a fabulous phrase, Roberta. It's a riot of colour. And isn't it <laughs> yeah. just? I mean, we've got uh, so many different colours here. It's a really bright and happy set that we've got here oh. as well. Um, and she's saying about the, the fabrics, um, African wax fabrics. Highly recommends them to everybody to have a go with. And I think this is a thing. It's, it might be one of those fabrics like myself that you've not actually stitched with. But why not choose one of those projects and give it a go? From what Roberta said, it's amazing to work with. And she hopes to see you regularly back here at Oh, Chandra. that's lovely. Thank you. Some lovely emails. Now, you've got your zip in place OK, there. so we've got the zip in place. Um, so the next part will be um, you'll press lightly just sort of down here. OK. And then run a stitch, just to sort of neaten this, you'll run a stitch along this edge, along this edge here, on the facing edge, right near the zip, an eighth of an inch seam allowance. So kind of like a top stitch to like keep a top everything stitch. together and neat. Thank Lovely. you. And in fact, you can open the zip fully when you do this. Okay. That's not a problem. I, I, I'll, I'll skip the pressing and just... That's okay. Now, do you tend to work with a zipper foot when you're doing this stage, or do you just go for no, the, the standard foot? I actually, foot? I don't think I've taken off my walking foot in about six months. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Are you comfortable 
saying with it. Because I just good. love the, because I saw, I'm sewing clothes, I'm sewing bags, I'm sewing clothes, I'm sewing bags. And for, for bags, you know, the Especially thickness. with the PVC. Yeah, yeah. the PVC and yeah. the interfacing. Yeah. Your walking foot is your best friend. Yes. Obviously, there's just no other way of, of doing it. Um, so it just ends up staying on there. I love it, Vega. <laughs> Now I'm going to let you um, carry on with yeah. your stitching and uh, we'll come back and see how you yeah. get on with that. Looking forward to this one. So, um, yeah, details are on your screen. Of course, the kits that we're working with at the moment, if you do want to go for the kit, the details are there. I'm going to give you a little bit of a recap just while we're stitching the rest of that um, zip in place. So, these beautiful fabrics across the back here, let's start off with these. Now, we've got different ways for you to get hold of these. Now, the two yards is the way that most of you have been shopping for these. If you want a smaller length, then you can go for your pick and mix, where you are getting one yard of two different options. So, it could be two different styles of fabric. Um, if you're going for a bag, if you're creating something like a bag, then that might be the way that you want to get hold of them. So, you've got your options here. Now, the, this fabric is beautiful, really good weight. And, of course, as you heard earlier on, it's the design of that gorgeous wax that is created or the designs created with the use of wax here which gives it that wonderful name and these fabulous phrases that you can see so her hair was adorned with beads is this first one with that gorgeous cobalt blue again appearing within here and that lovely power of orange there next one that we've got with this kind of pattern radiating from the center point there that one is drop a pebble in the water and again it could be something that you're using as a fabric in its entirety or you could potentially be fussy cutting these and using them almost as applique um, elements on a project if you wanted to as well the next one, she studied at St. Martin's, of course, Fashion College, so uh, there you go. Uh, natural, um, natural name for that college, really, isn't it, with this one? And again, a nice one, if you're not too sure about colour, but you love the boldness of these prints, I think this is, you've got both in, in one print, haven't you, there? So you've got your cream background, that gorgeous um, brown, and then that chocolate brown on top. And again, um, a yard is probably enough for you to create that fabulous bag, as you can see there. And we have got patterns for all these different projects, incidentally, as well. You'll find those on the website. If you're wanting a kit to create your bag though the details are at the bottom of the screen I'm going to carry on with two more to share with you those fabulous peacock feathers peacock feathers we've got in a fabulous bundle with the fashion um, pattern to create those gorgeous claudette trousers but you might want to be creating something else you might want to make your priscilla top with this well of course you can add that priscilla um, top um, pattern in and then obviously get hold of your fabric this way with your two yards there and then the last one it's getting hot in here and that is the one that you have seen already in that gorgeous top absolutely beautiful so there you go they are all available on the website whether you want to go for your two yards as you pick and mix or whether you go for your two yards as one particular fabric but I do get you do get you to check out those gorgeous five-star reviews now we're going on a bit of a spending spree. We're going to add in, we've just added that gorgeous four yards of fabric in a few months ago, the gorgeous florals on there. Uh, we're going to go for, it's getting hot in here, and we're going to add in, ooh, what did we go for? St. Martin's, nice. They kind of work together, actually, like those ones. Oh, no, we haven't. We've got, have we got the braided one there. Oh, no, we haven't. We have. Just have to check it as you come to check out your order there. And then you can see that gorgeous black flower garden. You're getting four yards of that one for £29.97. That is this. It's a huge piece of fabric and it's beautiful as well because it kind of comes in panels so if I open it up in fact I'm not going to open it up fully let's open it to the halfway point there you can see from salvage to salvage you've got your design going as the kind of the drop um, of your design there so Put, putting the placement of this is going to be so easy with regards to your project. So you dress or, I mean, you could create that and that almost have, you could almost have like a pair of trousers where one leg has got more of the darker fabric, one's got more of the bright colour tones in there. You can really go to town with this, create a beautiful designer look with these. Um, or okay, again, you might want to cut around them, fussy cut around them and applique them onto another project if you wanted to, but they are absolutely beautiful. Um, and uh, I've managed to fold it so as it's halfway through the flowers. Not the best way of folding is it but we'll get that sorted out in a few moments now details are on your screen so if you're wanting to go for this one you're going to get that gorgeous panel repeated four times within here um, and it's just 29 pounds and 98 pence so there you go if you fancy getting hold of that one one four five six two two absolutely beautiful now of course projects we do like our projects and i love this idea because you can kind of make a, a project of the project bag to put your projects in 
kind of how it works, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and of course, <laughs> this is the way you can get hold of this one. So £24.99, pence. you're going to get your pattern, you're going to get your fabric with this one, you're going to get your PVC, you're also going to get your interlining, um, and of course, you're going to get all the facings, your zips, everything that you need is included within here as well. Um, you're also going to get your um, thread that's going to work on your project as well, and then you're going to be able to create your fabulous project bag as we've seen. And we've just been learning how to put that zip in place there. And look at that, there you go. And I love that with that polka dot as well. And um, you've got your instructions with this one as well. So when you get it home, let me open that up. You can see full colour there, lots of photographs to help you with these. And of course, just as we were learning there, those little clips in place with a little bit of top stitching and you are good to go. Look it, okay. So the zip, um, obviously we saw put in place. I'm gonna pop back over to demo in a few moments. Can I just quickly show you some of those other kits though as we travel down there. The shopping bag. Now the shopping bag we've just been looking at, and this is this huge bag that we've got here. Um, so a really good size. You're gonna fit lots in here. I think it makes an amazing beach bag as well. Um, it's 18 inches by 16 inches, and it does come with a little magnetic clasp as well. So for security, you can pop that in place there. And I'm sure if you have fabric left over, you could make a small bag to go inside it couldn't you um 29 pounds and 98 pence so um, of course the one that we're looking at here i think it um you've got that gorgeous floral panel um that a few moments ago we were looking at so that's the fabric so that's from the the four yard kit that we saw a few moments ago or should i say four yard piece should i say 29 pounds and 98 pence nine two four two five six if you're wanting to get hold of those then of course you've got your garments and this is the beauty you can create something of your own making and this is lovely if you invest in a pattern, and I found this from personal experience, invest in a pattern that you find easy to work with, with a classic style, you can be using this for many, many years to come in a whole host of different fabrics. But today we're kicking it off with the beautiful, she studied at St. Martin's, with that beautiful fabric in there. You're going to get your two yards of your fabric, you're going to get your knee and your thread, and of course you're going to get your elastic for your waistband. Um, you're going to be able to make a, um, a gorgeous skirt, just like the one that we're looking at from a size 8 right the way through to a size 26 so you don't need to worry about that um, and you're getting plenty in there in fact when you look at the elastic I'm sure you've got more because I'm not yes. there's, there's a lot of it in there <laughs> there's a meter there's a meter of elastic wow, which is years. plenty more than enough in there so of course <laughs> you might even find that you've got enough to go to make a second one if you like our little Paula <laughs> um, so there you go um, the Alfia um, design there as you can see they're absolutely beautiful um, £34.99. pence. Now the Priscilla top has proved to be a popular one, not surprised, because you can create this in a variety of different fabrics, couldn't you, quite easy. But in this particular one, it comes with your, um, it's getting hot in here fabric. Could you create this one perhaps in a jersey style fabric as well if you wanted to? Because I, I kind of lend the shape to being quite a forgiving moving. Yes, yeah, yes you can, yeah. yes, yes. yes. There you go. Um, so maybe create your first one using the fabrics. As you can see, it looks amazing. We need another twirl. Oh. <laughs> I absolutely love this. I mean, it's, I just it's love just this. It's such a, a comfy look and so it fits so well. Really, I do love it and I do love that kind of the, the, the binding at the bottom there. Yeah, looks amazing. Love it. There you go. Now, if you fancy creating that particular top, details are there for your Priscilla top with the pattern. And then, of course, that Megan dress with that gorgeous floral print. Here you go. £49.99. Two flexi buys on this one of £25 each. But again, you are going to get your fabrics within there. It opens up your flexi basket if you are going for this one because you've got your two payments. So you could add some additional fabrics in there, maybe an extra pattern. And there you go. This is the dress that you could be creating with this one. Um, four, um, 780, sorry, um, 546, £49.99. Last item to share with you is that Claudette um, trouser pattern. And these are the beautiful, very forgiving wide leg trousers here. These are beautiful. Our Molly, in my ear, she's oohing and ahhing over these. She loves them. Um, and I love the gradient of the, the pattern that uh, we saw with the trousers going from the waistline down to the hemline, yep. where those feathers get bigger and bigger, bigger as they go. Yeah. Two flexi buys are £25 each. Very unusual to see yes. the pattern like that, actually. Well, it, yeah. Very unusual to see yeah. the fabric design in that way. They but look yeah, amazing, they are amazing. They? Yeah. Love it. There you go. Um, so if you fancy getting hold of your fabrics and the details are there, you can see £49.99. £5.1932. And of course, any of those projects that we've just been looking at, the patterns are available by themselves. You'll just find them on the website. And the patterns themselves go from size 8 right the way through to 26 with those. So uh, yeah, 
You don't have to choose a specific size. We've only got about 15 minutes left. I don't know where the time's going. I know, it goes quickly. Um, not just. <laughs> so once you've done that with this zip, you would have top stitched along there, just to neaten on this side. Lovely. You'll then take the other piece of the zip facing and use your iron to first of all press it in half, wrong side to wrong side, like this. Then open it out and bring the sides, the edges rather, to the center. Press again and then finally bring it together. Oh, okay. And then you'll effectively slot your vinyl into that center fold. Right. And then stitch along here to attach this piece of the facing to the vinyl. And I'll do that now. Now, this might be a, a fabric that people haven't stitched with before. So oh, the any vinyl. tips with regards to stitching with your vinyl? Do you know, I haven't found it that tricky at oh, all. Okay. I suppose because you've got the fabric on both sides. So yes, it's kind of, that's what I you're think it's really, to, really. The, the, the fabric that you're, that you're stitching, um, the non-vinyl that you're stitching. Yes. Um, if you have any problems, then your non-slip foot, Teflon foot. Good um, point. There's, yeah. another, there's another name for it. Um, mm -hmm. Oil cloth foot. Mm -hmm. You can um, bring that in if you're having any problems with the vinyl, okay. but I, I think it's quite straightforward. So I'll just make that stitch now. And then again, just a, a regular straight stitch with just this Just a regular straight, straight stitch. Mm, that's working well along. So keep it nice and steady. That top stitch is going to be holding, obviously, your fabulous fabric in place and attach it to that PVC as it goes. There we go, beautiful. I'm glad that you like a polka dot, I must admit, I'm a bit uh, drawn to a polka dot. I phone. love polka It's my second favourite fabric, you can <laughs> guess my first, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> into sewing in the first place? Oh. I mean, is this something that you, you learnt from a family member? No, or? no, 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 no. Um, so I was a barrister. Um, oh, yeah, before before having children, I was at the bar for about 15 years. Okay. And um, after children, I was just looking for something else to do. Yes. Um, just sort of deciding what, you know, how I would, if I continued at the bar or if I'd do something yes. else. Yeah. And then I came across some um, adult learning classes oh, yes, at my yeah. local adult learning centre in yeah. textiles. Fabulous. And so I just did a, did a couple and was just completely hooked and did almost did a full year. In fact, I did a full year from sort of the September through to the June. Yes. Um, yeah. From 16 through to 17, doing oh. about four or five short courses. Yes, yeah. Every semester or term. Yeah. And yeah, I love it. It's just and do children sew as well? I mean, have you inspired them to have a go? I mean, they do. They actually, all of them, the boys and the girls, they love the fabric. Um, I haven't yet got them sewing. Um, ah, just give it a couple time, more yeah. years. <laughs> <There's> still time. <laughs> okay, so then, once you've done um, that bit, move this out of the way, you will just sort of line this up so that you can then repeat on this side what you've done here okay all right so again um if i bring this you can see that what you'll want to do is just run a top stitch along here so this is the original top stitch i've just done okay so it's, that's the one attaching that's the, the one the attaching PVC it to the pvc mm, yeah. vinyl and then you'll do a second top stitch just here to attach that piece to the zip. And I love that. It turns that um, zip into kind of like a, a focal point, yes. doesn't it, with that contrast there? Yes, it does. I'll use pins for this just because it's a bit fiddly. And yeah, I'll just run a very short stitch line along there. Fabulous. The thing that I love about this is you've got, I mean, the photographs. Can I show you the booklet that comes with it? Because I think this is the key thing. We're looking at a difficulty rating of one star with this on. So this is one that, even if you're just the most novice of sewing, might be that you've just in, in, uh, uh, invested in a sewing machine. Might be that you've inherited a sewing machine. Perhaps somebody's upgraded and they've passed on their previous machine to you. This is a lovely project because this is something that you will create for your future projects to go into. So this is something that you could be creating over and over again, even making it as gift 
gifts for people because you can see here within that um, pocket you've got everything that you need for your particular project but then it's the instructions this is the key thing so every single element here will show you how you are able to create so all those techniques that we've just been learning about how to apply the PVC to that little bit of um, a kind of facing that you've got the top there how to insert your zip and how to go on and then obviously as time goes on you'll add it um, on all those additional elements as you can see there things like your buyer's tape going right the way through so that's if you are going for the project bag now lots of you are going for things like your trousers your clothing you're enjoying it the ability to create your own clothing I think this is something that's fabulous isn't it and this is you can see you've got quality with your um, envelope here that's got your pattern in but of course what will happen is you'll go on and you'll keep your pattern in here I'm not going to open it up because you can see how it is sealed there but you've got the quality of the pattern knowing that the different sizes have got different colored lines on them so you've got multiple sizes with this size 8 right the way through to 26 um, and dependent on how you work with your pattern I know this is this is a personal preference thing but I'm very frugal <laughs> so when I get a pattern that's multi-size I kind of cut the outside parameter and then when I'm doing the size that I need to work with, I kind of use little snips into that line and fold the fabric underneath. Okay. So it's that way I've still got all the sizes, yes. even though you might be creating something sure. that's size 10 or sure. size 16 or whatever. Or, um, or tr tracing paper, you I can just sort of yes, yes, trace up, yeah. your size yeah. and then your... Um, good quality pattern paper is still intact. That's a good point time. actually, yeah. So yeah, invest in some of that tracing paper. Now this one comes with a fabric because it's a kit, but you can get the, the pattern by itself if you're wanting to. So these are your Claudette trousers. You can see you've got that fabulous open leg, um, um, not open leg, wide leg should I say with these ones. And of course it's coming with that fabulous peacock feather fabric that we've got behind you. Um, now of course it comes within the kit, but you can go if you pick a mix and get hold of this one as well. So if you like the look of this, but you you might be thinking actually I want to make up the Megan dress with this well you can do because you've got the ability to go for um, your fabrics either as the yard with your pick and mix across the different ones that we've got or it might be that you're going for your two meter piece if you so choose so this particular one that we've got is your peacocks just to the side is the one that we saw um, beautifully um, adorned by the um, at, at fabulous <laughs> Oh, that's coming together a treat. <laughs> Sorry, I was distracted for a minute. So, yeah, um, this is the one that we've seen in that fabulous Priscilla top there. Uh, it's getting hot in here as well. Next one that we've got is that gorgeous, she studied at St. Martin's. And you can see here how it's been created using a, a fabulous bag, which we have got the pattern for as well. Um, and that is this beautiful fabric. Again, are you going to go for your um, two metre pick a mix where you're choosing, sorry, two yard pick a mix where you're choosing a yard of one fabric and then choosing your second fabric? Or you're going and go for two yards together the next one that you've got is that fabulous one drop a pebble in the water and that's where you can almost imagine dropping that pebble in and having all of those little ripples coming out from the center point there and then the final one that you've got there is her hair was adorned by beads oh sorry with beads absolutely beautiful get it grammatically correct there you go so lots of ways for you to get hold of those fabrics and of course if you do want to go for a project with those fabrics in then do check out on the website as well there's loads of ways you can get hold of these how are we getting on i'm having bobbin issues which is oh bless you <laughs> but essentially that's how it will look there you go all, all right. comes together and then you will attach your African fabric that you've already okay. prepared you will run a stitch just around again the four sides just to keep it all together and then I'm knocking fabric so okay. don't worry <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll get your um, binding piece lovely yeah and a um, bit trickier this okay. part but again there are instructions in there essentially you'll fold your fabric wrong side to wrong side along the entire length okay there'll be a second bit a small bit just in case wow mm -hmm. you need it um, and then you'll line up the raw edge of your project bag to the raw edge of your binding okay and then run a stitch quarter of an inch seam allowance along the corners, the sides, Fabulous, all the way around, and yeah. then flip it over Okay. and top stitch from this side to catch the underside. So it kind of doubles over, so it it does. that's giving it even more support around the edge, doesn't it? Right, okay. 
Look at that, and there you go. You can see. So the one that you've got in front of you, are you you're okay to hold that so we can have a look yeah. at that, um, this, the way that you've done your tape around the edge there? Cause yeah. That is the key thing. That looks beautiful. I love that power of colour against the, the zip on that project. Doesn't that look amazing? Lovely. And of course, the stability that you've got from this, this is through the elements that you've got within the kit. Yes, yes, yes. The, um, there are two layers of interfacing. Okay which really helps to keep it quite structured. Yeah, and then, of course, that's perfect if you've got your project in there you want to keep everything intact. Yes. Isn't that fabulous? Love it. Thank you very much. Now, we've been busy not only with the pick and mix and obviously your two yards, but what about these beautiful panels here? Now, with this one, of course, you've got your four yards here, which you could use in um, a host of different ways, to be honest. But it's a good sized piece of fabric, this one, isn't it? And of course, yes. the, the dress, the Megan dress that we've got on the set that's been created with this one. Yes, it has. It has. Um, what else would it lend it to itself to with regards to your patterns and projects? I mean, any of them. I mean, I've okay. made, because I have, I actually have the black flower garden in a few different colorways oh, and I mean they it works with really any of these projects and it's nice because you kind of got that that power of that design and then obviously the backdrop of the the black that really does showcase it well doesn't it absolutely beautiful four meters is a lot sorry four yards to say oh it takes a lot of getting used to after you say meters for so many times but look at this and this is the thing that i love that you can use it to highlight a particular area of a garment and draw yes. the eye to that area we can yes. see the dress here using it around that boat um, boat neck um, line we've got sleeveless yes. beautiful Love it, there you go. And of course that design echoed at the hemline with this one. Don't forget you've got your patch pockets if you are following the Megan design of the pattern. And of course you can get hold of the Megan pattern alongside your four yards of fabric if you wanted to make that own little kit of your own as well. Um, but um, of course the different garments, well you've got choices. You've got, obviously we've been talking about the Megan dress, but what if you're wanting to make a skirt? Well, we've got the Althea pattern. Now this is a nice one because you can get the pattern by itself. Check out on the website if you do. Or you could go for the kit. Now the kit, you can see, it's got the fabric in there, it's got your notions in there, but of course it's got the pattern, the reusable pattern. And are you like me? Once you find a pattern that suits you, you just stick with it and you make it in so many different well, fabrics. Well, I am very proud of the fact that a very good customer of mine, who had bought a few times and never really heard much back, and so I wasn't quite sure and then found out that she'd made the Megan eight times. Oh my goodness. In eight different fabrics. But this is the thing because you've got a style And she'd that made suits the skirt you. and the trousers. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's one of those things that gives you the confidence. If you've got a pattern that suits your body shape, which, let's face it, I mean, these are very flattering, whichever of these you go for, um, and uh, in a fabric that you like, I mean, you easily can make making them into winter. I mean, I know the, the dress that we're looking at, the Megan dress has got sleeveless, but you could almost yeah. be wearing a long sleeve um, yes, T-shirt yes, underneath. Yes, exactly, you, yeah? exactly. Or a jacket with it. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Love it. I've had a lovely time, I must admit. Now, the Althea kit, oh, that's what I was telling you about, wasn't it? The Althea kit, this gives you the ability to make that fabulous skirt there. You've got your two yards of fabric. You've got your printed pattern, obviously, with your multi-sizes, multi-coloured with regards to those lines. And then you've got your elastic, way more elastic than you're going to need for your project as well. And, of course, you have got your thread. You've got 100 metres on there as well, so more than enough for you to create your garments. And I wouldn't be surprised if you have got some of that fabric left over, especially if you're not the tallest of people, a bit like myself. <laughs> now, the next one that you've got is that wonderful top, beautiful top, the Priscilla top. And I love this because, again, it's a classic style. So when you're comfortable with creating this, you can be making it, obviously, with your fabulous um, um, African wax fabrics that we've been chatting about. But equally so, you can use fabrics that you may already have in your stash just waiting for the right project to come along. Um, <laughs> or it could be that um, you're using another type of fabric. could be something like your jersey. It's entirely up to you. Now, let me show you this particular um, project that we've got here as well I mean this is proving to be a very problem we just have to retrieve the fabric because it just slipped <laughs> off the counter there so have a look at this one this one is your Megan dress now when you actually get your pattern when you flip it over it's got all the information that you need there yep. so all your different sizes there yep. going from your size 8 right the way through to your size 26 gives you the ability to kind of check the sizes because I know we, we don't all fit into boxes no, do we no, with sizes that's why, um, on the patterns you have the UK sort of dress sizes and you have the finished garment measurements as well yeah yeah because all oh, this is it because it helps doesn't it because you, you 
don't necessarily fit into a standard size here. Um, so with this one, you've got your pattern. Of course, you've got your fabulous fabric as well. Um, and all your notions to get you started with that one. And then the final garment that we can share with you, those beautiful trousers, the Claudette trousers. Been a very popular pattern this one Ooh. during this hour. £49.99 and the details are on the screen there. And you get some amazing feedback. I mean, you saw on our website five star reviews with regards oh, to your That's amazing. Patterns. That's and, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. And sort of feedback do you get to yourself as well? Yes, yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's, it's great. It's great. I mean, it's important to me yes. that, you know, people yeah. are happy. So, yeah. And of course, I'm guessing on social media we can find you, Dovetailed yes, London? Yes, um, Dovetailed London on Instagram and Facebook. Wonderful, we will check you out. Thank, thank you, you so much. Have a fabulous hour. Lovely. Really enjoyed myself. Thank you. Take thank care. You. Um, so, yeah, anything in your baskets? You need to be checking those baskets out to take advantage. Of course, don't forget, you've still got time to place your order. You can go back and watch and rewind as well. I'll see you soon. Bye. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Can we do it again? Um, <laughs> FMM Funcraft coming up with um, um, our lovely Leonie and of course we've got Anthony. Then we've got a little lunch favourites. Oh, it's going to be a good one. And Clarity. I'm Alice from Alice Stitcher Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on Agenda. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hello, my name's Catherine Sturrock and I bring to a Chanda my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I'd like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. Hi. 
Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. The company has been going for a year and a half and as a crafter, I wanted to find a box which I could receive every month and would be full of craft supplies. As I couldn't find such box, I decided to create it myself and that's how Craftbox started. Every box contains at least 15 products which are beautifully hand packaged by a team based here in Cambridgeshire. All products are placed in a beautiful sturdy box which is ribbon tied and we hope that by receiving this box you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the craft box shows on Hochanda. Hello and welcome. Well, I'm really looking forward to this hour. It's such a long time since I've worked with the lovely Anthony. And we have got some beautiful, beautiful, um, well, finished samples that you can see, all created with the wonderful cutters um, from FMM. Now, you might, I'm sure you'll recognise the name FMM, because, of course, we've seen them here at the Chanda um, quite a few times. But I love the designs that you can create. I also love the prices. They're ridiculous. There's such good value for money. Um, you can see what you can do with these. I mean, these are fantastic. Fantastic, Anthony, and it's lovely to see you. By the way, it is. It has been such a it's long time. Been ages, yeah. Yeah. I wonder why they've kept us apart. I don't I know. Don't know. It's rude. I know. Absolutely. Rude. Absolutely. Because you've had some cracking shows recently. Oh. Had some really beautiful shows. Mm. The products that we bring, and do you know what? I'm always so pleased to be able to, you know, hopefully give people inspiration out there. Because Absolutely. you know, for me as a craft, when I used to sit at home and watch um, TV, yeah. To get inspiration to actually use it is just a plus. So I'm yeah. hoping I'm I'm achieving what I'm what I'm set up to I do. Think, uh -huh. I figure so. Do you know what? It is interesting. I love I love our jobs because yeah. I remember working with you many moons ago. Many years ago, you know the dark more, side. The dark side. <laughs> um, but completely different crafts, and this is the beauty of our job. Do you know and what? Crafting. This, this is the thing. You know, it's, it's, it's um as a crafter we evolve. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. The, the evolution of crafters. Yeah. <laughs> it really and it is. is. And it, back then it was. Uh, sticking decoupage together. Yeah, nice yeah, yeah. Decoupage. Oh wow, yeah. But you now you know you're into your messy crafting. I yeah. am as well. And it is. You, yeah. you just evolve. Yeah. You do. And I love it because there's always something new to learn. There's always oh, new challenges. Yeah. It never gets dull, does and it? And you know what? This, this is without a doubt. You know, Hachando, it's, it's very aptly named. Yes. The, the home of, cro of craft, hobby and art. And you know yes. what? That's the thing with a lot of the crafts nowadays. They are actually borderlining on that art. Yes. So it's, it's great to bring everything together here on this channel. Yeah. Really I is. think so. Mm. I think so. And it's, yeah, it's lovely. I, I do love it. I love it when it's like, yeah, we have so changed. Absolutely. Oh, we've changed. We have. <laughs> um, now, we have got some incredible deals for you. So, first of all, roll up my sleeve so I don't knock everything off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got the uh, the wonderful cutters. Now, it's funny because when you look at them, they do look like little wobbly lips. Don't they? But they're not. <laughs> they're not. Um, what you've got here, you've got um, a wonderful set. Now, with these, they've obviously been, um, it's your poinsettia. Yeah. I mean, they could be leaves, they could be all sorts, really. Yeah. But, but you can create so many different flowers with, Do you with know, these. That, that is the you? thing. Um, I, I, I didn't actually know, but the, the leaves of the petals are actually called points. Did you know I that? Didn't know that. Not until I read the instructions, that was. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, you can, like you say, yes, it's a poinsettia, but. Just get creative. You can yes. create any type of flower. It can be a fantasy flower. So therefore, yes, poinsettias are sort of like, um, recognised as a Christmas flower, but don't just think of them yes. as that. Just go outside the box and you can create your own amazing, beautiful flowers in yeah. any colour you like. Absolutely, because they can be real fantasy flowers. Mm. So you can really build those up. Obviously, we've got the clay on the shore, so get ahead. We've also got in this bundle that big, lovely Merry Christmas. Ooh, and yes. we're using these with clay, but it's FMM, so of course you can use these if you're, you're doing icing, if you're doing cake decorating. Absolutely, and things, yeah, just so get yourself a second set if you're going to be using them exclusively. Yeah 
for that. But yes, these can be used for all types of things. They are food grade and plastic as well, so they're going to work perfectly for your decorating of your cakes as Perfect. well as your, your cards and your mixed media. Amazing. And this is a great size, this particular yeah. cutter. And you know what? Huge. Yes, I know you can you can get a die that says Merry Christmas. I doubt if it's going to be that big. Yeah. But the thing is, when you use clay, it's giving you that dimension. Yes. You can then add texture to it as well, which yeah. is a little bit more difficult with paper. So, yes, it does have its pros when you're using the clay and the cutters yeah. together. Absolutely. Yeah, you can do so much, can't yes. you? And it's the flexibility of that clay as that's, well. That's the thing, you know, when, whenever you cut something with dye, from yeah. a die cutting machine, that's all you're going to be able to do with it. It's exactly yeah. as you get it. But when it actually um, is cut into clay, then you can manipulate it more. So it actually hasn't got to look yeah. anything like the original cut at all. You can warp it, stretch it, just have fun with it. Yeah, yeah. just play. Um, you've then got the um, the wonderful uh, holly leaf as well. And, of course, because it is a wreath kit, you do have the, the little MDF wreath to build it all on. Um, you do have, as well, with the instructions, with the poinsettia, you can see you've got step-by-step step on the back there. I really like that because that's really going to help build it up. Yeah. And they do look, I mean, when it's finished, they do look really effective. They, they do indeed. So, yeah, like you say, all of, the, all of the kits that actually come to you, the cutters, they will all have their own instruction. Yes, by all means, just have a look at them and uh, just go step by step. But in between, maybe you want to tweak a little something. Yes. It's still going to work. So don't think that you have to follow those rigidly. Just just experiment. That's that's basically what crafting is all about. Definitely. You need to because that's where you get the fun. Now, um, this kit, if you do want to go for this, look at that price. £16.24. Already 10% of the stock has gone. You're saving £9 on that. Um, if you did want to get extra of your, uh, your wreaths, ta-da! I did want to juggle there, but I can't juggle. Nor can I. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> just don't do that, Leone. But it gives you that thing, doesn't it? You just, yeah. Um, but you are getting... Stop it, Leone. You're getting three of those for 9 99 So if you do want to make loads of yeah. these, make gorgeous Christmas presents, yeah. pop those in your basket. 916-844 is your item number. Now, I would definitely, if I was getting anything today, i get that kit alongside this kit. And then basically you've really got a whole selection because this one is giving you three ivy leaves and i love these because it goes really diddy doesn't it it does Look. indeed they're really really tiny as well so you can create um ivy and again ivy's not just for christmas no halloween's definitely. just around the corner you could be using it for that yeah you can have these cascading down the edge of one of your mixed media canvases. That would yes. be absolutely awesome. So again, don't just think Christmas, think outside yeah. and all of the other occasions throughout the year. Yeah, great for uh, anything wedding as well. We yeah, either. indeed, yes. Um, you've then got, no, I've knocked them all over. You've <laughs> then got your, uh, your holly leaves. So if you are getting your, um, your main wreath kit, and I will show you the size, see, that's your large holly leaf. So then, these will go down in size that's why these two kits go hand in hand together and full instructions yet again but then the big uh, block of clay as well that's why again i mean really what would that be those two kits 26 quid 27 pounds 27 pounds and 22 pence for both those kits you get loads of cutters and you get the clay and the hot the uh, yeah. the beautiful holly let me see i'm just going to pick one up and i'm sure it'll have holly and ivy see it has because nearly all of them because that's the thing isn't it the holly and the it ivy indeed, as yeah. a, the song suggests <laughs> um, they sit together absolutely beautiful and you can see it just helps make a full arrangement it does you know i often there's, there's little flowers in there as well um but they just help to fill in all those little spaces and because the ivy is normally a different color from the holly yeah. it's just adding that little bit more interest to your designs yes. and again you know once you've actually made your wreath there's nothing to stop you continuing using those cuts on other projects as well so don't just think you're buying it just to create the wreath you can then be creating all your christmas cards with yeah. that your other christmas decorations it could even just literally be something that hangs from a tree in even. fact i'm gonna pinch <gasps> so yeah i keep it i'm i want to to show you these because look at that that is so pretty and look you've got the little ivy leaves down there as well that is so so pretty that is um a pine cone that my son's brought back from a, a park i don't know where they went where did they it's go huge isn't it that is but mega <laughs> they could sell is. them 
So you, you know, could, send yeah. them out collecting. But it just <laughs> does work so so well to start decorating. But you know, that could be that could be absolutely anything. It yeah. could be a glass jar. Maybe you want to create a, a night light or something, yes. or one a tea light for, for Christmas. Oh, it would look just really pretty outside. with little lights in that. Yeah. Actually, wouldn't absolutely. it? Yes, it would. Yeah. Oh, that is gorgeous. I really like that. Oh yeah, get the lads on them. Get yeah, because <laughs> that's fab. Um, okay. If you do want that, yeah, brilliant pine cone, um, £10.98, <laughs> that is all you're paying. Um, and you've got, I'm stood at the wrong one, you've got your big, um, your big clay as yep. well. That is such a good price. 671210. Right, now stand at the right one. Now, this one is basically the poinsettia that we've seen and the holly that we've seen, but we haven't got the Merry Christmas or the wreath in this one. So if you just want the cutters, go for this. Again, look at that price, ten ninety eight, seven four pounds there. Um six seven one two one zero. And do oh sorry, bear with, bear with. Um Again, remember, FMM, these are all food grade. So if you're thinking cake decorating, you know, making gorgeous biscuits, anything, especially obviously for Christmas, then these are perfect. Only $9.99, even better. And mm. um, that is 460-896, your item number. And remember, they're the two that come with the Merry Christmas or the wreath. It's just you're not getting that with these. Um, 460-896. Now, we've also got for you... So this is the same size of holly leaf, so the one that you've got in the last one, or the large one essentially, uh, but in this one you've also got your lovely little Christmas tree as well. And that's really pretty. I mean, again, if you're making, you know, if you're using these for your cake decorating, biscuit making, etc., uh, for all your baking, perfect, but... With this one, we've got another big uh, pack of clay. And this is air dry clay. I mean, look at that price. It that is. is so good. Do you know what? I've actually fallen in love with this clay. Yes, I've used other air dry clays before. The reason I love this one is because it doesn't stick to itself very easily, oh, which is really? really good where it comes to making um, flowers like we're going to be doing on the show. But yeah. then um, also, if you're using moulds, it's going to work in moulds perfectly as well. And because there's less water content, it's less likely to actually stick in the moulds as well. Ah, that's so it. So that's a real plus uh, point. But yeah. it's a hundred grams you're going to get. It is made of paper pulp, so any of the mediums that you already um, have in your craft stash, you can be using on top of that clay to colour it. That's really good. I do like the versatility, and it's, I mean, unless you've used air dry clay, you can't get your head around how light it is. Oh, it's unbelievable. It's you ridiculous, isn't it? don't realise you've got any element in your yeah. hands at all. Yeah, yeah, it's really good stuff. And that price, nine ninety nine. For a big clay and, of course, the mould at uh, the cutters is incredible. Uh, 180656. Okay, talking of clay. So we have got, first of all, the air dry light. So this is the one we've just been chatting about. So paper pulp. So um, when it dries, ridiculously lightweight. Perfect for your car making. Two packs for £10.98 now. That is incredible. When you look at that kit, it was 9 99 Wow, that's amazing because, yeah, two of these for 10.98, that's really, really good. Um, if you do want to get a hold of them, uh, 602254 is your item number. Then we've got the soft and strong. Now, I've only had a go at this one, so this is cracking stuff. Straight away, it feels different. It's it does. heavier. It, it is heavier, but what it is, it's actually an air dry polymer clay. And I don't actually think there's that many air dry no. polymer clays about. This is really good because you can actually colour it with all of your mediums. So, whether they be your distress oxide, your normal oxides, any water based inks are going to work to colour this. But once it's actually dried, it actually seals in that colour. It is waterproof. So, you can be making projects that are actually for outside use wow. as well as inside as well. That's really cool. While you look at that, I am just going to trot over there just to get a finished sample because it's a different colour when it's actually dry. So I am going to show you against the air dry clay. Now I'm sorry, I'm pulling everything away. So that's the white of the air dry, but look, that's the polymer and it, it has almost got like um, a transparent look to it it hasn't has it? indeed yeah so it is it it doesn't dry exactly white yeah. um it has got that slight creaminess to it but yeah. it is also because the light is coming through it as yes. well yeah because you can see the color underneath the, the colors behind it they are also um it's just 
the air dry ah, polymer clay. So yeah. I've added a green to that, and you can see again, it does does look a little bit different. It almost yeah. looks a little bit shiny as well. Yeah, it does. So if you're going to be making things like key rings or journal covers, where you know that particular um, um, project is going to be handled a lot, yeah. then by far the best one to go for is the air dry polymer clay. But yeah. uh, otherwise then I'll just say go for the bright then light. Yeah, yeah, because that, that is going to be um, brilliant for your moulds as well. I, I mean, I, I, yeah, yes. I'd definitely stock up on this one personally. Uh, £15.98, and, and the lovely thing, yeah, if it's moulds for boxes and stuff, you know it's going to stay uh, tough. 15% uh, of stock has gone, that's really, really busy. Cracking price, fifteen ninety eight for both packs there, uh, 657865. Now, some I really, really need. Um, and when <laughs> I saw this, I was like, oh, I need one there. Um, the good old rolling pin. And the thing is, it's funny, isn't it? When you look at it, it's like, why has it got elastic bands on it? But actually, they're, <laughs> yes. they're a guide, aren't they? Are, they? they are the spacers. Um, so whether you want two millimeter or one millimeter clay or fondant, indeed, just put the, the same colour on either end of the rolling pin and you are good to go. And it doesn't stick. So for, yeah, for your cake decorating, for your fondant, yeah. it's wonderful. But it's also brilliant for it our clay. It is. It's like you say, you know, most people have um, a wooden rolling pin. Yeah. And because that's got grain, your clay's going to stick to it. It's going to be yes. a right mess. So the, these are nylon. So cleaning them, it's going to be really easy. Yeah. And to be quite honest, you don't even need to do that because the clay just does not stick to yeah. it. Yeah, I love that. And also with the mats, so you've got a non-stick yeah. smart mat. It's a smart mat. Yeah, it's, isn't it? This is actually designed for cake decorating but obviously because we're using clay in a very very similar way it will actually be um, a great um, tool for y your clay as well now as well as uh, just rolling your clay out you can actually use it to get messy crafting as well oh nice okay so you can get all your oxides and splat them all over there spray them but because there's two different sides to that mat one slightly textured, ah, yeah, one yeah, slightly yeah, smooth. Yeah, you really actually smooth. get two different um, ways that um, ah. the water is actually dispersed on there. So you can actually have a lot of fun just doing the other type of crafting as well. Nice one. Mm. Oh, I fancy I've not got that. Um, now, another really cool kit, only 12 48 Seriously, the prices on this show, we haven't had anything over £16, have we? Um, 629-022 is your item number. Hey. <laughs> Oh, oh, apart from this one, nah. <laughs> we haven't had anything over seventeen ninety nine, have we? <laughs> um, but seventeen pounds and ninety nine pence is still a great price because you've got your tools, and it's funny actually. E, just the other day, I have no idea. Where, I used to have so many clay tools, no idea where <laughs> I've put them. And this is such good kit. Obviously, again, designed for your your cake decorating, but equally amazing for your clay of course so you're obviously going to get 10 tools there although there's five they're double-ended so you are going to get 10 in total yeah but to do all your sculpting yes you're going to need your tools but you're also going to need the firm foam former pad now that's got a little hole in one end so you could be doing some um certain techniques when it comes to yeah. flower making yes but um that pad is not too soft, not yeah. too firm. It is absolutely spot on. So whether you're going to be doing your clay flowers or indeed your paper flowers, that is a really good pad to yeah. go for, along with the tools for, for both types of craft. Yeah, it's really quite, it's a bit, you, you keep playing with it. Um, yeah, brilliant, brilliant kit, this one. Obviously, I love it because, again, they give you instructions, they give you an overview of what you're going to be using with your tools. And of course, as Anthony says, that mat is so handy to have in your stash. Only £17.99. 246298 is your item number. Now, please check your baskets out. Um, amazing prices. You can get everything on the website, hachanda.com. Uh, you can ring us as well, 01733 Okay, our Anthony is waiting in the wings. What are we going to do first, Anthony? Right, we're going to be using uh, the main kit that actually has got the wreath in there. Now, the wreath is 21 centimetres wide, okay, with an actual frame. Let's have a look. I do believe it's three centimeters. There we go, three centimeters. There's also two holes that have been laser cut in the top there. So if you want to make a hanging loop, you can do. Now what I'm doing for this um, particular demonstration is I'm going to cover it, obviously not all in this demonstration, but I'm going to cover it in just some good old rustic um, garden string. Good. Okay. Yeah. But like I said, we're not going to go for the whole lot. <laughs> it, could be here it takes about 20 minutes. Now I've just used a PVA glue to actually stick this. The 
reason I haven't got a massive long length here is because you will find it's quite difficult to keep <laughs> on going all yeah. around. So I just found that just using small lengths and then just every so often then just gluing it, but you're going to get the idea, just go all the way around. Obviously you have a good side, you have a bad side to you, so the bad side that no one's going to see, that's where you do all yes. the joins, okay? So yeah. you can just keep on going all the way around. I'll be honest with you, it's probably going to take about half an hour to 40 yeah. minutes, okay? Yeah. But a lot of people say, well, then you're going to cover it up. But the thing is, it's not only you know it's there. Yeah. For those pieces that are going to show, it's just that nice little bit of texture. Yeah. So that's that's why I basically and do that. And it does that. look so, um, yeah, so rustic, it, doesn't it? Does. It's a it, perfect, it, it perfect does indeed. for your so, I have jumped ahead and I have created one here that has completely been covered and we have also got the little hanger there so I've Perfect. popped that on and then just carried on stringing that round. So the very first flower we're going to be making and um, which comes with the main kit is the poinsettia. So in total you're going to get seven of these cutters okay now you'll see that some of them have actually written some numbers on ah uh, yeah that's because when you actually look at the poinsettia uh, the first layer of leaves there's probably about five then it goes to three then it goes to five again so i've just basically written on there in a permanent pen just how many cuts I need to make to actually create oh, that flower. Good. So it saves you looking at the instructions it every does. time. It does, yeah, because I kept on looking at it and then I was lost. I thought, like, yeah. do you know what, just get a pen out, write on them. That's <laughs> such good thinking. <laughs> so you're also going to get two other ones. Now it's entirely up to you. You can use these to um, create the greenery behind it or you can go for a really, really large poinsettia, yeah. entirely up to you. Okay, so let's just pop those two aside and those ones. I'm just going to come to our clay. Now, the clay from FM, like I said, is a little bit drier than um, some other clays, but you can still mix the other coloured clays in from other brands. But as well as that, you can be using other things. Yeah. Indeed, you can be using things like acrylic paints, you can even use, and I saw the show the other day for the, um, now, is it Eco Echo Line? Yes, yep. I say. Which one is it? I say Eco Line. Eco, so do I. But I'm not sure. No, I'm, but those <laughs> pens that are really fabulous, okay, they are water based. Okay, so yeah. indeed, you can just scribble those onto your mat and then you can literally ah. just go in with your clay and you can pick up the colour if Ooh, you so wish. That. It cleans so, up the map beautifully. It does indeed, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So that's another way of colouring the clay, okay? But what I've done for this particular one, I have just grabbed some of the, the clay there and then I've gone, I do believe, um, these are also on the, the website. These are the hearty clays, okay? So ah, the yes. coloured ones, yeah, they're yeah. also going to you can also use them to colour the FMM clay. Right, okay. so mix them up. That's so you a good can idea. mix them up. Yep, so don't be afraid. Okay, yeah. it's just that I'll be honest with you, it's near enough the same ingredient. Right. Okay, the right. only difference is the FMM clay is slightly drier. Right, okay, okay. So which is quite handy if you're using them together because obviously it takes the moisture it, a bit. It does which indeed. Is yeah, so um, I just need to say your clay. So the Bright and Light Wheat is the one Anson's talking about, uh, which actually you get two of them. So essentially, yeah. that one now, is it the Bright, is it that one? Or is it the polymer? Yeah. So two of those, that has now 30% of stock gone really busy, folks. So please make sure you check your baskets out there. 602254. <gasps> wow. I'm not surprised. It is, it is seriously a really stuff. great clay. Now, we were saying about those little elastic bands on the end there. Yes. Now, it's entirely up to you. You can use those. Like I say, if you want the two mil, you can put on one colour, either end, OK, and roll it. It's personal preference. It's probably because I press too hard. OK, they come off the end. OK, I'm, I'm honest. I'm honest. So what I do, I actually have two bits of card for yeah. the one millimetre. Yeah, yeah. OK, and so basically it's, it's creating a little bridge in between the clay. Just pop that on there and then just roll out. So I know that my cardboard either side, you can see how much pressure I'm yeah, putting on. I'm, I'm, I'm still like moving the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that ain't light and burn. That's, that's, that's just a, and yeah. that's going to what? One millimetre? That's going say? to one millimetre. See, I love that because that clay, it that's just, wow, it yeah. goes so fine, that doesn't really, it? Look at that. That is just so, so fine. Yeah. So once you get to that, then you, you take your cutters that hopefully you have pre-numbered yeah. and uh -huh. literally just pop that in. Give it a little bit of a wiggle and you've got one. Perfect. And two. Sometimes they'll come out, sometimes they'll stay there. So just go around with five of those. Now I have actually already done the five anyway. Okay. Cool. I so, do love how easy it comes off that mat. 
a, you, this I mean, is, look at that. This is a having the right tools, the yeah, right job, yeah. admittedly. Glass mats, they can be a little bit sticky. If yes, you have got a glass mat, I'm, I'm not saying you can't use it, you just have to put some corn flour on, but just be right. aware. Yep. Corn flour is white, this is red, it will show a little bit. Ah, of course. Okay, this is going to yeah, stick it's into it. see the dust yeah. of it. So, once you've cut out your five, that's when you can actually start working on them. Now, I'm just going to pop these back on here because I have already pre-done some. Okay? okay. So all of this clay, okay, it's not wasted at all. You can just pop that inside um, an airtight zip bag, and that's going to be good to go again for another project. Wonderful. If you find that your clay dries in the, the airtight bag, then just put a little bit of water mist inside there. Right, So it okay. creates a little bit of moisture and then take all the air out and zip lock it. And then See, it that is so easy longer. to keep, isn't it? it? Is. That's fabulous. So, can we see red on red just about? <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now it comes to um, the tools. So we are going to use these two tools. This is, this is my two favourites, really. The one with the blade on and also the one with the ball tool. But there's another tool as well, okay, besides yeah. those. And that's actually this one. Ah, the rolling Because thing. you can actually use that to also flatten out of the course. edge of that leaf. So yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm going to do. So just go from the center, just go outwards. It's going to retain a little bit of its shape. And this is what I was saying about whether you're cutting out of paper using normal yeah. dies. Yeah. Once that's actually out of there, yeah, you can shape it a bit, but you can't extend it. Yes. Okay, so that's that's it so far so you can now see we've really really made yeah. the very edge of that clay extremely thin we can go even thinner if we should so wish and we're using the ball tool I'm just rolling it back and forth because if you've ever looked at a poinsettia you'll see that it's got, it's like got slightly um, a frilled edge there so just keep on going back and forth back and forth until you're happy and it's a perfect size is that isn't it it is if it were too thin it, um, if it were smaller it wouldn't it just get the it almost look like dints rather yeah. than it being so gentle so there is the original cutter I'm just gonna perfect. hold that and you can see now it's sort of like not the yeah. same size at all not it's at wider all. Yeah. so when I first cut this out, I thought that's never gonna ever look like one yeah it's never gonna look, but but once you start rolling it out that's when you're going to add all of that amazing dimension. Then just a finishing touch, another one of the tools, it's like a scribing tool. So you can just go down the very centre of your, and I think it's called a point, like I say, yeah. and then you are done. So you're going to need five of those, okay? That's so, so quick that's and your, easy. your first step. So I'm just going to jump ahead. I've already done five. And like I said, I've popped these in here earlier on with a little bit of moisture so they hopefully haven't dried. Amazing. <laughs> when they're that fine and that thin, I bet they dry out quite quickly, they, don't they? They can do indeed, mm. yeah. So you do have to work relatively quick once they're all cut. And I'll be honest with you, just go for one cutter at a time, cut them all, then stick them together. Yeah, yeah. Now, because obviously we're using clay, you can actually wire all these if you should so wish, but there is another option if you're not into that. So okay. grab your mat again, okay, and then where the center piece is, so that's the bit that's cut out with a flat, okay, okay. the flat bottom. And the flat okay. bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so literally just place them one over each other like that. And even, although I only did these probably less than an hour ago, they are actually pretty dry okay yeah. don't worry about that too much if they don't stick then you can just add a little bit of water to them and then using a ball tool so they're all overlapped let me just pop that there yeah. okay so just position those as you wish okay then Perfect. just get your let me just grab that one out make sure <laughs> they have all the because they have to be overlapped they do they? have to be overlapped to stick so let me just pop that one there again I'm just being a bit over course here, right, okay, and then using the large ball yeah. tool, just squish that in. So get okay. a good squidge. Yep, and like I say, if they are dry, then either water or a little bit of PVA. Yes. Then all you need is masking tape reel, and that is just to basically pop that in there, push that um, down. That will dry with That will then shape. dry to that shape. Amazing. Okay. So you're going to want five of those, then you're going to want three of the next size up, then five, yep. then three, and it goes on and on and on. Amazing. Until you create your poinsettia. So these are the main leaves that we've already cut out. And again, I've stuck those. You can probably see there, if I just hold it to that camera there, 
where the original ball tool marker has just been, ah, just in the middle of it. Yeah. It doesn't matter, you're not yeah. going to see it. You're not going to see it. I like the shade in there. Have you done the shading with the yeah. ink? Or? So that is basically green to start with and then just added that little bit more realism, yeah. just darkened the edge of the flowers. But yeah. as we're using, um, as, it, as it's not cake and it's more craft, a really good one to use, and I've always loved these, yes. Viva Decor in yeah. the Golds, okay? A really amazing product. Maybe you just want to... Um, dry brush over that yeah. just to add a little bit more to it entirely up to you i think that's the beautiful thing about air dryer because literally you've got so many options whether oh, you add color yeah. to it when it's wet or afterwards i mean you can color it any stage of the way yes you, you can yeah which is fab so once you've got that that indentation also then acts as the well okay for your little bit of glue pva glue we're using here and then obviously where this one is here that's going to fit perfectly in there so literally just use the ball tool just hold that down just for a little time. You can see where we've actually shaped it inside the um, cell tape rolls yeah. or the tape roll. Then it's, it's given us that nice curvature yes. there. So that was the the five one, and now we're going to go for the three. So a little bit more glue, and it's up to you. You don't have to position them so they go exactly over. Just put them a little bit. Just give them a little bit of a turn. Obviously they're total natural flower okay so you can yes. just keep on going however you wish They've got, just keep on the clay's got a really nice finish to it hasn't it oh it has it's got such a pretty texture oh, it, so it has. almost looks um velvety doesn't Do you know what? it and that's exactly what a poinsettia actually yeah. actually feels like as well yeah. after, that's before the, all the leaves drop off. And that's, that's, another, that's <laughs> yeah. another plus side. The leaves will never drop off this one. And put your hands up they if you really do that every year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I've created red here, but obviously there are white. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you want to go for rainbow colour. Yes. Entirely up to you. And this is the real great thing about using air drying clay. You can colour it before like we've done or if you want you can actually colour it afterwards yeah. as well. And I love that yeah because it just it allows you to play it doesn't does, it? Yeah and it's just personalising it just personalising oh. your, your project. Uh, so now Kim's been go... having a look she says you can get blue poinsettias. Can you? Yeah. Have they died? Oh, I think, yeah, they, I think, so. I think <laughs> yeah. they do that. She's like no you can. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Kim's like no you can. They're I'm real. looking at it. <laughs> It's real. I think, I think there's is a way on of the doing internet, that, isn't Kim? there? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's where you put the coloured water yeah. and then it just seeps out, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, because yeah, you can do that with roses, can't you? you? Can. If you put them all in different coloured water yep. and they... <laughs> <laughs> so this is our last layer, OK? We're just going to pop that one in there. And just, again, PVA is the perfect glue to be using for this because it just seeps in there and it Perfect. keys brilliantly. Okay, so a little bit more and we are done. So that is your poinsettia. How now easy. to add a little bit more detail. Okay, you just need a little bit of green clay here. Okay. Wonderful. And I mean, it's, it's a small bit and you don't need any tools apart from, your, apart from your fingers, okay, and your hand. Okay, just roll yourself a little sausage shape like so. Super. Okay, and then just flatten one end okay so i'm just going to pop that on there so you can see a little bit oh. better just create maybe about seven of those okay okay pop that back in the bag so i'm not going to use that one because i've already got them set hopefully in here <laughs> well done <laughs> oh you're these, so organized these rolls everywhere i'll tell you <laughs> I was like, well, put them somewhere. Where can I, where can I put them? Oh, I've gone again. But all you need to do then is get yourself some silicone glue. Or oh, my favourite is, I've got to me, it's a 3D gloss gel that I use on Prima Shows. Yes. Oh, I yeah. love that because that dries clear. But I'm just going to use a silicone glue here because I know most people have probably got that at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then using tweezers because um, if you're anything like me, these things can like ping everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. And because they are... The, Were you agreeing with yeah? The because it's me or yeah? The diddly. Because <laughs> it's you. No. <laughs> It's because, I mean, do. you know, if it's yeah. me, I'm, I'm and I'd be trying to stick them in with my fingers, oh, obviously. Too, like, even even tweezers, I can't do it. <laughs> so here we go. And so all you need to do is just pop those just in there, okay? And you'll um, see what I've done. I've just painted the very tip of those with um, a little bit of red paint. Oh, wow. The, okay. other, the other thing that can actually colour this clay, Leone, is actually um, acrylic paint. Yeah. So if you're going to be doing that, the colour you then 
pop on to there it's actually going to be the same colour, yes. so you can key it all in really, really nicely. Yeah. So I'm and it gonna... is, I think that's the wonderful thing about this clip. It's ridiculously versatile, isn't it? <gasps> oh, it so is. You know, it when is... you when you see what you can create, yeah, yeah. cracking stuff. So just and keep then when it's so light, like, and it, because it's so versatile, it doesn't mean like gluing it together is just not a problem. That's it, and you haven't got to go and you know get any special glues. It yeah. is just the glues that you're already got in your crafting stash. I bet those, like your your little seed heads, yeah. I bet those are easiest to actually put in when they've dried out, aren't they? They are. Mm. That's the same with everything. You've just got to wait until it all dries out. Yeah. So yeah. that's all of those little bits there. If you want to add a little bit more realism, then just get yourself some yellow paint as well, and then okay. it's literally just on the very tip of those. Like I say, it just depends how realistic ah, yeah. you really want to be. So just pop a little bit just on there. And I'm just using a ball oh, tool lovely. just to apply a little bit of paint. And that is your poinsettia That's really, so really good. quickly. Okay, so obviously once the, dry, um, the, <coughs> the glue has dried down, you can see it's white at the moment, that will then that looks be so all good. nice and clear. And okay. the texture is fabulous. The texture oh, of that clay is fabulous. Oh. Look yeah. at that. Uh, yeah, that is brilliant. Thank you so much. I love, love, love that. Um, right, I'll give you a quick refresh, shall I? Because with something like this, it is the possibilities. Um, your wreath kit, now this has been really busy. You get in the wreath. A third of the stock has gone. You get in the poinsettia cutters. Remember, these are food grade from FMM. So, of course, you can use them with the clay, which is what we're talking about today. But there's so much more. You you can use them with you've got always oh, I love that tip that Anthony said about putting how many you need on the back that is such a good tip because I know I'd be looking at the instructions every single time because I could I would forget every single time or I'd be cutting it short and only doing a couple you know mine mine had already looked like it's in the best Christmas one mine um, you've got all the different sizes you've then got that big Merry Christmas cutter um, which, quite frankly, I mean, that would just make a really good biscuit, wouldn't it? I'm hungry, can you tell? I know, right? And then you've got uh, your lovely large holly leaves. So if you're going for the next kit, you've already got the, the different sizes. And just look how good they go. Look, now, obviously, you don't have to put them on the wreath. The wreath kit is amazing. But they're going to make such good embellishments. Oh, oh, Christmas. But don't think just Christmas. If I pick up another one of those, I mean, look, again, with the wreath kit, that's the wreath kit, but completely different. Again, you are mixing and matching um, the variations. That's got the holly. That's got that huge Merry Christmas. And the lovely thing, as Anthony said, when you're working with clay, it does mean... Some something like um your, your Merry Christmas, you can change it. You know, you can add loads of different textures to it. You can obviously add loads of different, I don't know, it might be micas, it might be glitters, you can colour it, you can stretch it, you can do so much with it. And what I love about these, they all look individual, don't they? All those poinsettias look slightly different, which is so nice, because that's exactly uh, what you want. And I mean, these are all on cards and things. You could easily put wire on these and make a beautiful three you know, like a, a proper floral display with these because they just look so realistic. Now, if you do want this kit, over 40% of the stock has gone. The price is just fantastic. £16.24. and pence. That is 415691. Now, if you did want to get more of the wreath, so if you're looking at these and thinking that is such a good gift, or, of course, if you're just doing it for your own home this year, um, you're getting three of them and of course you i mean we we've seen so many incredible products here at achanda there is there could be anything on these couldn't there you know what have i um oh like yesterday i had my my stamperia you know the molds on there would look beautiful there, there's so much you can do with these only nine pounds and 99 pence fantastic price in fact in fact next hour i've got the blanche and i've got um the circus kit it's a big ring Hey, um, if you do want to get hold of that, £9.99, £9 three of those, and they have been really, really busy as well. Uh, 916844. Prices are ridiculous, aren't they, though? The prices. Uh, now, next, this is cracking because, remember, you can get the Point City and the Holly on its own. Check out the website for that. Uh, but if you want to add to that kit, this is definitely the one because you're getting your three ivy leaves, and these will come down in size. So it does mean you're able to make that realistic-looking 
ivy. And ivy is literally all year round and for so many different occasions. And there's so many, when you look at different um, floral displays, so many people use ivy, you know, as the foliage because it just looks so good. And the colours. My favourite is when it all goes red. You know, outside at houses and you see red ivy. Oh man, I love that. I love that. Um, you've also got, love it, um, you've also got the, the holly leaves. Now remember, these are a different size to the um, the poinsettia kit. The poinsettia is a large, and then you're coming down in size, so they sit beautifully together. And then, of course, you've got the clay. Perfect, this kit, because it's your big pack of clay, um, and it's that lightweight, fantastic air dry clay. It looks beautiful. And I do love this, because that is the wreath that has been put on a plaque, which looks really effective. Absolutely stunning. Of course, you've got the, the beautiful poinsettia. And air dry clay, I mean, look how fine that is. It's just, when Anthony were rolling it out then, you can see just how delicate you can get these. And then you can really, I mean, you can give them such movement, which is fa fabulous. And then, of course, depending how you colour um, the other, you know, the foliage, the ivy, and then the... Um, the holly there, you can get the different tones, so you can get the shine, because ivy's got that kind of, well, holly's got that kind of shine, hasn't it? And that's exactly what you can achieve here. It looks absolutely beautiful. So if you do want to get that one, £10.98 pence is your price, 671210. Um, Next, uh, we have got um, the beautiful tree. Now, the tree comes with the large holly leaf, and you've got a block of the clay. It's kind of handy having more than one holly leaf anyway, to be fair. Um, but I do like that little tree. That is really, really pretty. And you see, you're making um, lovely, lovely sort of embellishments. Do you know what? With the, a little thing like that, I mean, you've got your air dry clay here. But if you use a polymer clay, think about making like Christmas earrings, you know, like your novelty things. Because that's, I mean, it makes some nice big chunky earrings, but that'd be quite fabulous. Decorations for the tree. You know, you can do so much with these. Um, so you're getting your tree, you're getting your holly leaf. You've also got your big chunk of clay there as well and of course they do look absolutely beautiful i mean that's got the the holly leaf um uh, I'm sure I saw one with a little tree. Ah, they're right in front of me. And that, of course, is the, the lovely trees on there. So you can see the, the perfect little trees. See, you can decorate them in any way you want. Yeah, perfect for cars. Uh, cards, absolutely gorgeous cars. <laughs> Stick them on your car. Stick them on a person's car who you're not keen on with super glue. <laughs> only joking, I'm only joking. I know I've got a terrible, I've, I've, yeah, I know I've got a terrible sense of humour, but it does make me giggle. That would make me really giggle though. <laughs> Anyway, 180656, spreading Christmas love. Uh, 180656 is your item number. And now you're ready to like, I mean, I've never done anything like that, quite frankly. I haven't. And I never will. Maybe. <laughs> I never will. Uh, I avoid people who make me want to do that these days. <laughs> now, what you've got here, you've got two packs of your air dry clay. Only £10.98. pence. These are big packs of clay. Think about all the moulds that you've been investing. Think about all the cutters on this show. Um, and obviously with this, we're talking moulds and cutters, but air dry clay, you can free, uh, free mould these as well, like our Catherine makes all the wonderful figures out of these. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Now, if you do want to get hold of that £10.99, such good prices. 602254. Um, half the stock has gone. Remember, you can colour tint this when it's wet. You can paint it when it's dry. I mean, it's so handy. Again, brilliant for Christmas decorations as well. 602254. Now, the polymer. I must admit, I love this stuff. Um, for me, this this is a must. For me, I want to use this for me, um, my moulds because 
you know, especially for things that you're using for boxes and stuff where you need them to be a bit harder, this is absolutely brilliant. For your jewellery pieces, it's going to be a bit tougher. You can still colour tint it. You can still colour it afterwards as well. Um, and you don't have to bake it. I mean, I used to work with polymer a lot, and it were all oven bake. Um, but this, being able to air dry it, is just fabulous. Oh, yeah, I used to do loads with polymer. And you can get real detail with it as well. Now, £15.98 is your price. Um, two of those. Um, oh, and you can mix it with the bright and light, and it makes the bright and light a bit stronger if you mix them together. I forgot that, oh, I came. Um, now, 657863 uh, is your item number. I have worked with it and utterly forgot all the things. Um, okay, now next, want one of these. That mat is cracking. Um, obviously, loads you can do with that. Um, it has been designed, FMM designed for, as you can see on the packaging, for your, your you know, your sugar crafts and your, um, all your different baking. But for clay, for your mixed media, for your messy craft, absolutely fabulous. Definitely want one of these. And then, of course, you've got your rolling pin as well, which is really handy. The fact that it's super smooth, your clay's not going to stick to it, and it's easy to keep clean. Really like that. Good kit for only £12.48, 629022. Okay, last but by no means least, the tools. Now, they're all double sided, so it does mean that you're actually getting 10 tools and that matte which is perfect for creating all your beautiful florals and more. $17.99, that is $246,298. Now, I'm going to talk about your seven-day savers because we have got some incredible deals on the website, hotrando.com. Um, do have a little look-see. Now, only two days to go. Gosh, doesn't it go quick that they're weak? Um, so you've got your magnets. See, with these, there's loads of these that you might be creating into gorgeous little magnets. You know, you could do all sorts. Yeah, you could magnetise them onto your wreath and then stick them on your fridge. Um, so you've got that. You've got, uh, what else have we got there? We've got, oh, now, um, I do love the... Um, the the scraps in fact it's interesting the you know the victorian scraps that we're looking at i remember them eee. i love i do like it sorry that's proper northern isn't it eee. Eee, by God. my mum using them they're fabulous because you can cut them up and decoupage them and do all sorts with them um obviously do check out the uh the wonderful prices from all our seven day savers look at them see the cool my mum, we used to have like little, well, I think even my gran had a proper old scrapbook and they used to put them in because they're Victorian, I think. Anyway, check it all out. We've got loads on there. Oh, and happy planners. Whoop, whoop. Got a happy planner tomorrow. That is cracking, isn't it? Happy planners. So you've got positive. Gosh, so two notebooks and two pencil cases for 17.96. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, we like that. I've got that pencil case. Well, we, the bag, the gang. Um, yeah, beautiful, that. Um, now, check everything out on the website, achanda.com. Okay, um, back to our Anthony. What's next, Anthony? Right, we've already rolled out some clay, some white clay this time, too, about one millimetre thick, and we're going to cut the Merry Christmas, okay? Now, what I do, I pre-roll it and then lay it over the top of the cutter itself, okay? And then... Just very, very carefully, just roll that over the top there. Because the clay is not like a fondant, fondant's actually quite firm, and it will cut um, a lot easier. But with the clay, what I tend to do is take all the waste and then just let that dry, actually, in right. the cutter. Because otherwise, you're going to be putting that apart and you're probably not going to read uh, it says Merry Christmas. So oh, here's yeah. one that I dried earlier. That's okay. a good tip, Anthony. And then literally just pop that out, okay? And this one has been in overnight, but you can see you still get that amazing, amazing detail without any yeah. of the letters falling falling apart. So that is how quick and easy that is to do. But like I say, just just bear with it. Okay, yeah. don't try to cut it and release it in the same go. Yeah. Just let it dry for at least a couple of hours before you do. That is such okay. a good tip. Would it be the same with the, the polymer one? Or would um, the polymer be a bit harder? Polymer's probably going to be okay, actually, to yeah. cut with. But like I say, if you do find that, then... Um, just leave it in there a couple yeah. of hours. And the just lovely to thing is with safe, clay, so. if it doesn't go right the first time, you just squidge it back squidge up and have another back go. Up, don't put you? it back in there, yeah, exactly, exactly. So I'm just going to quickly glue this. Now, what I've done here, I've just used an embossing 
um, folder and a little bit of card, a little bit of dry brushing on there, a couple of colours, and hey presto, we've got a little log. Okay, oh, yeah. let's just pop Chocolate that log. on there. Okay, Merry Christmas. And that's a really great size if you're into your mixed media, that sort yeah, of thing. That it really, really large. is. <clears throat> so, just quickly jumping ahead, how long have we got? How long have we got no, again? Long, was it? How long have we got? Okay. By eight minutes. Eight minutes. Okay, so I've just um, rolled out some green. There's going to be multiple demos all in one. Right. Okay. <laughs> so we have the, the Christmas tree. So just give that a little bit of a wiggle. And when you do that, it's just basically helping it cut through nice and simply. Then just literally go from that side and then just pop that through. And then just quickly take that out. That is your tree. Amazing. Okay. So Easy piece, I have already added our tree to the wreath already. We're then going to go for the ivy. I'm going to create the larger one here just so I can show you how I actually pinch that once it's actually cut. So that is your ivy leaf. Okay, we're just going to use on here. We're just going to use the rolling pin. We're just going to squash that out, okay? Yeah, and then what I do, I just take the scribing tool and it's up to you here. You can just go for the one or you can just keep on adding the, the detail however however much you want just to vein it just to make it a little, little bit more realistic and then all I do is just literally fold that in half like yeah. so and just pinch the end and then it gives you that nice shape okay oh, so yeah, literally I just pinch the end yeah like so and then the very last one we have is the holly leaf so Beautiful. again, just place that on. This is the large holly leaf, but it could be the small set where you're going to get the three. And then just take that off. And again, just pop that one onto your mat. Then using your large ball tool, just go in to the shape and then just give it a little bit uh, of a squidge. Yeah. And then it's going to give you that's sort of like three dimensional look that a holly leaf does actually have. Yeah, because so you don't really want them straight out the mold. You want them to have that shape and move, don't you? Yeah. You do. And again, just use your scribing tool and then just go down the center just to vein it. You can keep on going to your heart's yeah. content. When it's actually dry, then just go around uh, the edge there with a little bit of dry bar brushing of white yeah. um, acrylic paint. Yeah. And then you can use um, clear varnishes on the top then because hollies have always got yeah. that little bit of a shine to them as well. They look like they've, um, yeah, they look like they've been polished. Um, <laughs> can I do. read this to you? Because yeah. a lovely Penny's emailed in. Thank you, Penny. Thank you, she Penny. She says hello um, to Leon, it, Anthony, and all. Hi, Ben. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, loving the show as always. The samples are brilliant too. I have used FMM clay for years and love it. It's so easy to use. And as Ant said, um, it's a bit drier than other clay, so you don't need to let it dry uh, before using it. I also use the soft and strong clay. Um, we bought a decorative, a decorative chimney pot Ooh. for the garden. Oh, how interesting. But when we got it on, we accidentally broke one of the decorative oh. edges. So I used the soft and strong clay um, and to mould the decoration freehand, painted it and attached it to the chimney. It's been outside since the spring and it's fine. Hey, Penny, that's amazing. Wow. Next time. Forces at chimney. Um, oh, I love that. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's really interesting. So, decorating, decorating chimneys. There you go. Yeah, pretty chimneys, yeah. obviously. And I, I do. I think I, you, I, Penny. I, I know Penny. She does love her garden. Oh, do she you? Does, yeah, I do know Penny. I've known her oh, for a few us. years. Didn't realise she was going to email in today. So thank you very much, oh, Penny. Thank you, Penny. But yeah, she loves she loves her gardening. Does Penny? That's looking ace. So we're just building this up. You can see what we've done here. I've actually just put trees um, on the middle part. Then we're going to add our two point setup because I'm sure we are running short of time now. Are we? Three and a half minutes. Three and a half. No, yeah. we'll slow down then. So <laughs> <laughs> let's just pop one of in, one in there. And now we'll be like, no, it goes no, slow. No, it goes slow. <laughs> uh, and a bit of that there. Then we've got a couple of these. And this is where we set about just filling in the spaces with our ivy leaves. Oh, look. So just a couple of those in there. This See, is really the nice spin thing with like your, your clay. You know, if you want to make any sort of like. Um, you know the the fine sort of oh what are they called like the tr 
tendril bits. Do you oh, know yeah, the you can fussy do that. bits? Yep, I know, you yeah. can do that yeah, with you can, your clip. You can do that as well because you can go extremely yeah. fine with this. I, I'd like the, um, I quite like the soft and strong for tendrils. Oh personally. yes, I yeah, very, yeah, like, very but good. I think I'd be going soft and strong for tendrils. Yeah, so you can see just quite quickly how you can just build it up. A, Obviously, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, finish off completely, but it just yeah. gives an idea. But then, <clears throat> what you can do, and it's what I did on um, some of the other ones, I actually put a background behind them as well because then that just adds to it. So oh, what I've actually done here, literally just a piece of MDF that I've had left over my garage conversion, um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, white blended. <laughs> into um, blue splattered a bit messy crafty in there, with a bit of white and then just added some more detail using the um, fantastic cutters that we got on the show yeah and then literally we're just gonna pop that one on there if you should so wish just to add a little bit of color you've got the hanger there so it's sort of like a dual purpose one maybe yeah. you want some velcro on the back there yeah. so you don't have to use it all in one but that is the sort of thing that you can be creating using all of those fantastic colors on the show along of course with the air drying clay and hopefully this and some of the other samples have inspired yeah. you to have a go at clay crafting yeah. because really it is nice and easy. You know, my, my kids can do yeah. um, clay crafting there. Better get this right this time. Um, <laughs> 11 and 13. Did They've you been, get it wrong last time? Yes, at nine. <laughs> and then I got it in the neck when I got home. <laughs> so, <laughs> so full now. You missed a fair few birthdays. <laughs> yeah, only. Uh, so, you know, you, you can um, just create. And as Leon said earlier, even if you go wrong with clay, just scrumple it up and have a go again. Yeah. You're soon going to get the hang of it. It yeah. is really that easy. It's, it's a craft that you're going to then pick up and you're going to be able to use it in lots of different things, whether it be mixed media or whether it be card making, you're going to have loads of fun. Yeah, and I just think, I mean, that looks beautiful. Oh, and thank you. every time it can be different. It, every yeah, that, time. Is, that is the thing. So, yes, you know, your wreath, all those other little crafty bits that you have in your stash, yeah. you can be creating something yeah. unique. Yeah, brilliant if you're selling your crafts as well. Anthony, mm. thank you Pleasure. ever so much. Thank you. It does make me giggle that you've got the ages wrong. <laughs> That's the kind of thing I'd do. That's brilliant. <laughs> um, okay, please check your baskets out. The wreath has been very, very busy indeed, um, as have the clay. I mean, the prices are all incredible. So, um, yes, you can still check your baskets out. I, I urge you to do that. Whether you are making things for the home, for presents, whether you're making them to sell, or, of course, if you're making some scrummy cakes and you decorate them uh, beautifully this year, this is the one for you. And I say this year, these moulds are got, these cutters are going to last. Um, Anthony, thank you ever so much. Absolute pleasure. Oh, um, stay tuned. Now, do indeed stay tuned because it's me with me and LeBlanc coming up next. It's some favourites. We've then got Crafting with Clarity. It's a one day special. And then the wonderful Juke. Stay tuned to a Chanda. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Pete from Artisan Design. We're a family-run company uh, from the Midlands um, and we have been going for around about a year now. We design handcrafted stamps, stencils and designer papers. Personally, uh, I love crafts and I've loved crafts from uh, childhood, right from when I first won an art competition when I was five years old. I love to inspire and what, what my aim is, is to get the crafters 
um, to see their own potential. I like them to be uh, in charge of their own creativity. What I hope is that our images um, provide the kickstart to your mojo and help you create your own works of art. Tune into our channel, be part of the artisan design world and come and join me on this creative path. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hojanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high-quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chandler is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chandler. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. We also have a great little team of other artist friends who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there. Welcome, it's lovely to have your company. Now, um, I'm going to warn you, already been busy because we have got, um, it's La Blanche. When we have La Blanche goodies, it's always busy, especially for the boxes, especially for the shadow boxes. So if you do want those, get on the website, do it straight away. Funnily enough, when I was walking in the building the other day and our John next door um, was also in the building and he saw me carrying him La Blanche boxes because for some reason I carry them quite a lot actually which is a bit weird but he was like oh i've got them i've got them they're brilliant and they are they're such good quality uh, but they are very busy so i thought i'd give you a heads up because this do sell out every single time now something i haven't done um the blanche have had the circus kit on a couple of times but i've never had a go at this one i like this i must admit i see this as quite um as a little bit spooky a little bit dark you know a little bit kind of I mean look at all the clowns if 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 clowns kind of give you the and what Neela said yeah I'm not yeah he, yeah that, I can't say that how do I say hippie jibbies <laughs> I was gonna say willies but then I thought well I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on telly but if they do if they do make you a bit then this is just amazing I mean I just think it's fabulous now I'm gonna show you the board because um Oh, sorry, that's the wrong board. I'm going to show you the papers. Um, so what we've got is, let me roll these up, these here sleeves. I've got silly sleeves for TV today. So what you've got here, and are these, that one is for the thingy ones over there. So, oh, is it double-sided? Bear with, gang. Don't, oh, yeah, no, it's okay. That's got all the doodads. I'll show that in a sec. 
<laughs> so, look, your papers. Now, these are all double-sided papers, so you have got um, the wonderful clowns. Now, we were talking about this, weren't we, before our Emily, and it was. So, the, great, the, the films are great to show, man, is that right? And it was an old circus, wasn't it? Or, uh, um, uh, so, email in if you've seen The Greatest Showman. Does this remind you of it? What was the actual circus called? Barnum's. So Barnum Circus, and it was, um, it was. I mean, obviously now it'd be like, oh, that's all politically incorrect. But in the time, it was a mixture of. Um, how? When was it? 1800s, or well, you can imagine then in 1800s. But you know, he collected all um, different people and obviously animals and things. And it was quite a, a spe quite a show that he put on. But someone came along and said, "This is a circus," and he said, "I like that," and kept it. I am quoting lovely Emily because I can't remember any of this. Um, but that's kind of what this has got. It's got that that. Um, that real kind of almost mystery to it, I think. You can kind of imagine, you know, behind the scenes, all these fantastic characters, because look at these. I mean, look how many you are getting. I'm going to put it here so you can see these. I must admit, I love these. I, I just think, again, I just think these are quite fabulous. You've got 96 of the characters. So you've got all these wonderful um, uh, clowns. You've got the acrobats. You've obviously got um, the ladies there. And, I mean, there'd be all sorts, wouldn't there, back then? Can you imagine? Can you imagine the circus the back then? I mean... When we think about it now, you know, our circuses now, thank goodness, uh, you know, they're, they're very, they're, they're nice now, aren't they? But you can just imagine back then. You can also imagine, can you imagine the smells? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. But I think this is a fantastic eclectic mix. It's wonderful. Now, it is La Blanche, so you've got 90 six of those they're really cool um, and the the really nice thick ones as well now it's going to be dispatched from the 31st from halloween perfect this is this is perfect it's almost a halloweeny type kit now you've also got as ever when the blanche give us those kits they also put us loads and loads of these fantastic toppers and these are all 3d so you've got all sorts and you've actually got 15 sheets of course, we're talking about old circuses.